Guess who's in this morning then? Wouldn't guess, would you, with all this around the set? Anyway, yes. Um, isn't it gorgeous? Really, really gorgeous stuff today. But you know what? Let's have a look at today's menu. Uh, coming up today, it's called Red Work and Patchwork again. 8 a.m. is Get Ready for Christmas with Mandy Shaw. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got the Drunkard's Pathway. Oh, they've missed a bit out. Drunkard's Pathway block, it is called, at 9 o'clock. Then 10 o'clock, Get Ready for Christmas with Mandy. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Seminole Patchwork, which is a really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little mini quilt from the mini quilt book there. Uh, that's coming up. But you know what? We want you to get in touch. Um, we've already got pictures coming in, so I'll tell you how to do that in a second. Um, what you need to do is you need to go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. What you need to do is you go to the front page there. Oh, and then you press on Watch Day So. Someone's already pressed it, I think. And then you see there, message to the studio. You send your questions, but you need to keep those less than two sentences. Less than two sentences, because it gets cut off halfway through. Uh, while we're on there, look at the products from today's show. In a minute, all of those will disappear, because they are the products from yesterday's show. And as I introduce pieces to you uh, today, whether they be fabrics, whether they be books, whether they be kits, um, they will all appear there. So you can either buy them there, or what you can do is, later on, if you're watching the repeat, you can... Um, uh, click on them and pop them in your basket. Talk about putting them in your basket. Oh, <coughs> we're all a little bit um, cough, coffee today, aren't we? Um, uh, you see to the right of the screen there, uh, as I play each uh, uh, item, it will appear to the right there. You can just click on that and pop it in your basket. What I do ask, especially on days like today, because Mandy's things always sell out really, really, really quickly. If you know you want it, check out straight away. We um, basically have this fantastic system in, sto uh, in stock, uh, which where when you buy lots and lots of things and you check out lots and lots of times, you only still only pay one p and p, no matter how many items you buy. Even if you buy a sewing machine, it's only two pound ninety-five for the whole day. Now, I was also mentioning about photographs. If you want to get a photograph or you want to get a longer email in, then we have our email address. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, that's the only way you can get photos to us. And as I say, we've already got photos coming through. Lots and lots of lovely photos coming through. Send your photos in. Send your long questions in to there. Right. Now, first hour, I'm going to show you the three, three, three things to show you in this first hour. Even those lots and lots of gorgeousness here. The book. Right, we've got this fantastic book here. It's called Christmas Wreaths and Garlands. I'll take you through it properly in a minute. It's uh, 11 Christmas wreath ideas to stitch and show by Mandy Shaw. I wonder if that's uh, really her signature there or whether that's just uh, a created for the front cover. I'll ask her in a minute anyway. She's busy getting ready, you know. Um, so that's the book, £9.95, from which you can make 11 different Christmas wreath ideas. Now, I've got two other uh, things to show you this hour. This lovely green wreath here. We've got this green wreath in the kit. This gorgeous felt wreath. Now, I think we've got it in white as well as green, but, um, or we just, uh, I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask. Oh, I'm, I'm being nosy now, I'm being nosy. I can see something on the table. It's the Mandy Shaw Felt Heart Garland. Oh, is it called a garland, is it, that one? Yeah, garland. A garland? I thought a garland was like a buntingy thing. Okay, my, my bad. £29. It's lovely, because that Robin flies. Not re for real, not for real. It, it does that in the middle of the wreath. And then last but not least, we've got these gorgeous Christmas baubles. Fab. Now, if you were watching yesterday, Jay made a huge mistake yesterday and brought them out into yesterday's show when they weren't supposed to be in yesterday's show. So you've got a little glimpse, these three gorgeous baubles here. They're lovely. Um, at the Noel, he presents, um, yeah, uh, that cookery show, doesn't he? Anyway, 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 I'm just going to ruin Mandy's display here. Have we got baubles over there? No. Right, here we go. You all love her. We love her. And if you don't say she looks thinner, she gets a bit <laughs> funny with you. You're looking rather gorgeous. Thank this you, and so are you. Mm? Thank you. <laughs> now, lovely. You know, handsome Adam. Do you remember handsome Adam? He's in today, and I heard him walking into um, Mandy's dressing room. She's like, "Hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello, handsome Adam." He's with us today because. Um, uh, Jay and Amy have got the day off. Yes, These yes. are gorgeous. What are we going to start with? We're going to start with a, a little garland. The garland. A little now, now, yes. I'm obviously wrong. I I thought a garland did this. Did you? Yes, and I thought this was a wreath. No, a wreath, some people don't like the word wreath, so it could be wreaths or garlands. Oh, because, yes. Yes, so we, we're going to call this one a garland. OK, a garland. what I say now, look at this, look at this robin. Should we middle. turn it round to the correct way? Oh, thank you. It's nice. Is it not, is it not Betsy both ways? Well, it could one, be multidextrous, but it, yes. actually I prefer it the other way. Oh, OK, that's fine, that's fine. 
But it's got movement. For life it's got fluidity. It's got movement. It's got movement. So it'd be gorgeous hanging out on a doorway when you open the door, the little robin twerps. Oh. And it's got bells. Has it got bells or is it my bracelets? It has. And it, it, might, it could twinkle. It, it could do. Yes. Yeah, it could do. Like fairy twinkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy Perhaps, yeah, the imaginary twinkles. So it's a kit? It's a kit. It's a complete kit. No stuffing in the kit. Right. Um, but it's a complete kit and pattern. Oh, my goodness. You get everything in it, though. Yeah, Look. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. So you get fabric, yeah. you get um, embroidery thread. Yeah. Is that, that looks like a um, pipe cleaner. Oh, it is there. a pipe cleaner. Oh, it is That's, a pipe cleaner. It's got the little, um, the little robin's branch. Look, so you can manipulate oh, it around. Oh, yes. Yeah. Buttons, ribbon, all the different felt yeah. you need. And can we talk about this felt? This is 100% wool felt. This right. is not the cheap, cheap felt. Yeah. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's it, the uh, robin that goes cheap, cheap. Yeah. <laughs> not, so it's 100% wool, wool felt. felt. And it, it, it's, far, it's, a, it's, uh, that's, it's more expensive, but it actually lasts forever. The cheaper felts do fluffle up over Now, didn't you make a cushion with love written on it with cheaper felt on oh, it? Oh, I did. And the Le, the Le has got the... The Le, Le, Le? Has got the cheaper felt on it, and it's worn away. So it now says of. Of, of, oh, of. And the E's gone as well. E's gone as well. So, so it's of. Of, of. Oh, oh, it's not nice. No. So, so don't make these things, don't make anything handmade with lots of love and attention in it with cheap felt. It, cheap felt's got a lovely place in the world, but not today. Not okay, here. so yeah. let's get started. Now, remember, if you've got any questions, uh, get... Oh, lots of people coming through already with their questions. So let's get started. Let's, let's get, get started. started. So you so, open your kit, yeah, and inside again. you've got and, your instructions. And this kit, uh, this is in the book, um, this book, Yes, which Gardens I'll go through well. in a second. But we actually have got the pattern in this kit. Here. Oh, OK, here brilliant. It was already as a pattern yeah. already in the first place. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out your big A4 pattern. Uh, here we are, like this, like this. Oh, right. Like and you're going to either use a uh, trace it or use freezer paper. Freezer right. paper is yes. in the kit. And a uh, freezer paper is a wonderful product that's a shiny on one side, it's got yes. a silicon base. But when you iron it onto your felt or your fabric, it stays. Maybe and this is why we had freezer paper on the show yesterday. Yes, as well. we did. Yes. We did, yeah. darling. Um, but if you don't have freezer paper home, don't worry because you can just trace that and just yes, pin exactly. it down. But you but do you get this freezer paper in the yeah, kit you do anyway. Get it in so the kit. Do you, it if you're making this, yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. So with a fine uh, pencil, you're going to mark round your um, the pattern indeed. That's now, great. if you look at this carefully, um, these uh, they, they've got lots of little stitch lines here. We're going here. to do it upside down then, are we? Oh, are you? Yes. yes we, well, they're, they're, they're pretty sharp, our customers. They're oh, not, yes. They're, 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 they know about them. I could get and got my glasses on. Um, the Robin Reef is my favourite of all times. That's Christine from the Isle of Man. Oh, I love the Isle of Man. No. I've been there. You before. have to wave to the fairies. Oh, do you? When I went to the Isle of Man the first time, I was in a yeah. taxi and, yeah. and, and the taxi driver went, wave to the fairies. And I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> and apparently there's a bridge you go over and you have to wave to the fairies as you go. Uh, on. Anyway. I might have missed, uh, met Chris at the Festival of Quilts because someone from the Isle of Man came over. To oh, I wonder if it's the same person. Hmm? Right, sorry. Anyway, so this is very interesting. This is an interesting little thing. Yes. Okay? Because you're going to stitch on the marked line. I'll explain that uh, in, more, a in, a, more, in a minute. But actually, you've got two solid lines here. Do you see uh, And one ditty line. Yes. Now, if you cut on the solid line, you're, you're on the ditty line when we cut out, you will get two decorations. You'll get this lovely heart decoration. Uh, and then you also yes. get a star decoration. I mean, you don't have to do that, but it is very, it's very lovely to have two decorations. Yes, yes. So exactly. do follow the instructions quite carefully when okay. you do that. Uh, okay. So there's, we'll come to this in a minute. That they yes. say slit, slit. Oh, there. so hang on, just one second. So that's okay. that's gorgeous. Right. Okay. okay. So I've traced it. Um, let's just have to show you how to do oh, this. Oh, here we go. So Open I've traced back. it onto. Um, we've got a lovely look at this. I have a lovely girl Jenny who does packs of kits. Look at that. Aww. She does a lovely job. Everyone does a lovely job, of course. So, should we just get the um, iron up? Oh, yes, of course. Says, uh, now, I've got a question from Tracy saying she's teaching her seven year old grandson to sew. Would these kits, he loves it, but would these kits be good? Uh, th this is too too difficult for a little seven year old grandchild, and the shaggy the shaggy wreath things we're doing later on are perfect. Oh, okay. This then. is okay, uh, then. no, don't. I, I'm ever so honest. This is too much for a child. Right. This is a uh, uh, somebody with interest in sewing already. Right. Okay. But I will show you what the kids can do later. Oh, okay, that's love it. So that's for Tracy. Tracy, yes. Tracy keep you watching. Listening? It's you from the book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, should we just oh, you want the iron? Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you, darling. Oh. Thank you. I did put it on. That's gorgeous. And so what you? I'm just going to show you how to do this. Okay. Uh, this is this is not fusible webbing. No. This is people get confused the two things. This yes. is freezer paper. Right. And you have it on your website. Yeah, we sell it on our website, yes. but you get this in the kit. Yes, yes, you do. But you do it's not very expensive and you do need a, a, a whole roll in yes. your life. Well, the thing is, we'll get Adam to get the, uh, the handsome Adam to get it out of the thing and we can share it later. You... Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Do you want to swap those? Are you finished? Are you, is that the only ironing you're yes, doing yes, in the whole yes, of this show? Yes, yes, 
Okay. And so, look, and it actually can peels off, but you can actually... Uh, so what it, it positions it beautifully without the use of pins. So what you're going to do is go to your sewing machine and with the right colour thread, you could have a coordinating thread. Yes. Uh, you are, I would use green, in case you go off-piste a little bit. I'm not going to sew it because it's a long process. Oh, OK. It might be a bit dull. Got you could things. never be done. Yeah, well, could, I've got lots of other things to show you, OK? okay. Oh, yes, so okay. I'm going to, you're going to stitch on the line. Right. So you do not cut this out. In workshops, right. I, I make people put their sit on their scissors. Because it, 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 it's something... Not literally. No, no. Uh, but I make them put them away to one yes. side because they get the scissors out before they've even thought. So you do not cut it out. OK. Um, it would be... This, this, the method we've got is so much easier. And you're going to stitch on this Shall mark line. I cut it out? <laughs> You're going to stitch on the mark line yes, yes. beautifully, OK? Yeah. With matching thread. Yes. But you could have had a coordinating thread. OK, so you're only going around the outside. Yes. You're also going to go on both of your solid lines. The pattern's got solid lines. Oh, right, right. So you're going to stitch, stitch both of the solid lines. All the lines. solid lines. So, that, so, again, this is great for you to get uh, to, uh, to increase your machine skills. Yes. And stop, start around your curves. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure that you don't go 100 miles an hour. So yes. if you've got a speed control, bring it down. Uh, very therapeutic doing this. Yes. Very therapeutic. Do you, in the points of the scallop, do you, re do you reverse things? No, you don't have to. Going? It's a decoration, darling. OK. It's a decoration. Okay. It's not going to be used on a costume set or... Oh, right, and right. Bon Bronte sisters or anything like that. <laughs> um, it's a decoration. <laughs> Okay. Right, right. So, uh, so, so, that's so you've sewn round that line, yeah. round that yeah. line, and round that yes, line. Yes, yeah. And what you're going to do after you've done that is you're going to scratch your perforations, your little holes with yes. your pin, yeah. and tear off the paper. Now, if you want to do this neatly, some people are very neat and tidy, yes. and some people aren't. Yeah. You could preserve the pattern for another time. Okay, which are you? Not very neat. OK. OK. So I'd rip it off. Yes. Uh, but if you scratch your perforations, you don't destroy the stitching. Right. OK. And it's easy to rip off. Now, if you get into a little flurry and you've got bits of paper left, if you give it a little light spray um, with water, it yes. will actually tear off a little bit easier. OK. But it's not And problem. it doesn't leave any residue. The no, no, freezer no, no, paper no, no. doesn't no, leave no, any no, residue. No, nothing at all. It? And, it, and it's... it's um, um, very, very lovely to do it this way. OK. Yes. So once you've cut... You've, once you've... Uh, uh, marked your perforations, torn the paper off, then you can cut it out. If you cut it out now, once you've sewn it, um, you will have terrible trouble getting the paper out of the stitches. Yes. So let's tear it off first and then give it a really nice, neat cut. Right. Okay. So that's very good. And don't forget that you will then have a little star from the middle that you can make an extra decoration. So you've cut the star out yes. on the dotted line. Yes, yes, there. yes, yes. So you've got a line of stitching which yeah. would be left on the wreath yeah. and you've got a line of stitching which would yeah. be left on your star. And actually, what I want you guys to do, because it doesn't always happen sometimes. Yes. Um, you're not as neat at cutting as I'd love you to be. This is you, not no, me. Not me. This is you. This is you, not me. And um, I look like I'm the Sunday school teacher. And you're anything but a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> well, it's Thank Sunday. you very much. <laughs> it's Sunday. You're a Sunday teacher. Nothing wrong with Sunday, yeah, wrong Sunday, Sunday school teachers. And so, um, so I've, I want you to be very neat with this cutting because the, 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 because you could actually make it without um, leave it like that finished, or you could embellish it with a blanket stitch. Did you cut it with scissors? Yes, I did. Because that's very neat. Cutting yes, for I, scissors. I, yeah, but don't forget if you get your nice long scissor length, you can get a good right. This is the question I'm going to ask yeah, now, yeah. if I was making this at home. Yeah. It's all very well cutting out yeah. that one, yeah. but how do you cut out right. that one? Because you, you, where do yeah. you start? So what I did is I just fold it in half, cut it. Right. Cut it roughly, because it, obviously it's a bit more awkward, and then go around later, making sure that you making cut sure it you tidy it up. and it's tidy up. Now, if you're going to leave it... Now, don't forget, this is what Mandy does at Christmas. Sometimes I will... Leave it raw, yeah. OK? So that's... If you didn't see the blanket stitch, you'd think that's very gorgeous, yes. OK? And I'd leave it raw, finish the decoration like that, and then come back to it at a later date and put blanket stitch if I choose to. Oh, OK. So uh, often in New Year, in the New Year, when I've everything's calmed down, I get lots of stitching out and re revamp it. Or Before you put it yes, back in the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you, so we've, we've done that you, and we end that. up with that. You, you end up with this, yes. OK. And um, you're going to cut it really neatly. Now, if you are definitely going to blanket stitch it, you yes. can cut it closer to the stitching. Oh, OK. Even closer to the stitching, right. and it doesn't matter at all what you're right. doing. Um, but um, can you see that we've got lots of little hearts here? There are lots of little hearts. Can oh, I wondered that? why it was called the heart yeah. garland. Can you yes. see little hearts? Is that not nice? Or... No. So this could be adapted to make... Uh, this is a Christmas garland. Wed people do it for weddings, weddings and all and sorts of things. things yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to blanket stitch. Um, just going to show you some blanket stitching. I'm okay, going to do then. it. A, I've got it already, but I'll do it in a different colour. Red. Well, a different colour to red. Uh, yeah, well, it's still red, but I've, I've got the 
the darker red. So some I've got two reds. This is Cotton Bro Day. Yeah. You're going to have the darker red in your kit. Right. Um, this is one strand only. You don't divide your strands up. This is Heaven with my chenille needle number yes. 24 and felt. Um, sometimes I use a chenille needle 22 right. uh, for felt because it's a bit thicker. Right. So I, I, I have 22s and 24s. And 24s. Okay. okay. But this thread, this needle and the felt is Heaven. Right. Okay. Before you go any further, yeah. can I just show you a picture? Oh, do. Yes, yes. From Janet. Janet sent this picture in. Wait till you see this, everybody oh, at home. Wait till you see do I this. Know, right? Do I know what's coming up? Let's have a look. Already? Oh, wow. Janet's picture. That is unbelievable, Janet. Does Janet work in your shop? She doesn't work in my shop, but she must be my biggest fan. Oh. She's such a lovely lady. She's got a lovely daughter called Chelsea. Oh. I hope it's the same Janet. Janet Davis. Yes, well, I presume so, yes. Oh, that is amazing. That is So beautiful. they're all your... Yeah. There's the one we had yesterday, the grocery, she's even, the cake the, shop. The bookshop, yeah, look, she's, she's, we, that's the court we had yesterday. So she's actually done the new, virtually all of a new book as well. She's very good. She adapts things. There's a quilt in the background with our big heart with daisies on. Yes. And she's taken that heart that I'm on transfer like I'm always telling everyone to do yes. and used it and made a cushion because those oh, cushions aren't what right. I do. Oh, I see. You see? Oh. Her house, it's lovely. And when she shows me photographs of her house at Christmas, it's, it's lovely. And, and Janet needs a bit of love. She, oh, does yeah, she? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she, let's all send her our love. Oh, we love sending our love, Janet. Yeah, yeah, sending our love, yeah, yeah. Janet. Well oh, done. Any more pictures picture. like that? That's very inspiring. Yes. Because sometimes I think I'm not normal. And when I see people making yeah, lovely I things. I don't feel like being in that shot. I just move here. <laughs> well, no, no, that's a really awful chin? profile shot oh, of you, me. Oh, there's a lovely gorgeous. shot of you. And then this. We shouldn't, you know, you're, you're gorgeous. It's Thank not you. about individual bits. It's about the whole. We've picked out individual bits of ourselves. No, we've got some bits that we're, we're proud of. And yeah. then we've got other bits that we're not so proud of. What are you proud of? What are you going to tell me? I'm not telling you on there, <laughs> am I? <laughs> Anyway, uh, right. twenty six ninety five. This. Make sure you check out your basket. Yes, for do, do, do. Right. right. Okay. So watch this. I'm going to show you how to do a blanket stitch. Now, um, everyone, lots of people can do, do remember how to do blanket stitch, but they don't remember how to start off. Right. So I'm going to. Oh, sorry, let me just take that needle out of the way. I'm going to show you what to do. Um, what you do is that you're, I'm going to shimmy through between the two layers at this particular, and I'm coming okay. out at the on the edge. Now, to shimmy through, I have my own vocabulary. Oh, OK. And that's just meaning I've, I've got it between the two, two layers, layers and I'm yes. shimmying through, OK. So I have actually got a knot we're like, which I will now cut off. So I leave a but tag. But you have to do the knot and cut yes, it off, yes. then. So the first stitch you're going to make for a blanket stitch is a straight stitch. So I'm right. going to go down. It's a straight stitch. I'm going to put the thread round the needle. And the first Isn't the stitch... first stitch is the deepest? Don't they say oh, that the first, the first cut. stitch first is the... Oh, first cut is the deepest. First, yeah. Oh, I thought it was being clever. No, then. you're not allowed to sing either, don't forget. We get fined. You do. Oh, don't you? No, because um, mine, mine, nobody recognises the songs <laughs> when I sing. They're all the right notes, just in the wrong order. <laughs> yes. that, that all, the wrong, all the wrong words. So did you see right. that? So the yes, first sorry. stitch is going to be a straight stitch. You yes. don't move, travel. Now, lots of people stitch blanket stitch differently. We don't mind. There's no right or wrong. I saw uh, on the Kirsty Allsop programme, the Royal School of Needlework doing... Clang. Nice. Oh. So, uh, um, doing the most odd way of doing a blanket stitch, but we're all allowed to have our own... But you, you're on that show, aren't you? I You've have been. been. Yes. I have been. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter. Don't think I'm, you're doing it wrong if it's not the same way. Exactly. Okay. This is man's yes. way of doing so it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, wrap my thread round. And I'm, what, what I'm going to do is just take you... You've got your stitching mark. Yeah. There's a little guide, which is really nice. Can you see nicely yeah. on the camera? Can they see lovingly? Because what I want to do is get to the end and show you how to go around that corner. OK, so we're loving the thread, we're loving the needle. You, we can always Google or, or check on your uh, machine, uh, iPads, not iPad, what am I saying? Yeah, I'm listening. No, I wasn't allowed to say Google or iPads and you didn't check me out. You were allowed to say both those. Oh, am I? Yeah. OK, and you can, always check, you can always check on those things yes. for um, help with your stitches, OK? Yes, you go to YouTube. YouTube. If you go to YouTube, think. there's lots... Of, well, first of all, our, we, cause all our shows on YouTube, but you can just... It's amazing, isn't it, these days? Oh, you can just put anything, anything into the Anything, anything. Like, my husband was repairing the car the other day and he, he um, went on YouTube and... A man there showed him how to do it. Oh, it's amazing. Blimey, I wouldn't do that. Now, watch this. Yes, we're watch watching. This. Now, uh, sometimes a blanket stitch happens to roll forward. You yes. might not know that until you've done a lot of stitching. It's often yeah. ones the applique blanket stitch. Yes. But if you do the little knot at the end, watch this, it will stop it rolling forward. So just before you finish your stitch, in the back. Now, some of these. Are you going in a different direction today than you went yesterday? Uh, I can do left or right. Okay. I'm ambidextrous. Okay. I was going to try and hit the point. I was trying to use a nice camera angle, being oh, professional and all you. that. Thank you. 
Thank you. So let me show you what happens at the end. So you're going to stitch. So people can start, have trouble starting, but once they get cracking, they are fine. Um, stitching in the back, look, holding that stitch down. Yeah. And when I come to this corner here, so this again is very therapeutic. So you could get this ready. Yes, you could do this anytime yeah, on the train, yeah. watching the telly, yeah. doing anything like that. So you? what I'm going to do is put a stitch in that corner. So let me have a look. So I've got a stitch on one side, do you see? I'm going to put this right back in the same hole. And I'm going to have a stitch with a, with a tie at the end. So look. Do you see there? Do you see what I'm doing? Are they looking in, John? I can't see the camera because I can't They're see They're looking this. perfectly yeah. where you and are. And I'm going to go back in the same hole and I'm going to do one on the side. So let me just show you that. Look uh, at morning, that. John and Mandy. What a perfect weekend. Two mornings with Mandy. Happy days, love, Toby. To oh, nice name, Toby. Oh, perhaps I might know Toby. Might you? I might do. Perhaps I make it up. Yes, it, you know Toby in your dreams. Yeah, perhaps I yeah. do. Uh, look, so I, you I, said what? I, I want you to look at this. Oh, look at this, look at this. Sorry, Toby. Look, how this. gorgeous is that, Toby? Look at that. Do you see? And it makes a really nice little point. Do you see that? And then you can carry on. Got so, cheeses. Mandy and John both looking gorgeous today. Oh, thank you, Ty. Uh, did you're the hard. dynamic duo. Love, Teresa. Hi, Spoon. Jump, jump. You don't read out surnames. No, it's not. That's not. Her. That's where she lives. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wait, actually, actually, John, you say that name. Oh, I can't, it's gone now. Anne in Cheshire <laughs> says, Janet, they're beautiful. Oh, Janet, that's a message to Janet. Oh, they're thank beautiful. You, Can you put them on the same quarter Facebook page for, for oh, more of us do, to see? Yes. And that's, that's Janet, that's a message from Anne. Can you go back to the last message? So I want Sorry. you to pronounce that name because it's our local town, our local oh, village. Oh, you're giving away your, where you live. Yeah, there, that's so that. fine. Go on, try and. Hurst Monceau. <laughs> it's Hurst Monceau. Oh. Hurst Monceau. Sue, Everyone. but uh, I know, why? Because there's no A it's, in it's it. It's a Sussex pronunciation, and we we go with it. It's fine. I haven't got Sue's message though. Herman Sue's message. What did Sue say? I don't know, but it was we, we like a messaging, and it doesn't matter. Looking forward to day two of Inspiration with Mandy right. Shaw. That's what Sue said. Okay, right. so, so I've got a gorgeous little point there. Yeah, Loving that. Let's have a look at that. Then. No, wait, wait. I'm, oh, there you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. So, so don't forget what we said yesterday. But obviously, you didn't all watch yesterday. Yes. We can blank a stitch before. Or after, or after, there's yes. no rules. We don't like rules that are not necessary. No, okay. No. So what we're going to do now is we're going to going to um, uh, stuff this. Okay. Now the it doesn't come with stuffing. You do no, need. No. To, we've got a toy stuffing on our website if you want to. Yeah. If you haven't already got some. And what you're going to do is you're going to slit it in two. Oh, it's only in two places. Two opposites. And so you're going to get your worst side. You can see this is my worst side because I've got little bits of paper. Right, OK. So, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, and you're just going to... So you just cut through the top yes, layer? it's just the top layer only. OK. Right. And then the opposite side. Yeah. No. How do you make sure you don't go through both layers? Um, you, you have a little tactile feel in your right. fingers. Yes. And I did that quite quickly. I do really mm -hmm. appreciate it. But then you could just pick it up, look. Yes. Just pick it up and, and fold, fold it. And like you did okay. the paper. Yes. And then you're going to use your Spencer Wells forceps. Yes. And We've got to get these. Paul, yes. put these down on the shopping list. Yeah. And you're going to stuff one side. Have you got some stuff? I in? haven't got any stuffing, but I'm going to move on. Oh, okay. It's okay. slightly boring. So, 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 so you stuff that way around yeah, to that? Yeah, yeah, that way around that side and then that side. Oh, okay, And then you quarter. go over here, yeah. stuff that side. Yeah. And stuff that side. Yeah, fine. Okay, yeah, you stuff that Perfect. side. And we want a pleasant plump. It doesn't yes. have to be stuffed really firmly, but right. we do need to see the heart shape of it. Of course, yes. The heart shape of it. So that's... So, so, again, don't forget, you can prep in the morning, go out in the afternoon for a picnic, have a little bit of sewing in the evening on the beach. Yes. Oh. OK. And you can come... And you could make um, lots of these. Yes. Lots of these. And what you can also do, which I'm a great fan, is you can reduce the pattern or increase the size of the pattern. Oh, okay. And when you reduce the pattern, you get... Did you just do that on your photocopier? Absolutely. Or you could... Yes, actually, yes, you, it's easy. If you haven't got a photocopier, it's fine. What you go to is your local, te your local shop and ask the man at the counter. Right. Uh, and he to will reduce, reduce it, it for, for you. you. Or your libraries... Uh, libraries, Birmingham libraries, unbelievable. The building's unbelievable. So, and we, I'm frightened we're going to lose our libraries. Oh, OK. Yes. So we want you to use your library, go into your library with your grandchildren, let them run, run them up, because you're allowed to in libraries these days. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and get the man behind the counter, or the lady, to reduce or increase the size of OK, this you know Joe Carter, who does yes, all yeah, our toys? Yeah. Her mum is a librarian. Oh, amazing! Helen. Yeah, Helen's uh, uh, my, Yeah, my, oh, daughter goes to, my daughter goes to the library every week with her grand, my grandchildren. Oh, okay. 
It's a really wonderful place. And so you, that's a reduced one. How sweet is that? It's, it's beautiful, it's heaven, isn't, it? isn't it? But that one, you've just put the, uh, the button decoration I haven't on. actually finished any of these. I'll show them all to you because okay. uh, there's other things you can do with it. Um, what you're going to you haven't <coughs> asked me about is a slit on the back. We're just going to sew the slit back. We haven't got that far. I oh. didn't want to jump ahead. Oh, OK, darling. OK. And did you do it with the ladder stitch? You did it with the ladder stitch, OK. But actually, don't forget, no one's going to look at the back. No, and it's if they're a looking decoration, at the back, it's a de And if they're looking at the back... They're not friends. They're, they're, they've got a sort of evil twist to them. You know, people that look at backs of quilts, they look at backs of stitches. I, I wouldn't have them as my friend. No, no. OK, then. So, okay. so we've done, we've done yeah, this. Yes, that's beautiful. But there's also a robin. Yes, OK. Uh, excuse me. Excuse oh, me. So, so when you sew your little buttons on, your buttons are in your kit. In the kit, kit. yes. You, I want you to sew them through to the back. Oh, OK. Pull them right tight so right. you get that lovely indentation. Yes. We want a lovely little indentation like that. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Okay. And I've got one in white. Oh, you see, I knew okay, when yes, I was over yes, there, I knew yes. I'd seen one so in white. A nice yes. little one in white. And there's another different colour green different as well. So you could have... So but you could do red ones as well. You could do any well. colour, yes, any yeah. colour whatsoever. So the one we've got here... Is so we've made the wreath a little wreath yes. thing. The one we've got here has got the little robin in the middle. Yeah. But when you come to see the book in a second, we'll talk about the book yes. in a second. Yep. There's lots of other characters that you can put inside. Oh, okay. So you could have put the little reindeer inside. Oh. And you could have the reindeer. Oh, I haven't could, seen yeah. that yet. Oh, have they not seen it? Look, little reindeer. And there's robins. Uh, there's, there's snowmen, snowmen, gingerbread men, all sorts of things. So gingerbread this is just men. a lovely little idea here. Yes. That you could put any anything you like okay, in there. Okay, brilliant. Right. So when you come to make the robin, it's just exactly the same principles really as a little bit of patchwork you've got um, you've got a base pattern here right. and you're going to cut these out and place them onto the base okay so that's that's your main yes, shape yeah, that's your main robin. shape you're going to cut your main shape out of red look here it doesn't matter what color a brown i think it's brown yeah. now it doesn't really matter what color you have yeah um, and then you're going to cut these little shapes oh, out here and they and go on onto the, the shape. shape and then you just got hand it. blanket stitch it together and get right. a little stuffing and what we've done to make the nice branch we've rolled a little piece of uh, pipe cleaner yes. in the brown felt right and so it, you can have a little 3d uh, um, thing. and then we've got a couple of uh, strange holly leaves you thought no they look like good holly leaves okay those. just check yeah because yesterday you thought they might be strange they were a bit strange okay. yesterday okay. Yes. and a couple of little bells mm. Little, yeah. What's that? There? Oh, that's the other end of the branch. Yes, that's not a. It's not a leg. It's yes, an end of branch. He's doing the splits. Yes, and a little weeny eye. And the, the most tricky bit about the robin is putting the little weenie beak on after. Oh, there's yes. No, there's no easier way of doing that. You just have to cut a little beak out, blanket stitch it, and apply, apply it. OK. What's the star? The star, look look at this. Oh. Little finishing touches. Yes. All those little things. And so um, this is just delightful. Do you, so with the robin... Yeah. Do you slit it to stuff it again? Yes, you can slit it to stuff it. Or you can just... Uh, and then put a wing on wing top. Wing on top of it, Wing on top, yes. on top. OK. So it's, it, that's a very sweet little ditty. That's yes, not but we'll look at the book in a second yes, and yeah. see what the other ones And then are. this is... You can just hang this on a door, in a window, on a cupboard, on your Welsh dresser. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm always on about gifts and things. It's a wonderful gift to give. Uh, it's a, it comes in a whole kit form. Yes, whole the kit form. The whole kit form, £26.95. Yep. Pence. There's, look at everything, you get all of that, <coughs> excuse me, everything, are the little eyes in there as yes, well, even are, the yeah, eyes yeah. in there, the buttons, you do need to check out your basket, you do need to check out your basket at £26.95. Yes. Right, while you tidy that up, yes, do. Um, I'll just go through the book. Yes, Because do. this, that, that wreath, if you miss out on the um, kit, or maybe you've got your own wool felt at home in red yes, or blue yeah, yeah, or yellow, yeah. whatever, and you want to make it, well, all the instructions are in this brilliant book, right? How to make Christmas wreaths and garlands, 11 Christmas wreath ideas to stitch and sew by Mandy Shaw. Now, these are all your designs, aren't they? Oh, They're yes. Everything's... Yes. No, um, yes, they are all my designs. Ooh, um, is oh, that printed or is that written? That, that's me. I wrote... I have a signature done. Yes, I know, but then, now I'll have this one then, because that'd you be worth something yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> Anyway. One of my books is out of print, and if you try and buy it, buy it on, um, you know... That, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Christmas wishes on the wing. So we're just going to... I'll keep it flat for this one so we can just see the different um, things that are in the book. Yeah. So we've got the Christmas wishes on the wing. We've got Gnome for Christmas, it's which is gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Then we've got family gingerbread. So, so when I was saying yesterday about the snowman garland, I said we yeah. had a complimentary. Yes. This is the complimentary... Um, well, the snowman was complimentary to the book. We've yes. got a gingerbread garland and a snowman garland. Then we've got North Pole night. Yeah. Yes, That's lovely. Pretty, Very nice, it? yeah. Now, 
uh, ring a ring of snowmen. We'll talk about this in a second because we yeah. were looking for that to, for the child yeah, yes, very sir. quickly. We'll talk yeah, about yeah. that in a minute. Uh, Bobbin Robin Reith. Yeah, that's the same. Oh, that's the one we've just done. Yes, really, yes, one we've just, yeah. just done then. Uh, then we've got the string of buttons. Oh, oh, that, oh that's on the tree over yeah, there. Yeah. That we've got that yeah. on the tree over there. If you want to have a quick look at my the lovely tree Iris Primrose helped me make those for the book, uh, but they are just lovely. Again, you prep them, put them in your handbag. Look, don't they look gorgeous though on the tree? Yeah, they are lovely. Really, really lovely. Uh, These are lovely. Let it snow garland. Now yeah. that's I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, it is hanging down. Oh, there, on the it? bottom of there, Tom. Do you see on the bottom of the? Of Look, the let, me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. So can they see this picture beautifully? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is summer because my roses in bloom. Oh so yes. But we had all the candles going. These candles lit. Lit the blind and the blind started dripping and melting. No, oh, we are, don't be we saying that. No, no, no. Anyway, did we, did, we, did we just see our garland in real life there on the bottom of the thing? There oh, they are, there they are, look. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And they can be used individually on the tree as well. Lovely. Then candy cane garland. Yes, now, I've seen, oh, I've, uh, there's a couple of those candy canes yeah. on our little Christmas yeah. tree over there. A cone of Christmas trees. This now, I've seen that on the table. Oh, yes, you've got that. Well, you've got that over has here. Has it gone over there, they, gone over there Well, I've got one here that I can show you. This is delicious. These are delicious to make. Absolutely heaven to make. And these they, are all in the book, Yeah, all, all these in are in the book. book. And you can add a load of little friends um, in there as well. Oh, what his legs go in? Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, then we've got this, this is the Christmas of, Mayhem. This yeah. is very popular. This is, the, this is the best one in the book. This is, should have been on the front page, really, but we have problems with the photography. Um, this <laughs> is spectacular, really gorgeous. And it's a cacophony. Yeah, cacophony of, of colour. all the bits. Yep. Then, all this the is how you make. So you've seen all the pictures. Yeah. And then these are all the instructions. What you'll need, how to make them, or everything you need to know. We talked about the gingerbread man earlier, the yeah. reindeer earlier, may have it dangling in the middle of your wreath, the, the candy cane, the little heart. Yeah. Everything you need to know. And the bobbin robin. The uh, robin there's the yeah. bobbin robin there, and then the um, little star. But look, even to the stitch details, even down to the stitch detailings. They're just, and then, not only that's not enough, you've then got templates. Yeah, for all, all four sides. For everything, four all sides, the right yeah. sides. Now, if they've got seam allowance... Oh, no, you don't need seam allowance, because you no, stitch you're stitching on the mark line, on the, on yes, the line. yeah. So, so you never... You need to add a seam allowance no. to anything I do. Ever. 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 But there's the snowflake there, yeah, you see. Yeah. So much going on yeah. in that book at £9.95. Yeah. Right, now, before we go any further, can we just talk very quickly, before we go on to the baubles, because we promised we'd do that project for the child, the yes. seven-year-old child, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. wonderful. OK, so can uh, you just pass me the big one on the table, John, please? The big shaggy garland on the table. That's it, that one there. That the thing, actual yes. garland? No, no, that thing, you've got your hand this? in. We'll do something slightly different, yeah. The can boa? The, yeah, the boa. Should we wrap it round each other? Should we, should we have a... Yeah, uh, have a moment. Where's the pin bottle? <laughs> oh, my glass is gone! Right. Oh. Scratch my glass! Sorry, sorry. Get back to... <clears throat> Right. Right, OK. So, children, and you've got... So, children, you've got to make sure that when you're teaching children things, it's easy and fun yes. and quite short and quick. Yes. OK. And this is unbelievably easy to do. Now, this I put up... Uh, I, I ha uh, have as a swag. A swag. OK. So, so, I'd call yes, that a garland. Just, you can be a garland as well, darling. We're, we're going to be multi-purpose. Yeah. So, if this was in my house, yeah. I'd have it in... Th oh, equal. equal. Oh, four. Oh, yes. two. oh yeah, how okay. nice is that, you see. And at each point here, I might put a snowman. Right, OK. So, uh, or, or a reindeer or something gorgeous there. Okay. Yeah. So, so these are lovely to make. And what you need, a metre of fabric. It's the same if you're making the... On a, on a coat hanger, yeah, OK? Yeah. And you cut them into... Uh, you tear them, very important, you tear them into one inch wide, six inch lengths. Yeah. And you tear one of them and keep it as a big, long strip, one metre, and yeah. that would be what you tie them onto. Oh, OK. okay. So, that, oh, so all that's got in the middle is one... One length. Or a bit of string, if you want to. Yeah. And you can get your kids to tie these... They're, all they are are six inch strips tied onto Oh, OK. Tie. So that wreath over there yeah. with the, yeah, with all the, the wreath, snowman yeah. on... Oh, and the white, yeah, yeah, white one yeah. there. It's just the same. It's just exactly the same. Exactly the thing. same. And it's really brilliant to do oh, with quick. kids. I, I, I'll try and take, undo one so you can see. Oh, I can't actually. There you go. So on the again. wreath there, yeah. you've done that snowman wreath and the white wreath yeah. like that. Yeah, and they are on a coat hanger. So I made the coat hanger circular shape. Right. And, uh, and kids adore tearing, they adore the cutting, and they adore being with you. So I, I have this vision of the front room, Sunday afternoon, great sort of TV programme on and a uh, cup of tea and cakes oh. coming in and you just sit with a load of mess. Make a mess. Let kids be messy. Don't be tidy with them. And and they can make these easily. And they and you could use old shirts, old pyjamas. Yes, yes. And exactly. isn't it a tear as well? But try and yes, stick and to the same colour. Shirt, yeah, yeah. Be lovely. Yeah. Uh, now, I've got to tell you about the book, right? Yeah. So many of the book have sold already. There's the same amount of people have got them in their baskets, so you need to check out. Yes. You need to check out, otherwise... I, 
I can't guarantee, I can't guarantee that you'll get it. Um, remember, you can check out as many times as you want, but I can't guarantee, just putting it in your basket doesn't mean you've got it. You, the only time you've got it is when you've phoned in and you've done it on the phone or you've checked out your basket, which is why we have that system. Check out for this, check out for that, check out that you still only yeah. pay 2 95 yeah. for the whole day. Right, we've got to move on. Oh, we've got to move on. Where right, are the baubles? Okay. Oh, baubles. now, very quickly, oh, can I do this now? Yes. Um, only because, um, and we mentioned earlier freeze paper. Now, in that kit, you got freezer paper, but Mandy says, oh, everybody needs a roll of freeze paper. This always sells out whenever we have it in. We had it in yesterday, we've got a few left. We've got a few left, that's a whole roll. I think it's 12 metres, isn't it? Of uh, freezer paper on a roll there. Graphics coming in. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh, Twelve it, meters. It's it's um, a must-have in your sewing room. An absolute must-have. Yes. You can also use it to wrap meats and cheeses and things. Exactly. Desk, but, but if you look on on here, there's lists of lists of all yeah. the different things yeah. you can use it for and everything. Yeah. Um, very quickly, before we go to the baubles, Pat, I've got some pictures to show. Is that oh, right? Oh yes. She loves it when we do this bit. Right, let's have a look oh, at the pictures then. Oh, look at then. this. Oh, look, this is good. I, I'm loving it when people do things slightly upside down to what I would do. They use their own imagination. Oh, yes, 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 so yes. The cushion on the left-hand side is at the right-hand side of the ladies, I'm not sure. Left. It, left. It's um, Snowy Hearts, Snowy Nights, and she's she's done it back to front. I do it white and red, and she's done it red oh, and white. Oh, wow. It looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, so we've had... These are from, in no particular order, yeah. Julie, Alison, Suzanne... Christine, Marsh, Marcia, Marcia. And that, uh, that, those bears are a lovely, a very, very simple pattern called Betty yeah. Bear. Very simple. Yeah. But Betty six really six pictures, five names. So obviously, somebody did those two from yes, one person. Wonderful. There. Thank you for showing us. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. But we need now to do these Christmas. Okay. Naomi. Naomi was the last one. Right. Okay. Right. So three. Well, again, this is a kit, isn't it? This is a kit, complete kit. So you get everything you need except in here, your card apart from a piece of cardboard. So you need which cereal, cereal, cereal box, cereal card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, aren't they cute? Let me just hold them up. So you get 100% linen. You get your threads. Oh, they, you get your uh, wadding and your background. And your rib. And, yeah. Oh, no, it's not ribbon. It's like a, a, cord. a cord. Cord. It's a cord. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a really like a cord. cord. Yeah. And these are again just um, these are. These are baubles for the Christmas tree. I, yes. I said yesterday that I really do think we need more white on our Christmas yes, trees. It I looks think they, really I know really where good. they are. Oh, yeah. On your feng shui. On tree. my feng shui, feng shui tree. Yes. Feng shui. Except I'm not called Noel. I'd have to change my no, Actually, someone came to a workshop and she uh, had two sons. One was called Noel. No, Gallagher. No, uh, no, oh. no. And the other one was called. Oh, I forgot now, Liam. but it's. Leon, yes, Leon, 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 <laughs> Noel and Leon. Leon. Yeah, Leon. So she had. Oh, she had Noel no, and Leon. Leon. Did she come again to another oh, one? Oh, she did, she did. She got two boys. They're very, very successful pianists in, you know, huge places like that. Yes. Uh, one Clara, time. loving the show, watching my six-year-old daughter, so we'll definitely be doing the wreath. Oh, Chiara from Elgin, Chiara. And that's the same name as uh, Colleen Nolan's daughter, Chiara. Oh. And says, coffee, fruit, pie for breakfast and the most inspiring sewing creations. Your enthusiasm is amazing. Lots of love from Anne. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Yes, she's miserable as sin out there. She just <laughs> turns it on when she comes. <laughs> no, that's a lie. She's even noisier out there in prep. Oh. Um, right. OK, so... In the kit, yep. you get the fabric, the felt, the ribbon, as you've just everything said. You everything you need except Not the, the felt, not no. the felt, the wadding, sorry. Yes, yeah. uh, everything except the cardboard. Yes, yeah, yeah. So let's go, let's make let's one. Let's So what you're going to do is uh, cover the iron and the mat. Oh, no, um, I, it I, I I'm aware that I talk about the iron on transfers a lot to you ladies, and I, um, I know it's like teaching you to suck eggs, some of you, but I've got to go over it again quickly. Um, these are iron on transfers, which you can use up to six times, but we've just done an experiment recently at home because um, a, a lovely lady said that her iron on transfers were weren't working so well. And we, we realised it's the same issue as the vacuum cleaner problem. That, yes, um, we, you have to wait for it to warm up. We, we, um, is it plugged on? Yeah. It's switched yes. on, it's um, in. Just checking. Uh, that we think the new, she had a new iron and she tr uh, she didn't get a good a, as good a transfer as she would have loved. And it's the um, new irons. We don't think they're, they're as hot, hot. hot, they're not as hot. They're Funny, not as hot. Because we, we did an experiment and we used old iron, my new iron, and a travel iron, and the travel iron and my old iron were amazing, and the brand spanking new iron wasn't as hot. This How is great. Funny. Yeah, this is great. This one. But you must, don't use Not a squidgy good. ironing no, board. No squidgy Cover. ironing board. Very hot iron. Um, don't, don't. don't move it. Uh, use your flat pins. Um, oh, I haven't got one on here. A flat pins to stabilise it if you've got dexterity problems. Yes. Um, and let me a little demonstrate. Okay. You. And you can use each one up to six times, so potentially you've got 36, six sixes, 
Three, oh, six, eighteen. 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 So great for fire affairs, craft fairs, church fairs, school fairs, things yeah. like that. Um, I, what I don't want you to do is um, charge ridiculously cheap prices for these things. What was that to work then? Craft. No, I, I worry that crafters sell their stuff too cheap, and then it lessens the value of what we do. Yes. So make sure you, you that these are good value. Package them nicely. Nice brown little labels. Nice little basket with a. Well, when you do your mace, you get a little cardboard oh, like I a Chinese do. takeaway I little. Do. I do. Box. Don't do anything. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so nice hot iron, nice flat surface. Um, these ironing mats are fine, um, but I know this iron works beautifully because we did it yesterday. And you're going. And to... also, this this um, linen is very receptive to yes, it. As well, yes, yes. So so some linens or fabrics have dressings on them that aren't. So I'm going to hold the iron down, just check, and it was fine. And look at that. Oh, oh. perfect. And don't panic that it's back to front. That, that's not, that was. Yes, yes. Because it's meant to be yes, reversed. Exactly. Okay. So that's just delicious. And you can get that six times. But it's frustrating for the ladies that have tried, see me doing this, try it with the iron, and it doesn't work. It's because your iron isn't hot enough. So yes. revert back to your old yes. iron. Okay. Or, um, and what I was going to try and do, I oh, didn't do it in time, is buy the cheapest iron I could from. Yeah, yeah. You can't and mention just, that. And so. see if that worked as well. So we could all invest in a cheap iron that was for red Well, I was going to say, sometimes, sometimes those. Cheap, nasty irons yeah. get way too hot anyway, so they'd be brilliant. Yes, for yes, that, so we'll so. do, I'll, 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 I'll do, do a little blog on it. And we'll put a little, blog yeah, do it on your blog. I do it on a blog. Okay. Um, I've got to tell you that the book is really, really, yeah. really low in stock now. Really, really low in stock. Right. Okay. So you're going, for these, because we want to create a nice little bit of puffiness, you're going to put them on some wadding. So we've got some nice bits of wadding. So this is a good yeah. reason for you to save all your scraps of wadding at home from your quilt making and yeah. things and keep them in a little bag which you can use for scraps. And you're going to cut that out into a nice square and you are going to um, stitch that to your heart's content. Again, lots of preparation is great for this. Um, in little bags, um, I got some very nice little little bags the other day. Oh, here they are, look. Um, from I can't say shops, can I? But the big shop that sells discounted things. What's it start where, with? Where, 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 our, where our producer got his gay jacket from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not really, it's a stunning jacket. My, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. It's so, a very so, happy so, yeah, jacket. So I yes. love bags like this, look, dots all over the place. Yes. But how nice. So I put, I put the things thing in... is, the thing is about mentioning that store is all the different stores have different things in them. Yes. So if it's in one, it might not necessarily be in another. Oh, that but you've got to have your eye. You've got to be savvy, savvy. Or what about the, the, the plastic store? You know, the, you know, yeah. you can get. So I love bags He's like this. He's getting upset about this. Oh, oh no. Hey, also, he, you he said was very yesterday. handsome yesterday. Yeah, not today. Oh. <laughs> but you said you said yesterday on your show you were going to give him some tips about what he could do with the jacket, oh, and yeah, you never we, told him. Did well, you? actually, uh, oh, I, I went shopping yesterday and I found some really nice badges in the uh, yes. jean shop. Yes, yes. So he should put badges yes, all over yeah, it, shouldn't yeah. he? Really. Um, I had to say something very important, and I can't remember oh. what it was now. Um, <laughs> oh, I didn't get that message you just said. There was a message from somebody. I didn't get Jill's message. No. Right. Okay. Again, we're using cotton and bro day. A needle 24, yes. one strand only. And we're going to stitch through to the wadding um, with a little simple back stitch. Um, and this is going to create a little weenie indented effect, which is quilted and yes, it has yes. more, more texture, more interest. Yeah. So we're just going to... Um, all the knots and dodginess can be shown on the back because we're not going to be seeing that at all. Uh, you know, we don't show the back yes. at all. And you're just going to stitch with a back stitch, which is very Mar lovely. Maria wants to know how she sends in a picture. It's at studio at sewingquarter.com. Maria Studio at sewingquarter.com. So now Jill sent a message in, which yes. I can't read. She loves your show, Mandy and John. Oh, and me. Oh, and you. Oh, she does love you too. Always bring She's... the smile to her to her face. Yes, I do. And she's bought the book. Are they all in their nineties with their cups of tea? This is what. Nineties. Night. <laughs> oh, nineties. Yeah, nineties. Nineties. What time is it? Oh, yeah, there could be a quarter could to be. nine. They yeah. could be. Yeah, they will be, won't they? Sunday morning. It's Sunday. Oh, no, I've been, I've been for a jog and everything, me, but. <laughs> <laughs> not. So, um, a, a lovely little stitch, half a grain of rice. Um, not a, not a risotto not rice, risotto, long grain. Long grain. And uh, I love what you don't forget, we don't want to compare with our lovely people that so immaculately. Have you not got one that, what's the name made? Um, Mel, no. Uh, we haven't got one that Mel made. Uh, I haven't got it with me. Mel's an exceptional stitcher. Yes. I want you to love what you make, not compare with your neighbour, your friends. When you're at your sewing groups, I don't want you to, you, you know, to look at somebody's work across the way and think that yours is worse if you're making it you're 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 in it's wonderful yes it's wonderful i just want to show you how to do this little circle here We've, i often do these dots 
Oh, yes. And they drive people insane, but I'm not giving up on them. I love them. Right. Um, Are they uh, difficult to do? No, then? they're not. So what I want you to do is um, think of them as a little square. This one happens to be quite large for me to do as a square. But if you think of them as a little square and do top, bottom, side, sides and pull tight, it will become sort of circular. Isn't that a dance? A top. Top, top, bottom, side, side. Like could, little could box, be. big box, big fish. It could fish, be done. Like it could right, be, so could let's be. concentrate yes, on this yes, then. Yes. Well, I didn't say. I, I didn't say. I was thinking about um, cruising and thinking about um, learning to dance. I don't know what that came into my head. But you started the dance story. You want to learn to dance? Well, I, 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 I can do. I want to be more graceful. Oh, okay. Not, not that sort of dancing. No, that, dancing. that sort of dancing. Yes, yeah. Like, like um, strictly come dancing. Yes, dancing. yeah, yeah. yeah. I might get myself a ball gown. Get yourself a ball gown? Yeah, a swishy one. Do you know what? It's not been the same since when they used to do come dancing on a Saturday night and had those huge, huge ball those gowns. Huge I loved it. Dresses. I loved it. I loved it. I used to watch that come in from the pub and watch come dancing. Did you do that? No, With I was only a child. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> oh, you'd love done it. And I look, oh. in a class, let me just tell you what happens in a class. If the student wants me to get on with their work, they chat to me. And then while they're chatting, I've stitched it. No. They do. They do. So I've stitched what I was trying to demonstrate. I'm sorry. We'll show so, look at it again yeah, then. So I'll do one over here. I pretend there's a whole um, a little weenie um, circle over there. So what I, the circles look formidable sometimes. Yeah. But treat them as little squares. You go the bottom. This is a circle that's not on there. Yeah. And the top. And then do the two sides. And if you pull this quite tightly... I do love working with the linen, it's so nice. He's still smarting about what you said about his jacket Oh, I, I thought it looked beautiful, yeah, all fresh and shaven and clean, wasn't he? Lovely looking. Shaven? Thing. He's got a beard. Yeah, but it was, it was the beard was shaven. Yes, yes trimmed. It was trimmed, trimmed. Um, manscaped, yeah. is that what they call yeah. it? So if you put it tight, look, you see, you get a circle. Yes. But it's actually square. So it's, they're not, so, not as painful as you think. No, okay, brilliant. OK. So you've done okay. that, you've done I've your done stitches. That. Yes, I have to Yes, Mandy, I am here with my cup of tea in my dressing gown. Good morning to both of you. That's Beverly in Ayrshire. Oh, hello, Beverly. Check, yeah, out, your Check out your baskets. Check out your baskets. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut the wadding off. I've already done that, but I'll show you how I do that. Yeah. You're going to cut your wadding off, OK? So you don't want wadding around the edge. Oh, so you want... You literally cut the wadding off to the, the line yeah, of stitches yeah, around the outside. I quite love these. I love, I'm a, a sort of snippy girl. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. And, you're, and you're going to run a row of gathering stitches around the outside edge. Oh, OK. And again... The famous gathering the, stitches. Yes. Uh, I, it upset. It's not that one, is it? Yeah. Um, it's the other one from yesterday. So yes. what you're going to do is a uh, knot and three stitches on top of each other. One... Received a I'm just asking, do you get the, the spotty fabric? Yes, you fabric do. Yes, in the you, back? Do. Yes. you do. You do. So, you do. And so in the kit, you do get the spotty fabric for the back as well. Yeah, there it is. There. That's it. So you're okay. going to wrap. You're going to whip round the outside edge with a gathering stitch. Okay. Um, I'm using the cotton abroad because it's strong and it won't be seen. So don't worry about yes. this. Okay. It won't be seen. Um, some people gather with just without knotting and they just do a little pleasant little weak tie at the end. So when you pull your thread up, mm. it, it comes undone. So, comes so through, that yeah. knot and three stitches, I can hear myself saying in my workshops, make sure you knot and three stitches. Yeah. Um, how do people if people want to come to one of your masterclasses, yes, how do they do it? Yeah, after, if you join if you join our um, newsletter, so enroll to our newsletter, yeah, then which you'll is get Dandelion Designs, is it? Yes, yeah. And you'll then get uh, we do very few, I'm so busy with you guys uh, that I do very few but we have got a Christmas weekend coming up where we do oh it's wonderful I decorate the barn it's not my barn oh okay no, no. oh this is the barn in the middle of the countryside yes, yes. you can't find yes <laughs> and we decorate the barn to death with Christmas decks and we have we cook lo lovely food and we give you presents and parcels and oh. it, it's a very special day and um, we have wonderful cake cakes Mel makes the most amazing mince pies and we do great food uh, it's a special day. Yes, special yeah. day. Anyway. Anyway, you're going to cut yourself a list me. Yeah, something fell the on clogs. the floor. It's, it's my your, clogs. Your, your, it's my clogs. clogs yeah. I didn't mention how nice my clogs were. Well, I was super noticing how much weight you'd lost. <laughs> That's why I didn't see your shoes as well. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, circle. Circle. Card. So, really and truthfully, I'd love you to have corrugated card or a thicker card than this. Right. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can just double it up. That this is one I... I, I, I bought it so it looked aesthetically gorgeous. Yes. But actually, I, I quite like thicker card than okay. this. It's not a problem, OK? So you pop your circle in there. You have a template for your circle on the Oh, pattern. and it goes inside. Yes. It goes inside. And you pull this up really tight. And make oh, sure... Oh, look yes. at that. Does that not fit beautifully? So you make, you're going to put it up really, really tightly. Yeah. 
and without buck, which is why you need the thicker cardboard, really, because yes. if it's flimsy cardboard, it'll buckle yeah, slightly. This, this bit's it? a little bit uh, tricky, but do three stitches on top of each other, and then yep. the magic happens in two seconds' time. Okay. Have okay, we got time for my magic? Yep. We oh yeah, we've got yeah. five minutes. Oh, yet, that's right. fine, stunning. So beautiful. So there you are. So you do manoeuvre it around. Okay. Look at that. So that the card is quite central to it yeah. and because it's hand stitched and linen moves you might not get the, the perfect circle but you can fix no, that, quite in a like that yeah. and you can do exactly the same with your backing fabric back. but i accidentally made it oh okay you made wrong it cream, one, the wrong yeah, yeah, so, so you could have actually done two so when they twiddle mm -hmm. you know uh, so you've got to put two together now this mm -hmm. is the magic i'm going to use the top thread just so that you can see what i'm doing you mean taupe taupe darling taupe Are, is that posh are you being posher than me today? No, I think taupe's the colour, isn't it? I like taupe, thank you. Oh, taupe, okay. Thank you, taupe. Mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom, yeah. Mushroom. So I want you to use ordinary sewing thread, and I prefer you to use white. Right, okay. But I haven't... I, I want to use a colour that you might be able to see. All right, then. So I was thinking carefully about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, And um, cast on. Yes. With what? Uh, a knot and three stitches. Thank you. So just cast Man, on really... you have really to really, really be on the ball with yeah, you. Yeah, you do, yeah. It's really strange. The girls that have been with me forever... <clears throat> as teaching, teaching ladies, um, know exactly what I mean. And I got more well-trained. So when we have somebody new come in and they do this silly... Uh, it's not so silly, uh, I apologise. But when they don't cast off on the machine, so I call it zizzum. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So when you're casting off zizzum... But that's back. like when you work with a designer when you're making costumes. They go, oh, I want one of those, you know... Yeah. And you, and you go, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Anyway, let's do this so, zizzum. Minute. so what we're going to do is a ladder stitch. Yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. So hold it together like a little yeah. um, Oreo sandwich. Yes. yes. And uh, you're going to take a, a little stitch. These are all the same half grains of rice. And you're going to, where you came out, go across the top. Now go near your red stitching. Yeah. So you're going to create a I'm little ladder. Here, yeah. Brilliant. Is that good? Is yeah, it looking excellent. good? Oh, we love excellent. Because it looks um, quite um, caveman like when oh, it's like yeah, that. Yeah, it does. It? It's, it's, it's not prehistoric, yeah. also it's primitive. That's primitive. It's, it's really gorgeous. So don't go over the red, just no. go near the red. And and when you put it up tight, I'm going to do about three or four more stitches to okay. put it up tight. Oh, so one, one more stitch. So you need to do about five stitches and then you can pull it, OK? Right, OK. But I'm just showing you so I can demonstrate. So you would do five stitches and then pull it, not yeah, do yeah, lots yeah. and lots and so try and pull so it. So it looks like a ladder. Yes, okay? oh, yeah, yeah. So watch the magic. Yeah. So when you oh, wait, pull wait. this... Yeah. And that's why you have to cast on well. Yeah. OK. And that's why you've got double thread. Yeah. When you pull it, it's invisible. Brilliant. I was just making sure you stayed in shot there. That yeah, was absolutely okay, brilliant. wonderful. So I'll just do that again for you. A little yeah. uh, skimmy across the bottom where you come out and go at the top exactly. This is a ladder stitch, great for knitting and upholstery. That's where it comes from, I think. Yeah. Um, so most ladies, m well, not, not most ladies, if, you, if you're a stitcher, yes, yes, yeah. And you can just go. Now you can go around this twice. Yes, I so would. So watch this nicely. There's five stitches when you it up tightly you cannot see is that lovely and then you get the beautiful little shape look look at that book is sold out by the way book is sold out is that not delicious right that is beautiful right very quickly yes. before we go yes got a poem for you oh <coughs> look look look, look. Uh, ready oh. john and mandy you are great for the sewing quarter don't be late nope. your sunny smiles and jolly wit make all your fans think you're a hit you bring us new and exciting kits to either sew or sometimes knit lots of love from mags in west wales oh that last, that last line doesn't rhyme. That's mine. No, no. Lots of love get rid of that Mags. last line. No, yeah. uh, thank you so much, Mags. Right, oh, uh, there's so many messages. Amanda, hello, enjoying the show. You're both so funny. Can you tell me what the quilt is oh, behind you? Um, well, just wait. At, watch at 10 o'clock. Yes. Watch at 10 yes. o'clock and you'll find out what that yes. quilt is. Uh, Maureen, morning, Mandy and John. Yes, I'm... Oh, I've done that one. Tea yeah. and... Oh, no, that's someone else. I am in my nighty with tea and toast. Everyone's in oh, their nighty with tea toast. and toast. Oh, I'd love a bit of toast. Well, butter. there's gluten-free bread in there. <laughs> you pair are the ant and deck of the sewing world. Oh, we've had that conversation before, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> so move on, move on. Move on, move on, move on. Anyway, um, uh, uh, who's got the biggest forehead? Me. Oh, I'll have oh. to be that one, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, right, I've got a couple of pictures for you as well, quickly, before we go. This is lovely. I love it when people get involved. Oh, love. Oh, stunning. Oh, stunning. I oh, see so this again. This is some wonderful news. The left-hand one with the robin, that what we've made earlier on, she's put added... Um, holly leaves. Yes. Love it. And look at her holly yeah. leaves. You, you could learn a lesson too from her. She ought to so tell me who, how to who do are they from, sorry? Jean and Sue have made those two. She and then that's, is, that the ra is that the uh, ripped a raggy one? Reef, a lovely raggy reef. And she's used lots of different fabrics. Lots of different Christmas uh, fabrics. A lot of Christmas fabrics in the red, white and yeah, green. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, really it? gorgeous. Right, OK, you've got to go now. Oh, I thought, um, OK. 
Be coming back in an hour. Yes. With oh, this, oh, oh now oh. I don't know how we're going to get through the ten o'clock hour. There's a cushion. There's a quilt. A doll. There's an angel, and there's a heart. Oh gosh, yeah. The best. We've saved the best. We have saved the best of us, but it was all fabulous. And um, I've still got two minutes. I'm being told now. I thought we oh, were running okay. out of time. Anything you want to say before you go for your break? Your go toast? For, my for my break. Um, what about? Should we talk about Lucy's uh, sew along thing I did last night? Oh, you could do. But, but before you do, oh, there's a couple of the wreaths left. You know the wreath that we did earlier, the green oh, wreath. Oh, 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 sure. There's me. a couple of the kits for the green wreath still available. Oh, let me have a look at this. Where's so let me just say this to you. Right, let's have a look. Let's go back to this then, because this Literally. is delicious. It, well, oh, let me just tell you what's good about this. It's lovely to make. Yes. You don't have to be experienced. You don't have to be a child. Yeah. Not a child. But you, you need to know about you sewing. Need, it'd be lovely if you had a sewing machine. And if, you had, if you've got a sewing machine you've not uh, used recently, get it out. Yeah. A new needle, a little dust, and, yes. and pickle the fluff out. Yeah. I leave it near a radiator to warm up so the oils in the machine can get moving. Oh. Mm. That's a nice little tip. Yeah. And this is a weekend project. Mm -hmm. um, you could make it, um, you don't have to make it in these colours, you can make it in any colours you like, and it could be, as you said, a wedding gift. But in the kit, the kit that we're showing here, 26 yeah. 95 you get everything you need yeah. to make this. Uh, with the buttons, the pipe cleaner, the ribbon, the embroidery thread, the felts, and the instructions, everything, the only thing you don't get is the fill, you don't need much, a little bit of toy Stuffing, filling in yeah. there. All the instructions, everything yeah, inside absolutely. the kit. You don't, you, don't, you don't need to... You can be out in the Outer Hebrides and you wouldn't have to go shopping. Exactly, exactly. Right, so you're back in an hour yes. with all those gorgeous yes, things. Yep. Go off and have a piece yes. of toast. Don't go anywhere, cos Lucy's coming up and we're going to be doing a Drunkard's Pathway quilt block. Suits you nicely. <laughs> anyway, Mandy Shaw, everybody. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Follow us on well Pinterest. Well done, brilliant. Thank you. Search for our sewing page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. So today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a satin stitch. This is basically a line of straight stitches covering an area, let's say a petal, um, and they'll be parallel and adjacent to each other giving you a nice satin finish. So I'm using embroidery thread and I do have a, a knot in the end just for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to be taking my needle from the back to the front of my work and I'm just going to sew a simple square. So I've done my first line of stitching. And you can see that I'm coming in very close, but not through the same hole that I did before. So my next line of stitching will be parallel to the one I've just created. So I'm going to keep doing that. There we have our satin stitch. Sewing Quarter had a ball at the Festival of Quilts. Most importantly, we loved meeting all of you at the Sewing Quarter Cafe. Thanks to everyone who popped by to meet us, including those who joined us for a spot of English paper piecing, all for the great cause, Project Linus. John Scott was even joined by Mandy Shaw on Sunday, and they laughed their way through a demonstration from Mandy's red and white Christmas book. If you didn't have a chance to drop by our stand or couldn't make it to the NEC, then we have a treat for you. We've filmed Mandy Shaw's live demonstration at Festival of Quilts, and you can watch the full video over on our website at www.sewingquarter.com. Simply click on the banner at the top of the page, sit back with a cuppa and watch Mandy and John.
You know they had to edit that video, don't you? Because Mandy used a lot of uh, rife, rape words during that show. So you'll see some it. Uh, now I've got to. I made a mistake earlier. I know. I'm rel. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm rel rarely wrong. Pfft, little Paul's rarely wrong. I call it Drunken's Pathway. It's Drunkard's Path. It is right. It's a Drunkard's Path. Uh, little Paul knows that very well. Isn't it lovely, though? Now, what I love about this, it's quite... Well, I want to say it's quite simple. It's not. Because you've got the um, curved seams and everything to do. But what I just love the way you can make so many different patterns from one simple block. But before we go and see Lucy and how to create the Drunkard's Path, let's go through some of the bundles I've got here for you today. Now, we've obviously got the two colourway that we've got over there, so I'll start with the two colourways over here. So this one here, you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. You get the grey and you get the true red linen. It's a grey spectrum solid. Oops. And then you get the true red uh, linear there. You get half a metre of each, seven pounds and 95 pence. Uh, there, are you gonna show the still? There's the still, there you go. We've also got this one, which is called Sunshine and... And, oh, orange. I thought it was, uh, I thought, <laughs> say what you see, I suppose. <laughs> so you get the orange. <laughs> Be quiet, Lucy Brennan. You've got the orange uh, spectrum solid and you've got the sunshine linear print there, half a metre each, seven pounds and 95 pence. We've also got this la... Oh, that's a still toy. Me, ju me jumping ahead of myself there. I've then got the blue linear with the kind of uh, fuchsia pink uh, spectrum solid. I mean, these are gorgeous little bundles, whether you're going to make the drunkard's path or not, aren't they? So you get half a metre and half a metre. Seven pounds and 95 pence. There's the still. Nice. And then last but not least in the two-tone, um, I've got really, this is lovely. I love this. Because this is um, the colour wheel, opposite each other on the colour wheel. Fantastic colours. So this is citrus in the plain spectrum solid, and this is berry in the linear print. £7.95. Metre of fabric, you get that. Metre of fabric, half of each. There's the still. There's a still. Right, then I've got more fabrics. Now, if you want to do, like, multicoloured versions, then look at this. This one's got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you get half a metre of each of them. You get pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Richard of your gain battle in there. Almost a rainbow. Almost a rainbow. It's called the classic rainbow. £22.45. pence. Three and a half metres of fabric. They're lovely colours, aren't they? And there's the still. Now, if you don't want the bold, we have a five, two and a half, they get two and a half metres in this one. Two and a half metres of the pastel colours, half a metre of five different colours. You get a pink, a green, a blue, a lilac and a yellow. £15.95. I'll go through all these again with you in a little while. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. There's the still. And last but not least, if you've got the monochrome, if you love the monochrome. Now, we had a bit of a monochrome. Oh, it's up on the wall, actually. Yesterday, a monochrome quilt yesterday. So you get white, cream, grey, grey and black. Two and a half metres, £15 and 95 pence. Now, the, the, this book, right, when we showed you this book the first time, it absolutely flew out. It's the ultimate quilting Bible. And it's got everything, everything you need to know about quilting in here. It's a complete reference with step-by-step -step techniques. It's £14.95. I'll go through it properly with you later. But it's got everything you need to know about quilting. We can ask Lucy about it as well later. She's read it from cover to cover. Uh, they're just, it's just fantastic. It's amazing, amazing, amazing book. £14.95. Obviously, the, um, the uh, drunken... Oh, there's the clamshell. Uh, the Drunkard's Park. Oh, I love the Dresden. I love the Dresden. Um, the, there it is. There it is. There it is. This is the Drunkard. This is what Lucy's made there. That's what Lucy's done. It's all about the Drunkard's Path. She was drunk when she made it as well, apparently. £14.95. No, she's a very responsible young mother. She doesn't get drunk. She doesn't do things like that. Right. OK. I'm loving the cowgirl oh, look. <laughs> Thank you. Will, you give it, will you give us a song? <laughs> Yeah, I have got cowboy boots. I didn't didn't wear them. Today. Well, you've not got them on today, have you? I haven't. No. Right. Maybe next time. 
Talk me through this. OK, um, this is a Drunkard's Path um, block. There are loads of variations that you can do with this block. OK, it, yes. now, before you go any further, yes. would you call that one block, then? Yes. I mean, it's made... <sighs> yeah, this is a block. This is a t it's a 12-inch block right. that I've made. But it is made up of, like, the patches of... Drunkard's path. Yes. So th block. this, it, this is what is called the drunkard's path. That that yes, unit that's there, the that's curved path. unit there. Yeah. And you but make you the can, block. But as we just showed in that book, when well, you've got the photocopy in there, yeah. there are so many different ways. So many. We can, well, we can have a play with the different layouts. Well, you've got to make them first, I think. Well, yes, yes. Okay. So let's do it then. Let's do it. How do okay. we even start? Um, this is one of my very, very, very favourite blocks. I love sewing curves. Right. I really, really enjoy it. There are several different ways that you can um, piece uh, the pieces together. Right. Um, so to start off with, you need the template. So that's in the book. Oh, right, OK. And you can um, uh, enlarge or reduce that with a photocopier to make it whatever size you you want. OK, then. Now, I know we don't sell them, but are there uh, just something Paul could put on our shopping yes. list? Can you buy a template for a drunken path? Yes, you but can. can you, do, you, do you have to choose the size that you're going to buy yes, before you buy Yes, then you're only going to have that particular yes, size. Yes, because the one in the book, you could photocopy bigger and smaller to whatever yes. size. Because that's gorgeous in that size, but you might want to do much bigger blocks, yes. might, don't you? Might, yep. Mightn't you? Or smaller. Because yes. we've got that block, it's not a, we've got that quilt that you made. And it's not a, that wasn't a drunkard's path, but it was taken from Yeah, technically that wasn't a drunkard's path, but that was improv curve. But they were 10 inch blocks, yes. weren't they? Yes, so they Each were really of these big. was 10 inches, not the finished thing. Yeah, and there's no reason you can't do this at Exactly, any exactly. So, so, so the 10, so the 10, the, 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 uh, the templates for this are in the book and you just photocopied it and drew round it. Yes. Did you get it out of cardboard? And you have, um, yes, I would recommend doing it with um, either you can get template plastic. Oh, yes, we, I think we've sold out. We did sell it for a while. Yeah, so you can uh, get that to make them or um, do it with thicker cardboard. Yes. If you're going to rotary cut, um, yes. You want a thicker yeah, of course, template yes. to do. Don't rotary cut paper. But you, all, don't like you, all, but you always use a rotary cutter, don't you, for things like this? Yes, I yeah. do, yes. And um, I prefer using a smaller rotary cutter rather than a larger one when I'm cutting the curves. OK, now we need to just point something out, because this was what little Paul asked. Because earlier he went, but surely all you do is cut a square no. and cut it out. Like, he thought that that no. came from in there. But obviously, you've got seam allowance on here and you've got seam allowance on here. So don't be mistaken like Paul and think, oh, I can just cut one square and just cut a curve in it because you, you haven't got the seam allowance, have you? So, no. So you can, you can cut a square and then cut the templates from it, but this one is going to be smaller and this one is going to be... Yes. Bigger. So you need the templates to get it so you've got the accuracy. Exactly, to, exactly. To go so sorry, around. go back to the rotary cutter. So when you're doing this size, yes. you like to use a smaller one. I like to use a smaller cutter. one <clears throat> because obviously as you're cutting, you know, as you're going around, you're maintaining yeah. that accuracy. Whereas if you're cutting with a larger one, it's harder to get, you know, you can see yes. there I went over. It's harder to get that. And if you're drunk at the time, it's very difficult. Anyway, and so do then not that one there when you're drunk. is the 20... No, no, never, ever, never, never ever use a rotary cutter when you have a glass no. of vino That's very or whatever. Uh, this is the 28mm one for £10.95. And, and we also have the 45mm one. This is the 45mm one. £14.95. Really, really lovely. Everyone uses this one. Clover, it's made by Clover. Rotary cutter with soft touch cushion handle. One piece, £14.95. So you use the, the small... Oh, you, we're not yes. doing the cutting out now. No, well, done I've done the cutting yeah, out exactly, yet. Nobody exactly. needs to see that. Remember, if you've got any questions about the Drunkard's Path or any of other, Lucy's other quilts, or where she got her lovely uh, uh, frock from, <laughs> then uh, please just... Uh, Web chatters in. Yeah, or if you've made any, if you've made oh, any quilts or cuttings or anything. If you've made quilts, anything, Lucy really likes it. You can't web chat it. those in. You have to email those in. Yeah. Studio at sewingquarter.com. I'd love to see some variations that people, yes. things people have made. That would be really nice. Okay. So um, you do all your cutting. It's a little laborious. I'm not going to pretend it is. Therapeutic, we call it. Therapeutic, um, but you, you know, just take your time. Dedicate some time. You know, to do your to do your cutting out. Okay, my next sorry to interrupt. My no, next it's... question is, when we did that other one, which wasn't a drunkard's pathway, each 
of the, what would you call that shape? Cone shapes was a different size. Mm -hmm. Whereas in, when you're doing that, all of those are the same size yes. and all of those are the same size. Is that what makes it a drunkard's path? Yes. 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 Yeah. Have I confused that's you? That's the temper. No, no, no. Yes, that's what was making. Yeah, so, so on a drunkard's path. path, all of that, those are the same size and all of those that joined them. Yes. Are the, as each other, not as the same size as those. Because when we did the other one, we had some with tiny little that, those and then yeah. with great big ones. Those, I mean, there still is a drunkard's path. Anyway, it's a sorry, I'm confused. I'm confused. No, it's issues. okay. Or it's a variation. But of, you're going to cut you know, all of these the out. Traditional. All the cones, yes. no matter what colours you use, all that fan yeah. shape are all the same yes. size, and all of the bridge shape are all the same. Exactly, size. and that's what will give you the traditional look yes. of the okay. drunkard's path. So there are there. I think there are even different names for different patterns that you can create with parts, it. Yeah. But but the thing about having them all the same size is. Not with this particular block, but with other variations of it. I'll see if I've got a picture. Yes, yeah, so where you can see on that one, where, where they're going to meet, if you'd done them different sizes, they oh, wouldn't. Oh, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work because you've got that three quarters of a circle going on yes, there with and that, that one. And again, with this one, you oh, wouldn't now, get those secondary shapes. You that see. one there is like the K facet, is it called Eclipse, where he does three. I mean, obviously, they're all made of loads and loads of squares and everything. And then he puts one the other way. Remember, Paul, yeah. the one that we sold that you did with Natasha? The, the K facet, the K facet um, quilt, where you had three sections the same and then you twisted the fourth one round. So th what we're saying is these would all have to be the same size because otherwise yes. you wouldn't get that. Uh, and otherwise they yes. wouldn't meet. And you can see these have all got the different names. So Wonder of the World, Falling Timbers, Dove. Oh. They've all, all the variations have, have different names. Okay. okay, right, okay. So let's get on. Because yeah. a lot of people are terrified by curved scenes, aren't they? Yes, yes. And they're not scary. Okay, they're, if you say so. Uh, no, they're really, really not. It's actually really easy. I think the thing is that, that Different people have different approaches and it's finding the one that's going to work for you. Yes. My method is without pins. I don't use pins to sew um, curves. You can, by all means, nothing wrong with, no. with But if you're a dressmaker you're, and you've done period garments, you'll be used to princess seams, which are, well, neither of us have got a princess <laughs> seam on, but they're the seams that come round like that and down, and especially with men's tailoring, the old ladies' tailoring, on the back of jackets, you have mm -hmm. that shape. So if you've if you, you're got a dressmaking background like I have, then you'll be used to doing six seams yes. like this. Yeah. So if you, if you want to pin, I'll just run through it. No, 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 um, go quickly, through it. I'll shut you, up now. <laughs> it's fine. If you want to pin, I would recommend finding the centre point of your um, curves. Right. That's going to be your starting point. So if you just fold it in half and finger, finger press, press and do the same... And then that's going to give you, you know, a place to to pin, and then you can just ease this round. But and that's match like your putting edges. a sleeve head in yes. because you'd always mark the top of your sleeve head, and you'd have your back and your front, and then you know that you've got your sleeve head or straight of grain at the top. Exactly, and then just ease that round yeah. and pin it into place. Yes, but you don't do pins. No, I don't. Um, you also can sew it this way. Oh. So you're sewing with the curve on the bottom yes. and the L if shape Joe Carter was on here, the top. She do, that's the way she does her curves. Yes. Yeah. And I have done it like that, but I prefer it the other yes. way. That's just what works for me. But what I suggest is you try them all yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. and you see what well, gives you, you the best results. Can you show results. us today the different... Yeah, sure. Or, I, I know yeah, that's I'll do three. On the spot. No, I'll do three in the different ways. I'm yeah. fine. That's fine. Um, so just have a go. And don't be, you know, don't be fearful. Yes. But it. before you, uh, what I would say is before you launch into your actual quilt fabric, yeah. practice a few times on a bit of calico or on, on, on other bits and bobs just I to get the swing of it. I would practice on the same type of fabric. Yeah, so... Only so, because fabric behaves differently. Yes. So you might have a bit of leftovers. You're yeah, right, yeah, though. Yeah. But have a practice on something oh, that yes, isn't yes, going yes, to go yeah, into a lightweight quilt, calico. But do, it, yes, in, yeah. do yeah. it in a similar thing yeah. because it will behave yeah. differently. But, yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, don't do it in panne velvet. <laughs> no, you could. <laughs> well, no, you could, but don't practice in it. <laughs> no. You'll never sew again if you do. <laughs> right, I'll let you sew then. Just OK, up, so um, when I'm sewing curves, I like to use the quarter-inch foot. Right. 
um, that right. I'm just going to change the needle because I, I like having that guide. Right. So I use the guide, you know, as to where I'm going to um, match the edges. If you're not used to sewing with a quarter inch foot, you can use your regular foot, but you need to make sure you're moving yes. your needle so you've got um, a quarter of an inch. So as I'm, the first thing that I do is match up the top edges of the two pieces. So I have the L shape and the um, curve shapes yeah. on top that way. And when you first begin, you're just doing a couple of straight stitches. Yeah. So I've got my L shape on the bottom and my curve going that way. And they're not meant to be meeting at this point. They're meant to be going in the wrong direction, yes. if you like. So when you begin sewing, you're just doing straight stitches. And then you need to use both hands. So you have one hand holding the L shape piece and you have one hand pinching the curved yeah. um, part. And what you're going to do is as you are sewing it round, you're going to move your hands so that the edges of the fabric are meeting at that point there. Yes. At the edge of the at the edge of the foot. Yeah. So the edges nice. of the fabric should be meeting there. You're not watching the needle. Yeah. You're watching that corner there and yeah. you want the two pieces of fabric to meet. So I'm going to start I'm just going to reduce my speed and I'm going to go slowly. I normally go full Oh, do you? Pelt when I sew, so yes. I'm going to try and slow it down. It, slowly. it is more yeah. difficult to do it slowly. So if it goes wrong, that's my excuse. Yes. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so uh, to begin, I'm just doing slow stitches. Uh, sorry, straight stitches. Yeah. And then I've got both hands holding the two pieces and I'm just guiding them and moving them across so that they're meeting at that... Um, beginning point of the foot there. Yeah. Now, with this one, I am pulling ever so slightly. I was about to say... So, usually, I say, don't. Yes. But for this, do. Yes. So, you just keep moving it around like that, moving your bottom piece, moving the top piece. And when you get to the edge, when you get getting to the end here, it gets tricky. So, I usually have a little awl. A little what? Awl. You know... Oh, yes, we've got them. We, we sell them here, we sell them. Well, I forgot about that. OK. Um, and I just use that to hold the top piece in place. If you haven't got an awl, you can use your uh, quick and pick. You can use a quick and pick. Yeah. You also can use tweezers. And, and tweezers are, are great. I've got some in my bag. I've just um, been doing my nasal hairs. <laughs> oh, we didn't <laughs> need to know that. <laughs> But the tweezers are great because they actually give you the most control. And you can hold the top piece and literally... Yes. Pull it so over. Because you your fingers, no matter how delicate your fingers are, yes. they're going to be a bit thick to do that bottom bit. Yeah, so I'm going to do... Would you like me to get them for you? No, it's OK. I'm going to do my very best, but okay. if it goes a bit haywire, it's OK. This is why we have a tools list, so you can write them down. I know, I just had forgot about it. I meant to bring my all as well and forgot. All's well that ends well. There you go. All for one, one for all. <laughs> so, that's your finished piece. Yep. Now, I had to have my tweezers, I would have been pulling that a bit more yes, to get it yes. to the end. But we are going to trim this down. It's like a poached egg. Um, anyway, <laughs> it does look <laughs> like it. Um, so, I love these sorts of colours. So, that's it. Yes. So, I'll go the right, other... right, OK, before you start yes. the next one, this morning just gets better and better. Now, Lucy and John, well worth waking up for on a Sunday morning. Oh, that's thank nice you, Anne. Anne. Um, Pressing wise, yes. Would you, I, I know you want to show the no, sewing, fine. but mm -hmm. just how would you press either, that? Either way, I would press it towards the curve or away from the curve. Because it's naturally, if you look at the underneath, yes. it's naturally wanting to go in that way, isn't yes. it? Which for me is part of the reason I think I like sewing it this way, because the seam seems to behave better yes. for me. Some people clip the curves. I don't bother. Oh. Clip, clip the curves. Click. Clip. Clip, yes. You know, so you can yeah, yeah, clip yeah, yeah, into yeah, yeah. it. I, I don't think that you need to with a quarter inch seam, I don't think no. it's necessary. No. But if you find it's really not behaving, yes. then you can Give do it a that. Clip, it'll, yeah. um, but you can also, you know, it's easy enough. I've gone a bit haywire there, look, because I was going slow. But you, you know, it's easy enough to press it that yes, way yeah, as well. No, so either way, it's, but I just want to ask what you yeah. want your. And you, that's, it's actually a good point. You know, if you have wobbles, it will show on your curve. Yes. So the straighter you can get that line, yes. and it does take a mm, bit of practice, yeah. but the straighter you can get that line, but also you can sort of press out little wobbles. Yes, little but bit. also, especially when you've got... If it, there were patterns, if you had two very vibrant patterns, 
you might not see, but yes. you've got a solid colour going into almost another solid colour, so you are going to see. Shall I unpick it yes. for you? <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> well, I'll press it while you it do the next one. It'll be fine. Okay, so the next one I'm going to oh, oh, do... Oh, I've got some yes. pictures already. Pictures in. Oh, lovely. Let's have... Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, that's now, beautiful. Hang on. That's... Fiona's the middle one. And that's the one I did, uh, I did that last week. Oh, did you? Without one. me? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Sheila's the one on the right. Now, that's a drunkard's pathway, isn't it? Yes. That's... No, that's the um, improv... It, no, okay. Oh, that's... sorry, the one on the left is like the improv. Yeah, 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 the one on the right there. The one on the right is Drunkard's Pathway. Yeah. The one on the left is the improv. Look at that design and that border is gorgeous. Oh, no, that's, that's... So, hang on. So, the one on the right is the Drunkard's Pathway. That was Sheila. The one on the left, which is like the improv one, that's Amanda. Yeah, it's a Drunkard's Path. There's no way. I said Drunkard's Path. Way. You just said oh, way so again. way did not. Anyway, get on with the sewing, that's what you're doing. Okay, for. so this one I'm going to do. What did I do? I did it with the curve on the bottom, didn't I? I don't know, you're the expert. I've forgotten which one which way I just did it. <laughs> which way did I just do that you one? You just did that one like with this. With the L on the bottom. So now yes. I'm gonna do it with the curve on yes. the bottom. Okay, sorry. So um again you're starting with them looking. You've got your earrings in back to front again. Oh, They're like old um it's just hassle. What's it, aren't they? It's come and get hassled over time. Yes, they are paper clips. It's because that glamorous hotel you stayed in last <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Lucy. She normally stays in the same hotel. Mm. Something's going on this weekend in Birmingham, and it was all booked up. The one she normally stayed, so she had to go into another one, which she didn't know about. We looked up on the website. It said a Victorian, but could do with a bit of updating. She's an got some pictures. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, carry on. Yeah. Needless to say, she hasn't had much sleep. Uh, no, I haven't. Because the people outside were doing party poppers or something like that. <laughs> so... Right, sorry, carry on sewing now. Oh, I can't. Um, so this one, I'm going to start with the curve on yes. the bottom yeah. and... Um, the L shape. The L shape on the top. So it's going to go like that and I'm going to move it round. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm not going to pin. I'm still yeah. going to do it okay. um, without pins just to show how this one... Um, works out. I do find this a little uh, trickier. Um, Somebody just to joined in saying. saying, what's the fabric using? When Lucy's done this one, I'll go through the fact, because I only ran through them very, very quickly earlier. I will go through the fabrics again. I'll do them now, or when Lucy's done this, and then I'll do them about 22, quarter to two, and then um, we can spend the rest of the time doing sewing and things. See, I'm already having to adjust, because I'm not used to doing it. No. I, I'm a bit naughty because I've asked Lucy. Lucy says, this isn't the way she'd normally do it. And I said, well, just show us live on telly then without any practising. <laughs> I did do one like this at home the other day just to see. Um, excellent show. I've run out of tea bags, but I'm not going to miss a minute going to, going to the shop. Lovely Lucy. Lucy has a calming approach. That's another Anne. That's Anne in Staffordshire, that one. Calming. Cathy, loving the demonstration. Definitely going to have a go after the show, Cathy. See, I'm... Yes, I know. Everybody oh. makes Paul... Boot. I never see Paul make a cup of tea for anybody, right? He makes his own cups of Has tea. Has he made me one? I'm not sure. No, uh, you see. He comes in, makes himself a cup of tea. Yeah, six in half an hour or something. <laughs> Just have a lot of tea. He's on number five already today, and he wonders why he can't last a whole show without <laughs> this in the little boy's room. See, I went a bit around. Oh, now no, that's... No, 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 it's yeah, fine, yeah. it's fine, no, it's fine. I know, I'm not it's it's creased where I've had to lift my foot and, and, yes. and move it out of the way. But I do find that a little bit tricky. Yes. But those will press out. Yes, I'll do that for you now. So it's not bad, <clears throat> but it's my seam allowance isn't as perfect as no. on the other one. Now, so, so the thing is, the thing you were saying, I was saying therapeutic, you were saying a bit laborious, is now mm. what you do for the Dunkard's Path is literally so loads and loads of these. Are they all exactly the same? They're all... Do they all go that way? Yes, they can't go that way. But you've, other you've way. done the two different colourways. Yes. So the it's two just, different colourways. Yeah, so it's eight of that way and eight of that okay. way for this particular for this, pattern. For this pattern. But if you look at the other patterns, you might have to do more. So there might be more of the L shape. Oh, actually, for that one we showed earlier, there'd be three quarters of those. Yes. And only a quarter of those, wouldn't there? Yes. Right, I'm going to leave you stitching, so I need to do 16 by the time I've come back. Oh, no, 14 okay. by the time I've come okay, back. OK, I'll save one and, and show you the pinning method. Oh, OK, brilliant, but brilliant, brilliant. Yes. Yeah, so I'll go and do fabrics then while okay. you do that. I'll, can I do the book over there? Because I like to do the book flat on the table and everything, so I'll do the book in a bit. 
Right, now, um, the most popular is one that we're not even using today. It's this gorgeous rain. Rainbows are always popular, though. Rainbows are always popular. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Paul, little Paul, to tell me what... Obviously, this is bright red, but he's going to tell me what all the other colours in the bundle are. You've got bright red. You've got bright orange. Hang on. We're not going in the right order, sorry. Right, so we've got red, orange, yellow, fern, nautical blue, real purple and magenta. £22.45. There it is on the still. I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. All right, OK, then I've got monochrome. Then I've got monochrome. Uh, we've got the, uh, the black, the white and the grey in here. Two and a half metres, half metre of each one. Optical white you've got there. Ivory, slate, charcoal and black. There you go. All five of those, half a metre each for £15.95. pence. Then if you like the pastels... Uh, we've got the pastel, again, these are all got, the, 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 so the rainbow one had seven fabrics in, three and a half metres. The monochrome have five, and this one has five, which is two and a half metres. Pastel pink. You've got lemon at the bottom. Baby blue in the middle. Mint. And lilac. £15.95. pence. Now, the fabrics that Lucy's using, she's doing this one, right? This one's called Sunshine and Orange. Now, this is a little bundle. You get half a metre of each. Really, really cute, aren't they? Half a metre of each. What did I say? Sunshine and Orange, Orange and Sunshine. What's the difference? £7.95. pence. You get a metre of fabric there. You get a metre of fabric. Half a metre of this and half a metre of that for £7.95. pence. That's the one that Lucy's using right now. Uh, the one she's already made is this one, which is red and grey. You've got the true red uh, linear print there, and then you've got that kind of steely grey there. Did I say red and grey? Grey and red. Grey and red. Well, it should be the other way around then, shouldn't it? Um, grey and red, grey and red, £7.95 for a metre. Right, you hope. Then I've got two others. Uh, this one's lovely. This one will be pink and blue, fuchsia and blue. Fuchsia and blue. See, they've done, they've done no rhyme or reason, have they? They haven't, doesn't matter. So this is blue uh, linear print with fuchsia undertones under that. £7.95. Now, this one is Beatrice and Seri. Yeah, Bitrus and Seri. Berry on the front and citrus underneath there. It's the last one. Graphics coming in. And then I'll go over to the side while Lucy's still sewing. It's only because like, it's such a beautiful book. I want you to see lots and lots of pages. Meter of fabric there, half metre of each, £7.95. And they're 28 millimetre rotary cutters, very popular. It's because we don't see it very often, is it? Because you... you you only use you only use this on certain occasions, don't you? Because yes. you would never do your cutting of like bl blocks with this. It's only when you do no. little little ones. And the, for the curves, it's brilliant for going around curves. Ten pound ninety five. It's also great for um, like smaller replique pieces. Yeah. Oh yes, you know. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, I've got a message from Jill. Is it an email? Oh. Okay. She's a newbie to quilting. She loves the drunken path. Oh, is it a bit ambitious as a first quilt? No. Lucy's just shaking her head here now, Jill. No, I don't. I don't think so. It, it... The only I can I I'll butt in here. The yeah. only thing is, is my very first block. I made sure it was all straight lines. Yes. It was all straight lines because I just thought I know I can do a straight line, so I'll just do all straight lines. But then. It wasn't as effective as yours. And I think if you're get, you know, if if you love something and that's the reason you want to make it, you know, you want to do Patrick because you love Drunkard's Path, you love that effect. I don't think there's anything wrong with practicing doing curves and just getting yeah. used to. The thing is, once doing you've done that, the first couple, you'll be well into absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason beginners no. can't. And what I love, which we'll show, what we'll show you in a second, is. 
There's so many ways of laying out yes. a drunkard's path. It's just fantastic. Right, let me show you the book. Let me show you the book. You're going to make that much noise while I'm talking? Yes. Actually, Otherwise, it's not I'm much noise gonna... at all. It's very quiet. I'm never going to finish them. <laughs> You're not going to what? Otherwise, I won't finish right. them in time. Uh, this is the Ultimate Quilting uh, Bible book. Marie Clayton. £14.95. Now, this is brilliant because if you're a starter, if you're revisiting quilting and everything like that, it is the most fabulous book. It's got gorgeous pictures in it as well. So it's got a short history. It's got all about getting started, even down to what tools you need with the rotary cutter there and the scissors, uh, basic hand stitches that you might need, uh, using the sewing machine to do the actual stitching, all the different feet you might need, uh, different sewing machine needles. It's got everything, pressing it, uh, where you're actually going to work, about the different kinds of fabric. Remember Lucy was saying earlier about practice on the same kind of type of fabric. Lots of people are frightened by colour. There's the colour wheel there. And remember I said earlier, the reason that citrus and berry one were working well is because they're opposite each other on the, on the colour wheel. Pink and green are opposite each other on the colour wheel, which is why blue and yellow work so well together. Because if it's opposite on the colour wheel, then it, it, it really, really, really... It's a beautiful... Uh, wadding and backing. Then we've got Quilt Makers Basics going on here. This is a fantastic, uh, fantastic way of all different uh, machine quilting, cording, how to put a quilt together. This is before we've even started on the inspirational. Uh, sashing, a lot of people don't know what sashing is. That's the strip of fabric between blocks if you want to, to, put, to put a strip of fabric. Lots of people sending in their pictures, which is exactly what Lucy wanted. Um, uh, what else have we got here? Uh, bindings. Uh, everything you need to know. These are lovely. Whole cloth, cloth and strippy quilts. Now, the house uh, we rented in San Diego, all the beds had the most amazing... All it was was a, a piece of cotton, wadding, and another piece of cotton on the bottom. And then this incredible, just swirly... I mean, it, they were just gorgeous. Really, really lovely quilts. Um, then there's all the different uh, stitches you can do, borders you can do. Uh, then now, we're getting onto quilts now, pieced quilts. Marking and cutting, rotary cutting. This is just fantastic, isn't it? And look at all the... Oh, now look, um, that's the one that Hayley did. This is like the one that Hayley did for her block. Um, she t turned it into a little house, but it was that kind of look. Um, strips, I did strips because I did a um, kaleidoscope log, log cabin for mine. And then we carry on. You see, there's, there's um, log cabin. That's log cabin down there, you see. That's a log cabin block. I just think it's fantastic. But then all the different ways you can lay things out. Because you can wait. Let, this one here is a courtyard steps. Well, I've just seen it. Courtyard steps over. The, oh, no, actually, that's not courtyard steps. But you can lay it out completely differently. Look. All from the same block. I mean, they're just fantastic. This is still log cabin. That's log cabin pineapple. I'll have you know. Uh, anyway, carry on. Now, Lucy wants to make this one. Not in those colours. I do want to make that you one. You want to make that one in ombre, don't you? Yes. All the different rainbow colours, that one. Be beautiful. Be be it would be beautiful. You see? I was gushing over that. You book, were a bit too much, yes. <laughs> um, and this one, then, watch Lucy's uh, next hour, her 11 o'clock hour, um, Seminole. Uh, and she's got all the history about it and everything. Uh, squares and triangles. Oh, if, if you did one a bit like that. Oh, no. You did flying stars yesterday, didn't you? Yes. It's similar. Just it's I mean, there's so much. There's so much. There's so much going on in here. We've got the... Um, now, it's not called the... Uh, what's that one I call, call it? I call it the chainsaw. It's not called chainsaw, is it? Sawtooth. Sawtooth, it oh, is. Yeah. Not like that. Ooh, not that kind <laughs> of sawtooth. A, ooh, I've got to go to the dentist, actually. I'm due. Mosaics. Um, oh, tumbling block. The tumbling block. It's got everything. It's got everything you can eat. No, I haven't made it yet, but it would be at 2.30. Um, clamshells. Because I have to drive all the way from Stratford. My dentist's still in London. Um, Dresden. Here's the one we're doing, the drunkard's path. It's just got everything. It's got everything. It's just the most. And then look at this. There's the fan. There's the four-pointed star. I love that one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I think it's just brilliant. All the different templates in here that you need, which is where... Oh, I love this one. Could you make this one, Lucy? And the only thing I'm worried about is my, my big toe might get caught in the holes on that one. Isn't that beautiful? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, 
all the different uh, embellishment quilts there. Everything you need to know. Everything you need to know. Oh, gorgeous. 14 95. Right, I've got some pictures before we carry on. Have you done? Oh, no, I've got one more to do. Colin. Uh, Colin's make a drunkard path. Not a drunken. Not a drunken. Oh, look, on the left. That's Colin's. They're nice, aren't they? Oh. Jennifer. Top right is the top right. Now, what's that one called then? That's a. That's drunkard's path. Oh, is it? You just put them all together. Oh, and then yes. You can make, um... And Lindsay Jeez. just made the Dresden. Yeah, nice. and I love the quilting as well with the circle. Right, stop saying this again. Oh, the, yes. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. Right, oh, I'll leave this out. Beautiful. Sorry. Right. You're going to show us a pin one, are you? Okay, yeah, I'll show you. I'll, I'll do the pin one first. So, um, you what just... Time? Oh, all right. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a lot, though. I've got to trim them. Um, so, you're just going to... I'm just going to finger press them in half. Yes. And you'll tell us I'm doing this. I don't do this very often. <laughs> Why? Because I don't sew with pins. No, no, no. Why will we know? Because it probably won't work, work out as quite as nicely as my other ones. So I'll put a pin in the centre there. And then you just want to ease this around and pin. And I have seen people, I mean, put pins in every, you know, available space. <laughs> when they're doing yes. um, curves. But I'm just going to give you an idea. OK. And just going round there. Oh, look, somebody's appliqued a cat on there, Drunkard's Path. <laughs> Have a look, sorry, I'm talking, <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. Oh, <laughs> look, oh, is there a picture or is it a real there. cat? That's a real cat, you sausage. That's gorgeous, isn't it? There you can see the outline. It's a pliqued. I love that. It's really modern. The, the, well, the junkets part. Yeah, let's look at the junkets yes. part. Yes. So how, let me try and work. Oh, hang on. No, no, sorry. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. I'm just working out the, how they laid the block out. Rita it's made drunk, that. It's junkets path blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you've got two with the circle together. Half circle together. Anyway, brilliant. The cat stitched beautifully, isn't it? It's like a photo. I'll just use threads for the cat. <laughs> OK. OK. She's had enough already. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> so, um, I've pinned that in place. I've not put one in the corner, cos yeah. I can just go ahead and do that um, with the straight stitches. But this is sort of how it looks. OK. And will you take your pins out as you go around? Yes, I would <laughs> do. Yes. Yeah. This is why I don't bother. Yes. Um, but, there's the, you know, if you're more comfortable pinning, of co absolutely, of course, you can do. So, if you're used to pinning, though, and you do pin all the time, I might just say, just have a go without them. Yeah. The thing is, I wouldn't think of putting a sleeve head in without pinning it. Yes. Do you know what I mean? So, as a dress from a dressmaker's background, I yes. automatically... But you made that first one look so easy. It is very easy. Yeah. And also, you know, we, we can trim them back. I mean, a patchwork isn't the same as it is. Oh, whoops. Dressmaking. Because we, you know, we can sort of square things up afterwards, but if you've got a sleeve, that's sort of it, isn't it? See, I probably didn't quite pin enough. But the other reason I like to not pin is because you haven't got to spend the time putting the pins in and you haven't got to yes. spend the time taking the taking them out pins again. out. Yeah. There we go. So again, it looks messy because it's creased as it's gone. Now I'll press that now. Just show us what, how you'd start cutting. OK, so cutting, and this is a really crucial bit. Right. Particularly if you are... For this block, not so much, but particularly if you're doing a block like um, the picture that was sent in where the curves are going to meet. Yes. You know, if you're going to do a circle or something like that, you want to get them... Um, Exact. So we're going to trim them back. Yeah. And you want to trim from um, this oh, there it is. Cor from the L um, shaped corner, not from the corner of the curve. Yeah. And what you want to do is line it up. Yeah, I'm listening. And then you can check that your curve is going to be the same. 
So for this one, it's an inch, just just ever so slightly underneath an inch. So I'm going to trim it to um, three and a half. Well, you're cutting off quite a lot. Yes, I am. OK. Well, I can do four. Do you want me to do four? Yeah, do four, please. I'll do I four. don't like wastage. OK. I'll do four. So it'll end up slightly bigger. So there, it's just less than an... It's seven um, eighths of an inch. So what I'm checking is I've got that square there and that this, the seam... Yes. ..is the same. Oh, yes, that's really important. It's really yes, important. Yeah. So that's the bit that I'm checking, so that the seam minus seven eighths of an inch yep. it will be different depending on what size yep. the important thing is that they're the same exactly yeah so it doesn't matter where that is as long as that one's on three and that one's on three or that one's on four and that one's on four whatever exactly okay and then you just go ahead and trim now you may find that you've got an old blade an old blade and a very old a blade. very old blade um that you have a slight bit of excess here. Yeah. OK? And so if you do, you just need to turn it round and yeah. um, trim it off, which is why I like to have the rotating. And round. then you do all 16 of and them you do the all same. Of right, that while the you're... Because we don't want to sit here watching you cut 16 no, squares. While you do that, fine. I'm going to go and do fabrics. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's fine. Come with me and you'll see. Right. This is the last time you're going to see the, the fabrics in this hour. Which one? Oh, still the most popular, the rainbow. The rainbow, it's, all, it's always popular, the rainbow uh, bundle. We do different variations of it. Uh, pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Half a metre of each. At £22.45. Uh, Classic rainbow fabric bundle. Lovely, it's all spectrum solids, all 100% cotton, all machine washable. £22.45. OK, if you don't want the bright ones, you want the pastel. Now, obviously, there's seven different fabrics in that, all half metre, so three and a half metres, right? Uh, pastel, we could go pastel if you want. So you've got pale pink, pale blue, pale green, pale lilac and pale lemon. They're lovely, aren't they? Again, half a metre of each. Uh, they're all spectrum solids, all 100% cotton, fabulous quality machine. Now, they say machine washable at 30 degrees. I always wash my cotton at 40 degrees, but they, the manufacturers say 30 degrees. Pastel, two and a half metres, £15.95. and pence. There's the still. Then there's the last one here, which is the monochrome. So you've got uh, optical white, cream, slate... Why have they called it monotone? Yeah, monotone's like, this is a monotone bright, na, 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 like that, isn't it? Oh, honestly, who does the typing in this place? £15.95, and pence. brilliant though. Forget the title, just get it, because it's gorgeous. I love all those blacks and greys and creams together. Oh, hello, where are we going? £15.95 and pence on the still. Right, and now the four uh, ones with a metre in each. The one that Lucy's using, orange and sunshine. Half a metre of the orange, half a metre of the sunshine linear, £7.95. pence. That's very summery, gorgeous, like a sunrise, like a holiday, uh, or a cocktail. It reminds me of a cocktail. Nice. Then the one that Lucy's already made at home. No, they're all, they're all right there, look. It's not hardly difficult. Grey and red. You get the grey solid and the red uh, linear print. Half a metre of each, £7.95. OK. Oh, was, are we not showing the sills of these ones? OK, right, OK. Uh, then there's this one which is the fuchsia and blue, or blue and fuchsia, whichever way you like it. Blue, uh, blue uh, linear with the fuchsia solid. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Half a metre of each. And then last but not least, we've got the berry and citrus, or citrus and berry. 
This is the Berry linear print there and that gorgeous citrus uh, spectrum solids underneath. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Okay, how you doing over there? Right, won't be coming back there now. Won't be coming back to that table now in this hour. Well done. Thank you. Now the fun part starts. Yes. Do you want some help? So, no. Sure. No, no. You if do. you want to. I want to see how. Um, was it Rita that did the um, Rita that did the uh, duvet cover that you said was very modern? Yes. I can't remember how she did it now. Anyway, I'll let you do yours. So, okay. well, are, you, are you just re recreating yes. this one? Yes. Let's get it right today, because we got it wrong yesterday. Didn't we? <laughs> did we? we often get things wrong, that's okay. Yeah, well, I'm rarely wrong. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, that's not right. Oh, yes, it is, yes, it is. No, that's, no, hang no, on. No, you're doing it different from I'm me. doing it the other way around to you. So okay. that needs to be orange, that's it. That one. And that one needs to be that one. And right, so where are you going with that one? Then? That one. Paul does not understand why it's called a drunkard's oh. path. Um, well, it looks a bit... And that's not right, look, that's it? different to that. No, hang on, because it's that one. No, hang on. No, that's that's not wrong. wrong there. Oh, hang on. No. <laughs> <laughs> there have been people at home screaming at their telly. Not they that are way, upstairs. Not, way. <laughs> not that one, not that one. But that's not right, because you've got two the same there. Stop. Like pairs, isn't it, this? Oh right, hang on, let's Is just see. Right? So that's yellow. That needs to be yellow. That needs that to be... So the bottom right. row's right. That yellow, 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 that's right. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah, that's all right. That's it, that's it. What can you oh, say? That's nice. Okay. The, oh no, they can see a pair of orange pants there, like speedo yes, pants. Yes, it does look a bit. That's because like that. little Paul wears speedos. All I the sort time. of see axes. It looks like a sort of a spinning. Yes. No. Like I think it looks like one of those, those the kung yes, fu things, the people that kung fu people throw. Yeah, I think it looks like. Not that. the we're not the we're advocating. Right. Let's have a look at no. some of the others. Oh, well, now the others might not be able to do because we've cut different. Can we do the... Oh, oh, OK. Oh, nice. That's like one of the ones like we sun, saw, wasn't it's it? It's like suns, isn't it? In this colourway. They look yeah. like suns. I'll just swap Nice, those. that's nice. Well, you put that one over there. OK, oh, now they could do like the... Oh, yes, have a look at that first. Have a look at that one first. We could play Twister. Oh, I was going to say something then, but I won't. OK. I've only played Twister once and there weren't very many clothes involved, that was all. Oh. Something's not quite right here, hang on. I'm trying to do it like this one here. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so you want no, to that's swap... that. You want to swap the... swap the colourways, don't you? Like, is it like... No, no. no. It's like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's it, that's like it, that. that's it. And then take that one out of there. That one like that. And that one like that. Is it like is that? No, right? no, because no, uh, none of oh, those have got. So is it sideways? That's it, that's it, yeah. that's right. Okay. That's it. Oh, I, that's, less, that's nice. That would be, that's wrong, isn't it? Is that not quite right? Something not quite right. I don't know. No, that's not right. No, okay. Well. But this is the fun of it, anyway. isn't it? This <laughs> yes. is the fun of it. You can play. And then. Um, uh, okay, uh, so uh, you don't have. Blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do this um, many blocks, so you can create, you know, all kinds of different sizes. So, and you might just want to do it like their hills. The pattern. You know, like they're sort of. Yeah, but then you've got one the wrong way around oh, okay, there. Okay, but I'm just, you know. There's demonstrating. No rules. Oh yes, I like that one. Yes. So that's quite a traditional pattern. Actually. Oh, is it? Yes. I, I'm afraid I don't know the name off the top of my head. Oh. Um, and then also you can create flowers. I've taught this as a um, class before. So you do petals, sorry. Oh, yes, I can see that one coming together. Yeah. This one's flowers. Um, 
We haven't got enough. Have we got enough? Okay. Yes, so that's nice. So it's a nice. bit of a uh, design, well-known uh, very... Irish designer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, looks a bit reminiscent of that. I was thinking that's more a nice um, 70s disco vibe. Yes, it vibe. is quite like that. Like, yes. oh, you'd get on a coffee mug or something, Do wouldn't you? Do know you? what? That I'm going to punch little Paul in the break. I do apologise. OK. He's whittering away in my ear. You go ahead and do that. But I'm not, I don't condone any sort of violence. I won't really punch him. No. And so, in the, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's... No, more... no, we know that, but we've already had this discussion, Paul, now, who would win in a fight, and we all know I would win in a fight, but... <laughs> OK. There's more variations in, yes. the, um, in the book. Are you doing that one? Trying to do that one. Do we need another one of those? Is it like that? Yes. And then... Yeah, and then I'll do this one here. Is that right? Have no, I but I like it. Oh, no, that. hang on, I've done it right, though. <laughs> no, but I like it. Yes. There, that's it, that's, that's it, that's right. it. And then... And then no, you've, you need right. to do yours, that one. Oh, this, that would be a bit... Do my head in a bit too much in that. Beverly loves the flowers one. Which one? This one. That one. That's the bottom. Oh, there. Well, that's the same as that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that trellis fabric we did, didn't it, by Joe? Was it Joe? But you can there? see, like, that, um, the picture that was sent in with using them in the border as well. Yes. You know, it did make a beautiful yeah. border. Because it's but really imagine weird. Imagine that and repeat. Yes. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Mm. It would be beautiful. There's so... I mean, there's so, so many patterns. You just have to look, you know, but... But isn't it weird how this one mm. block, this one little block here... Yes. We, how many, we've made six or seven different... I know. And they're quick, you know. I, I know. Obviously, I've made a few in my time. Yes. Um, but, the, you know, it doesn't take long to get into that rhythm of making them and being able to do it quickly. So, um, the, you know, the more you do it, and then you'll speed up, and it, it, and it doesn't take a long... It's more... It's the cutting and the trimming that take the longest part, which yes. is generally well, yes, true anyway. That, yes. <laughs> Sorry, was I taking forever? Um, I also like that block in the, in the book that makes it look like a jigsaw. So sometimes you can put them oh, together we'll and they look like second. jigsaw pieces. You're on a roll now, aren't you? I haven't gone wrong. On a roll, that's I'm it. on a roll. You yeah. see, I quite like that one Lovely. as well. Yes, it's nice. Du, 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 du. So that's yours. Oh. <laughs> Which one we... <laughs> have we made the dove? We haven't one. made the dove. No, we haven't done that. Oh, now it's on point, though, that one, isn't it? Complicated. It is, yes. We do it on point, get, create something different. So you need that one. Oh, no, this will take too long. You no, need... It won't go on, we can do it quick. Right, then you need the one with the so orange. That's the same there. No, that's not... Uh, the monochrome fabric blend, which they call monotone, is very popular. <laughs> Hang on, I can't see the... T oh, yes, there you go. This bundle's very popular. You get two and a half metres, you get the black, the two greys, the white and the vanilla. Uh, so it's called monotone. Why have they called it monotone? I don't know. Wendy will be watching as well. She'll be coming out of a drunken stupor with her hangover this morning. <laughs> watching. So the most popular bundle is the rainbow bundle. Here it is. Now that you get seven fabrics in this, three and a half metres. Uh, Richard of York game battle in pink. Are you all right? Yeah, I think I've done something a bit wrong, but, you know, there you go. That's nice. <laughs> no, you haven't got <laughs> swans. Oh, no, not swans, are they? Doves. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I quite I've like it haphazard, though, I as well. I quite like it, too. So now, so now, would you then call this, when you've stitched that together, that would be one block and you'd repeat that block? Yes. You wouldn't do one this and then one doves, then one... If you want to. Um, now, no I know rules. I shouldn't do this, but if you did this size, how many could you get out of our one-metre bundles like this? I'm Can... not sure. OK. I'm not sure. I, I started with... It probably cut from, like, a five-inch square... So if you can work, work how many five-inch squares yes. you can get, then yes. that's how many 
of those. But then you you, that's, you know, it depends which colorways you're going you're to going do. Going to go for, yes, exactly. Because you know, again, sort of we've thing. cut equal amounts of, we've got eight, go, eight with the, that side and eight with that side, but you could do, like I was saying, uh, 14 or 12 of that one and eight. Yes, it's, exactly. It's up to you which we do. Very, very, very quickly, no, I just no, want got to time. talk you've about time. putting them together. So where you've got them where the curves aren't meeting, obviously that's really straightforward. You just yes. sew it, it doesn't really matter. But where you've got them where this is going to meet or where you might have them, um, you know, so it's going to meet that way or it's going to meet like that, it's really important that you pin. For all that I talk about not using yes. pins. Why that one? When, Why that when one? When you're matching the oh, pins. Those because, two... because you want the same distance between yes. got it. those curves. So. Yes. If you have decided upon your layout, you can be smart and intentional about it and press the seams different ways so that you can have them, um, you know, match mm, up mm -mm. Uh, neatly. But if you've pressed them all the one way, you're going to get a bit more bulk. But you definitely want to pin in the seams where those curves are going to uh, meet. OK, brilliant. Here's the book again, Ultimate Quilting Bible Book. It's just fantastic. £14.95. Very, very popular. Please check out your baskets. I've got more. I've got more. But I'm not saying it's going to sell out this minute. But if you have got any basket, please check out. If you're thinking about buying it, get it, because it is a lovely. You're getting an awful lot of information with it. It's incredibly comprehensive. It really yes. is. You know, you've got everything in there that, that you would need. I think I've got Rita's cat. I think I just saw Rita. Look, there's the cat. There's Rita's cat from earlier. <laughs> that must be the template she used, but the other way around. Is it not? Was it Rita? Was it Rita's? Oh, that's right, Rita's granddaughter's cat. That's the Aww. same picture. It's the same picture, isn't it? Quickly, look, there it is. Oh, spit him. It's the spit. Look. Cat. Cat. Uh, very quickly, this is very popular. Very, very popular. Make sure you buy the rotary cutters, the 28 millimeter rotary cutter. It's 10.95, 10.95. Lucy's back. Lucy's back in an hour making something else. Oh, Semino. And it's fabulous. Right, don't go anywhere. Uh, Mandy Shaw's up straight after these very important messages. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Go back to sewing school this Monday with guidance from two experts. Designer Paul Clark impressed the nation with his dressmaking skills on the Great British Sewing Bee. 
Now he's here to share his sewing secrets with us as he makes one of his signature bowling shirts followed by a delightful dinosaur soft toy. We're also joined by Sashko expert Susan Briscoe who will give us a masterclass in this traditional Japanese technique. As the author of The Ultimate Sashko Sourcebook and Simply Sashko, Susan is a real authority in her field and will help you master the art in no time. So join us at 8am and 10am for Paul Clark's Sewing School and at 9am and 11am for Susan's Sashko Masterclass, Monday the 4th of September, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Now, we know how much you love Mandy Shaw's, Mandy Shaw's hearts. This is lovely. All of these are in kit form. I'm going to show you in kit form in this hour. Um, isn't this lovely? They, they, these f absolutely fly out. Whenever Mandy brings in a new um, hanging heart, they completely and utter... People collect them like, like stamps and collectibles, don't they? They're, and they're gorgeous, aren't they? Because you just put them in the attic... And then next year, Christmas, get them out and you think, oh, I forgot. Like, it's lovely when you open the Christmas decorations boxes and you think, oh, I forgot my favourite bauble. Or, I've got um, uh, this, uh, uh, wait for a great big clang now. Uh, Tom Cruise once bought me a little Father Christmas like this. And it's not red, it's white and gold and green and everything. It's only about that big. And it's just beautiful. And every year it comes out and goes on the fireplace. Anyway, so that's 1695. I'll go through all of this with you again in a second. Look. Look. How beautiful is this? Has she got a name? Sophie. 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 Oh, there you go. It's got, it's the, well, I'll just do that with my chins because I don't want the chins in shot. I'll just, there you go. Uh, Mandy Shaw, I can just see my chins at the top of the screen. And that's not very pretty for people on a Sunday morning, is it? £24.95, this. Isn't that just adorable? And we'll be taking you through all of these kits in this coming hour. We've got lots and lots and lots to do. Um, then look at this cushion. Look at this cushion. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking new cushion. Brand spanking new. I love the fact it's square and it's ooh, ooh, like that. Isn't it lovely? This is the Mandy Shaw Christmas Friends Red Work Cushion. £29.95. I'll go through all of these properly with you during the show. Now, if we could just swing round to behind Mandy. Oh, 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 wow. oh which oh, way are you I'm going? Oh, where are you going? Uh, there you go. There you go. You know Anthea Redfern, are you? Is she a weather girl? <laughs> Give us a twelve. What? Is she a weather girl? No, Anthea Redford's the one that was on with Bruce Forsyth on... Um... I was doing a weather girl. Oh, sorry. I wasn't... Hadn't, oh, Rika have... Johnson. She yeah, was a weather yeah, girl, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, so my little hand uh, coming yeah. in from the west. So the west where do you is... live, then? In the south, along here. They... Oh, you've got it. You've got it now. Oh, God. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. And this is up to the north... And uh, up here to Manchester. I'm in, actually, in Birmingham here. Right. That, <laughs> uh, that there... Oh, let me put that one down. That there <laughs> is the Mandy Shaw 12 Days of Christmas starter pack. What it is, is in the kit... You get, uh, sorry, we'll just look at the picture again. You don't get all the quilt. What you get is you get the 12. We'll explain it when we come to. Oh, hang on a sec. I'll show you oh, back on are. the quilt, sorry. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to go back to the quilt. Here we are. What you get is you get the, the, the iron on transfers and the threads and everything to make each of the 12 motifs. What you don't get is the fabric in between, because you can use your fabric yes, to go yeah. in between those. And also, we brought back... There's a few of these left. There's not many of these left at all. This, this is the book we had yesterday. Earlier, the book earlier, the wreath book, has sold out, right? This is the one from yesterday. Very few of them left. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these yesterday. There's a few of these left now, £12.95. OK, now, Mandy has got loads to do in this hour. So, um... Uh, hang on. Ev, Mandy's got loads and loads and loads through this hour, so we've got to really, really, really press on because we've got all these different things. If you've got anything in your basket, check out straight away if you know you want it. Right, what are we doing first? We'll do Sophie first because she's got the little... Bit, she's a little bit quirky. Right, OK, Sophie the... Sophie the, the, um, the dolly angel, first. Yes, right, yes. Let me put the book there. The heart there. Oops. 
Cushion. I, so the kit contains everything you need, but not the uh, stuffing. Right, that's for this. Yes, this yes, is yes, what yes, we're doing now. Something. So everything uh, you need. Everything but the you stuffing. need. No, not the stuffing. And it's really yeah. not. It, it, can, it could be a toy. It's quite safe, but the hair isn't toy-proof. I think it's more of a. This is like. Now, don't take this the wrong yeah. way, but my brother <laughs> made a shepherd out of a fairy liquid bottle yes, when he was yes, little. My mum yes, had it. Yes. This is going to be your favourite angel. Yeah, yes, every absolutely. Yes, yeah. so she, and she looks lovely in a propped in a stocking or yeah, on a yes, drawer. Yes, not, not like. to be to play to be yes. played. I with mean, she's either. she's quite sound for children, but the hair isn't. Uh, you couldn't comb the hair; it's made out of wool. Yes, you'd have to put something different on the hair. Okay, so let's get going. Yes, we've got, let's got lots yes, to yes. do. So the pattern uh, is full size, and what you're going to do is you're going to trace the pattern onto your freezer paper that we had this earlier on this show yeah but you get it do you get it do you get freeze paper in here uh do you get freeze paper in there i'm not sure that you do i'll double check that but actually if you didn't have freezer paper you just trace it or you just buy or just buy the freeze yes, paper yes, from yes. the arrow so i'll double right. check that but yeah. you just trace it on there okay. it's very it's much easier to do it that way yeah and what you're going to do is you're going to so you, let me just, you've got the body the face the arms the legs the pants yeah don't do the pants in the minute just do the body arms and legs two arms pants? uh well panties because you always look up Oh, yeah. So and then uh, what's that there? Then? That's a diagram, darling. Oh, sorry, I've got my glasses. Yes. Oh, and so what you're going to do is use the paper or iron transfer, yes, and just... you're going to put it onto two layers of calico, right, right. sides together. Yeah. And you're going to stitch on the marked line. Yes. With a very small or near stitch. As. No, on the marked line. Oh, on the marked line. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay. 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 And so, but you're going to use a two. Stitch. We normally sew with a 2.5. You must reduce your stitch length. Right. And you must use the same colour thread as you want to be seen. So natural. Natural. natural I've yeah. got white in there, but yeah. don't go and use black or brown no, or something. It no, will no, show. No. And you're going to um, stitch with a very small stitch. And of course, when you go around these corners, you're going to stop, start, stop, start beautifully. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's sort of, uh, don't forget. Um, you, it doesn't matter if don't you don't... Don't forget, she's forgotten. Don't, don't forget. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit quirky around these little bits. That'll get better. Yes. Get better. Yes. OK, that's well, Did you get one of your, your assistant trainees to do that one, then? Well, no, I sewed it well. I changed my life. John? What? A bit picky. Uh, well, I am. Yes, I get a little bit picky this morning. OK, so you stitch around them. Yes. Two layers. Two layers. Two layers, two layers. and um, that's it. That's all you do. And then, you and then you're, you're going to tear the paper off, that's yes. what I was going to show you. So you can, you can um, cut... Uh, uh, pierce your perforations like this, yeah. and the paper will come off beautifully. And so you could potentially save the paper if you didn't need. If to. you didn't need, if you yeah. didn't need, <laughs> but Manny's going to do it. No, that roughly. wasn't me picking on you. <laughs> but I was going to do it roughly here because to be neatly, you have to um, a little bit of time, and we're, yes. we're pushing for time. Well, you, you've got an awful lot to do in this I hour. I have done. And then you're going to cut this out with a neat scant quarter of an inch. Um, this is neat and scant, so just like this. Okay. So neat and scantly. So I won't do that one, John, don't worry. No, 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 I'm just doing it because I like to do it. So I can say to the viewers, oh, this was easy, that was easy. Yeah, OK, good. So this, I'm just cutting the hand Oh, apparently, excuse me, in the last, in the last, um, in the last... Show. In the last show, we had a monochrome, a monochrome bundle. Oh, yes. It was called monotone. Apparently, that's correct. I don't think it is. Monotone, you don't. Monochrome is usually just black and white. Monotone creates a range of black to white. Louise, I never knew that. And Louise, Cindy, what is a monotone colour? A monotone or monochromatic colour palette is one that is made up of different tints or shades of a single colour. Oh, so it wasn't monotone then. It wasn't. John. John. Anyway, get life. life's too short, life's too short. But thank you, thank you. And then I love it when you get involved. I love it when you get involved. Yes. Right. OK. So I've cut it out neatly. And what we're going to use, the, uh, well they, the things that we're going to yes, order. Yes, yeah. yes. And you place them inside your hand, open them out, pinch a bit of your hand, lick your fingers, and it rolls off beautifully. And then you're going to gently and pleasantly stuff that. Yeah. OK. But only not, not overstuffing. You don't want no. it too... Oh, there you go. Oh. And we I've don't want to stuff the top. Made. And we don't want to stuff the top because we don't want the arm sticking out of this. We want oh, a pleasant little. We make a joint. a joint. And so I've stuffed the body. Don't worry about the head neck. That's so you've the... done all of these yes. in exactly yes, the yes, same yes, way. Yeah. You've done the two layers, yeah. the freezer paper on the top, stitch round, yeah. pulled out. Uh, if not freezer paper, ordinary paper, just pin it down. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I've just only got one arm, arm, arm and one leg. And the uh, head's the same. Now beware, uh, the head has a little slit at the top to stitch to stuff with. So yes. I, and I want a pleasant plump head. Head's going to 
hold the face. Yeah. We've got a really good nice, and, and, and manoeuvre the shape in your hand so yes. to get a nice shape. And this is the chin end. The wider end is the chin end. Oh, Some okay. people do that. Yes, yes, yes. I, I prefer, would have done that. I would prefer a little, the chin end uh, like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, and that will actually be sewn or glued onto the neck. OK, oh, that's gorgeous. So what we're going to so do, we've made the body parts. That's all very lovely. Um, the hair is unusual. Um, you, you'll have pattern for your hair. And I have pattern. pattern for your hair in your hair. In, in your um, kit and you just place it on some felt like that and if it was freezer paper you'd have to tra trace it all out but if it's just ordinary pat photocopy you can just put it on there yeah. and you cut it out so I would cut so it's a solid it's a solid shape you yes, cut yes, out, and yeah. then you yeah. fringe it yeah so there's the solid shape when it's when it's done oh, and I see. fringe and I don't do the little minute fringing till um, the, the, the smaller cuts till yes. later just okay. because it can be a little bit tricky okay? yes. and that will go on the head beautifully be glued on the head look at oh, that oh look the little fringe gorgeous? so we only use wool felt for that again can because, I just turn yeah, that round so we can yeah. see the little fringe we there. only use wool felt for that because I don't want um, the, the other felt tears very easily. Okay? Yeah. Well, you could use fleece if you were using the pattern again. OK. So we're just going to draw a little face on here. Oh, OK. we like this, don't you? We like this. Yes. Don't forget, that's our chin Because you can do whatever end. face you want, really, can't you? You can't, John. You can't. Oh. No, of course you can't. Of course you can't. Well, this is my... Oh, this sorry. Is... Oh, OK, OK, yeah. OK, OK. So what we're going to do is visualise this head and divide it into three. Right. One, oh, two, I'll let you do that. Yes, yes, divide it into three. The top third has nothing in it. Right. The middle third has, a, to start with little weenie dots, has the two eyes right. and a little dash for the is nose. Is this explained in the... In the you're oh, you're going to trace, drawn, but this you? is me giving you a little extra. Yes, That's why you, you watch me. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. And, the, and the bottom third has a very simple mouth. So do it simply to start with, OK? Yes. And now you can fill it in. We don't want, we don't want gaudy eyelashes, gaudy no, eyebrows, no. even though they're in fashion. We don't want all no. that. So we're just going to enlarge the eye, one eye, just... I'm using permanent micron pens to do this. And you're going to do the same with the other eye and match them up. Yeah. OK. You're just going to do two little eyelashes. Just don't... We don't want hundreds, but that's not a good look. It's not Aunt Sally. It's not a rag. No, no, no. They're, they're, but they're crow's feet, those, rather than eyelashes, yeah, well, aren't they? Well, that's fine. They're little crow's feet. Yeah, no, um, no, it's cute. Yes, and a little, a little eyebrows. Yeah. Just fill in the nose. We don't want any gaudy, great big nostrils hanging around. No, no. And with her lips, we want to just enhance the lips a little bit. Yes. So just enhance. Now, this is, you see, we... Well, people who've been to art school and have had to do drawing know about that proportion. But when you first go to art school, because this is where people get hands wrong, because people draw a body and then they draw these little hands. Yeah. But your hand's actually the same size as it's supposed face. to be. I'm, I'm a bit out of... But your hands should be... Same that should face, be yeah. the same size as that, shouldn't it? So, mm. so you forget, because you draw this body and then you put these little hands on the end and go, no, look at them, look at yeah, them. Yeah, it's, it's strange. It's only because looking at faces that I see that what's a nice face. When students do faces, they don't do nice faces majority of the time. Yes, yes. And it's because they overdo it. Yes. They think they're making their own self up. Yes. And you're right. Simple, look, yes. look at... Right, lovely. Uh, well, I've got your lip well, out. Sometimes yeah, we're doing yeah, your makeup. A little now. Chanel, a little Chanel. Other makeups are available. Then, what you're going to do is... Um, what colour is that? Plum? I, I, I don't know. This is right. It's called Bonheur. Bonheur. Um, yes. That means happy, doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, no, good hour. But actually, anyway. um, it's... Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of lippy in the palm of your hand, which is warm. Right, are we watching this, then? Yes, so a little bit in the palm I'll of your I'll show you, yes. You wouldn't be using your best lipstick for this. No, but, you... but I, I was on, on t I was showing off. Oh, showing off because okay. she's on telly. And, and you warm it up with a little finger. Yeah. And then you just gently and pleasantly blush, so you can hardly oh. see. Hang on. So that's why you don't put it straight onto Absolutely. the fabric. Absolutely. If you put not... it straight on, the fabric would absorb it, and it would be a nightmare. So there you are. Got... Oh, just see. little flow. So just put her little hair on. How do you attach the hair? With glue. I've got some a glue gun underneath there. I would attach the top first, yes. Then the sides, and then and then the top and the back, and then I would trim into all the extra bits. I'd feather cut. I'd feather cut it, but that's her lovely little face look. Oh. Now you can tea dye your calico. It does tell you in the instructions to tea dye your calico beforehand. But look at that. Okay, so oh. I, well, I, as an angel, I quite like it. Oh, uh, natural. Yes, uh, yeah. But tea dyeing, you literally just put the fabric in with a tea bag. Uh, you get your water. fabric wet, put yeah. six bags, tea bags in the washing up bowl and soak it yeah, yeah. Which is what you do when you, when you, um, when we work on films, you never do any pure white. No, none of the shirts are pure white on a film. You always tea dip them. So in, in reality, that would light up on a film. That would light up as white. 
but that's just... Oh, you have to be a bit careful. Yeah. So, th so there's her lovely little head. Gorgeous. That. So that's her body and her arms. Now, putting the arms on is easy. Yeah. Watch this. This is what I do at the top. I tuck the two ends in and I turn them over. And then I... Some, some people... I had a pattern once that didn't explain exactly where to put the arms. Yeah. Arms generally on go on the shoulders, yes. yes. Um, yes. Can I just tell you, we haven't even shown the heart yet and half the stock's gone. I told you, because they're a collectible. If you've got the heart in your basket, we can't guarantee that you'll get it, because there's more people put it in their basket than we've actually got stock, and there were hundreds of those as well. Anyway, carry on. So, so look, there, and so we're just going to stitch the arms. Looks like a fabulous mannequin. Yeah. You know those posh mannequins yeah. you buy. Gorgeous. I guess mm. it's. And the legs will actually... Oh, I didn't stuff the leg, but the legs oh. will actually go inside the little gap you've got there. At the bottom. And don't forget, we've got panties to cover any little indiscrepancies yes, along the crotch obviously. line. Yes. OK. So there you are, that's your body doll. That's very, very exciting. And the dress is even more exciting. I made this is all You get all the fabric, everything yeah, for all of these. Yeah, there's nothing you don't get. You don't get the stuffing, that's it. No, no. Okay. And you're going oh I didn't show you that. Sorry, I was, I was on a rush then. And um, this is very easy. If you're gonna make any nativity things, this is the perfect way of doing it for your children. Right. Uh, fold your fabric in half and yes. half again. Okay. Put your pattern, which is already cut, on the fold. It says place on fold, place on fold. Yeah. Like this. Uh, you cut it out. So what, what I would do, if it's a child, I'd put my fabric on the floor like this, lay the child down, make the arm out. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I cut around them. There's a very there famous a book called the Tilk book. Because this is how they made costume uh, clothes. Yeah. And it goes through from, like... Um, Almost caveman time. Oh, yeah. one day, and it's called Tilk, and they've got all the drawings of all the, and that's the first pattern you learn when you go to Wimbledon School oh, of Art. Well, that's with pattern cutting, and it's from the Tilk book. The Tilk book costs, you know, a gazillion pounds yeah. or something, but it's, it's exactly from the Tilk. So how amazing is that? You tilk. T I L K E. So, oh, sorry, I cut a little hole for the neck. Don't overcut. I, no, uh, well, no, because that's a lot of people do that when they're doing dressmaking. Yeah. They cut that neck hole far too I have too to make big. it a bit bigger than that. And there's no head there. going through it, so it doesn't matter. There will be a head going through it. No, I mean every day. Oh, really? <laughs> so what you're going to do now is just sew two seams. Yes. Look, two seams, so I'll quickly oh, rip them. Oh, you do some sewing. Oh, do you want me to? Yes, yeah. is this OK for you? I'll do some sewing. Um, two seams. And um, this is a great machine because it's got the speed control, so I like it to be fast. Yeah. Uh, two, the two side seams, clip your underarms, and then you'll be off. Right, why is it, why is it beeped at you? <laughs> it's going inside. It's fine. You have to be a bit more patient with it. Yeah. Um, and this is, uh, if, I was making any, if I was making any dresses for dolls and things, I would use this method first. And it's great for jackets and all sorts of things. But it's a great little um, tip to, to be seen. Do you mind if I interrupt you just one second? No, do. Lots of people asking about this behind us. Yeah. Um, this, lots of people putting this in their basket. I need to explain to you, you get these 12, oh, enough yeah. to make the 12 motifs. You don't get the fabric to make the quilt. I just want to make you aware of that. Because it's uh, 29.95 is fantastic, right? You're getting all of these but you're not getting the fabric to make the quilt. I just want to point that out for the people we're, putting we're the basket. Go I'll, I'll go through yeah. it again yeah, in a minute, yeah. but I just didn't so want just cut the, always very important to cut the snips under the arms, yeah. you see? Oh, yes. And then you can the decorate cut, this with a little red, little red work stitch. I'm, I use fray ends, because yes. it is a decoration. Um, you can hem if you choose to hem. Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, that's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? So fray I've just done the same here, though. You've hemmed the two. Uh, yes, I, I do what I fancy at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but actually... I'll just say what I do. OK, that's fine, time. But I, actually, what, oh, I most probably couldn't hem it because it wasn't on straight. Do you know, you fray, sometimes you can't sew. Yes. So look at oh, that. right, yes, of yes, course. Yes, yes, you see. So look at that lovely little dress. And uh, if you just gather around the neck, it pulls it in yes. and there's your frock. Oh. One other quick thing to show... Where does this heart to... come from? Oh, it's a little heart. It's from the wings. Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in, as in, is it on the pattern? Oh, yes, absolutely on yes, the pattern yes, yeah. somewhere. It's gorgeous. But I want, I'm trying to show you all the lovely bits and you are making it difficult. So just be... Did be careful. Look at no, this. No, no, you carry on. Yes. So, good morning. You carry on. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to make the little wreath on the top. Do you want to come back? Do you want to come back? But I'm are we a speedy morning. Listen. Five messages sent, no reply. Oh. oh. Mandy's cake is in the fridge, but I've eaten yours. Oh. That's from Julie. Are you feeling better, Julie? Julie had a, a, not a very nice day yesterday. Oh. And I upset her a bit. Uh, yeah. Just so you know, Julie, five haven't come through that, but, um, uh, um, Oh, Julie, no, don't. She had a not very nice day yesterday, and I upset her. Oh, darling, don't, we don't don't mean to upset people, do we? No, no, no. Anyway, uh, so what's, this? what's this? Wonderful little uh, little garland around the top. Yes. These little tips are gorgeous. Yes. 
An inch of fabric, fold in half. Right, is this in the kit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuse wire? Yeah. Uh, fold the fuse wire into the fabric. So I folded the fabric and had the fuse wire yes, at the end. Yes, yes, yeah. Then I stitched a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to pull the fuse wire up really tight. And then you get a gorgeous little garland. Oh, wow. You see, how do you think of the... Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Were you just sitting watching the celly one night yeah, going, oh, yeah. I know how to make that? Yeah, it's odd. It's, it's like it's an inner body experience, or an outer body yes. experience. It's not normal. I know it's no, not normal. No, an inner body experience, that's not nice. <laughs> no, no. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna gather these, twist these around like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll get a toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna give these a little shaggle with a toothbrush and that all comes up lovely. Not a wet toothbrush. No, a dry toothbrush. Yes. An old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old one. And, and, and if you shaggle your fabric with it, it comes up like That's a little... That's another Mandy word. A shaggle. Shaggle. Yeah. And then you get this lovely little garland Beautiful. like that. Beautiful. OK. And that, that, oh, go on, yes, sorry. what were you gonna say? I was gonna ask about the ankles. Oh, that's, that's just me tying round the ankles. And I tied the little toes as well. I little stitch the toes. And one thing you don't see in the, on her, she does actually have a little bear. Oh. In the pattern, it's in the pattern, and I'll show you. So I've just made the bear the same way I would have made hers. I just want to quickly show you this. I stitched on the mark line. It's uh, a pattern piece in there. So it's a little extra. A little extra. All saying, please bear with us while we oh, sort this problem out. God, oh, it's a jacket. It's made him. It's, it's got jacket, to his head. Yeah. It's got to his head. <laughs> no, because so then he'd be telling funny jokes if it's, the jacket made him into. So a little bit that. of wool felt or, or felt in the kit is in there. Yeah. I stitched on the mark line. Yeah. And I'm going to pull the pattern off. Look. Yeah. And there you have. A, and I did it in brown. Did I? Yeah, I did. I didn't know I did. But how nice is that? And then you cut this out very, very neatly with your scissors. Yeah. And she has a little bear. To hold. To hold. Oh. Right, so check out your baskets for the uh, Sophie the Angel. Yeah. Right, let's do the heart next because... Yeah. The, we're, only because there's more people got the... We're not going to make this, we're just going to talk through this yeah, one, yeah, aren't yeah. we? Because there's more people got this in the basket now than we have in stock. I said at the beginning, I said at the beginning that the hearts are collectibles. We, Mandy brings you a new one of these every so often and they just yeah. sell, 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 yeah. sell, sell. This is the Christmas penguin one. <laughs> £16.95. and pence. Again, it's a kit, so you get everything. We're hardly going to spend any time on it because there are more people got it in their baskets yeah. than we've got to stop. You get uh, uh, you get the, fa the spotty fabric for the back. You get the linen. linen for the front. You do get an iron-on transfer, which isn't on the picture again. You get the embroidery thread and you get the ribbon. Yeah. And actually, this is brand back in you, never been seen no, before. No, brand you, never, never been seen before. That's why it's flown out. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, um, we've got a competition on our website. If you can guess how many I've got, then we'd send you a free kit. That's your, your yeah, website, yes, not yeah, us. Yes, That's yeah, Wendy's, yeah. Uh, Wendy's, Mandy's <laughs> website. <laughs> don't know who Wendy's. Wendy is. Anyway, so on on transfer. You look like a Wendy, though. No, I don't want to look like a Wendy. I want to look like a man. Thank oh, you. Okay, I think Wendy's a nice. No, name. I, I love Wendy's. It's a yeah. great name, but I'm not associated with a Wendy. Okay. There was one in my life that. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm I Mandy. You see, I don't know. We're still learning, aren't we're we? We're still learning lots of things about each other. Yes. Mm. We should have heard it in prep earlier. <laughs> anyway, uh, very quickly, what are you going to show us? Well, that says say something different to this. Yeah, one. That, that's not, that, ignore what this says on here. But yeah. this is uh, we we know about our iron transfers, hot iron, yes, flat yes, surface. Yes, yes. Um, and we know that we're all stitching beautifully, got a little back stitch. We know this is suitable for a beginner. Yep. There's a quirky piece in the pattern that I haven't always got to show you, and it's when you've, you've, it's, you've stitched it together. Yes. And you've turned it inside out via the slit on the back. Yes. You've then got to, to get, create this wonderful little edge here, yes. you've got to stitch in this line. I showed this to the ladies. Before yesterday. you pack it. Before what? you stuff, stuff it. Stuff it, that's what So that's the bit I, was, I wanted to show you because um, we've, some ladies do forget to do that. Can you I just stitch. show you all these people who bought it? Mandy, look. Oh, no, you've taken away again now. Right, love you, John and Mandy. What a duo. I have loads of kits, Mandy. They're all excellent. Another... Oh, are they all the people? No, 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 but you, I was halfway through reading it. Put it back. You can make it up, make it up. You allowed to make things up here? Uh, another local to you from Westham near... No, P West Ham. West Ham near Pevensey. <laughs> Pevensey. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Karen, that's oh, Karen. Hi, Karen. Now we can have the names. Now we can have the names. Are there lots of them? Right, oh, look. look. Oh, oh bless their hearts. Ah, oh, loads of you. Kathleen, Lisa, Karen, Laurie, Joe, Sandy, Anne, Anne, Sandra, Lorna, Vanessa, Elizabeth. Oh, it's... <gasps> Oh, oh, my... Right. Right, now, you need to check out your baskets. They're all going to go. You need to check out your baskets. 
So just to show you then, if we're going to stitch on this line to create that ridge. That's yes. all I wanted just to reiterate, because I don't yeah. always have something to show. <laughs> it's, 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 was that not gorgeous? No, reiterate. Re reiterate. Reiterate, yeah. Did I say it wrong? No. OK, it's fine. OK, shall we move on? Huh? Shall we move on? If you like. Yeah. Please make sure, please make sure you check out on that, because they're going to go. Yeah. They're going to go. Right, uh, so now let's move on to this. Oh, hang on. Morning, got my heart. This is from Penny. Yeah. All, I love all the red work. I'm now addicted to it. It is addictive. It is addictive. Right, OK. We need to go on to this, because loads of you put it in your basket, and yeah. I'm just frightened yeah. that... Because we've got a whole quilt showing, but look at the price. If, if that was a whole quilt showing, it'd be, like, £100, wouldn't it, mm. or something like that? Yeah. How much? No, 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 because you're, you're, no, no, your prices are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Paul's no, saying, the, oh, and the rest, and the rest. But no, but that, would be, that, that would be, that is about, if you buy that kit from my website, it's about £80. Yeah, well, £80, yeah, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. £29.95, right? Yeah. In the kit, yeah. you get everything you need to make the 12 pictures. That's yes, right. You do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous 12 pictures. And you, there's this linen cotton mix. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's a linen cotton mix. You get the iron-on transfer. Yes. And look at all that. Yeah. Look, now, this doesn't come cheap. No, it doesn't. And it's cotton abroad, DMC, nice brand. Yes. Not the cheap stuff. Yeah. Um, and you get the um, iron-on interfacing to go on the back. Right. And you get all the iron-on transfers. I now, mean, which you can use. More than once. Up to six times. Now, the th our thinking behind this was that you guys are professional sewers. Lots of you sew all the time. And you've got stashes. Yes. Now, we can't replicate that fabric because it's been and gone a long yes, time ago. Yeah. And so we're reckoning that you could go shopping or you could use your fabric at home. But also, not everybody, that's a traditional, they're traditional yeah, colours, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Look, some people might want to go yeah, vibrant. Yeah, some might, people might want to go vivacious. Or, or some people like add a colour in there, dare they? But they might like. Yeah, to no, but, yeah. but round the outside, yeah. leave the red yeah, work yeah. as it is, but yeah. then frame it yeah. with something else. And when you're making a quilt, I always suggest that you think about where it's going. Yes. So don't make a quilt that's not going to fit in your home. So if you have got a home that's got navy blue in it or tops and things. Yeah. But we're saying we're saying quilts, right? Yeah. How gorgeous would that be to have 12 scatter cushions Absolutely. on a guest yeah, bed, yeah, yeah. on a little day yeah. bed, on a sofa? Yeah. So the way we're doing it today, yeah. you get those 12 to make, yeah. but you could make the world's your oyster, yeah, isn't You it, could really? actually make it into, uh, into a bunting as yes, well, into yes. a bunting. You could have, there is one pattern I do use with the pear tree as a... because it's 12 days of Christmas, yes. story, uh, as a cushion. No, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, just in case. Just in case you... Where's wait. the number one? I didn't put number one on it, because we all know partridge in the pear tree. Oh, it's a partridge, you said. Here we go. Uh, let's do the song, let's do the song, let's do the song. Oh, Hi, I'm John I and I Mandy. Singing. My <laughs> daughter Sophie was born prematurely on Boxing Day. <gasps> she was not much bigger than the angel, so I've bought the Sophie the angel to give to her. Oh, that's wonderful. That's from Sarah. Stories. The rest of your message has disappeared, so it goes shh at the yeah, end. That was shh. shh. Don't talk On the that, yeah. 21st day of Christmas... These are back to front, member, because the, 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 the transfer will be back to yeah, front. Yeah, on and transfer. Oh, does it say 51? Let's have a look. Oh, no, because it's... There you go. Yeah. On the 51th day of Christmas. You oh, you can't see through on this light. So it's 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipe... Oh, we can see this one, are not we? 11 pipers piping, 10, Ten lords are leaping, leaping, 9 ladies dancing... Eight, eight maids are milking. Oh, wait, I thought swans are swimming. Eight maids are milking, seven, seven swans, swans are swimming. Ooh, that is swimming fast, that one. It's <laughs> causing a right old wake, that one. Five, go! Join have, in. have we got two swans then? Oh, no, that's okay. Oh, no, no, no six geese are laying. Oh, five, five gold, gold rings, four, four calling birds, birds, three French hens, two, two calling, turtle doves. Calling doves. Turtle doves. Turtle doves. And a, and a partridge in a pear <laughs> Let's not go carol singing, eh, in Westerham or everything. I don't think West I would Ham. make a good singer, because I could give it my all, but it doesn't come out of the mouth. No, I, in my... In my in, head. In my head. Yeah. Right, I had a landlady when I was at college and I used to sing to all the show tunes yeah. and everything. She came up one day and she went, please shut up, please shut up, my head's really, really sore. And I was like, what do you mean I'm singing in... It was only when I heard a recording, because yeah, I played no. Anita in West Side Story once, oh, and I heard you? myself singing. It was I, like... I played um, Mary Poppins. Oh, yes, I can see that. Yes, yes. I can see that. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, all the uh, instructions, yeah. everything you need to know. Yeah. Oh, you've got to check out your baskets. You've got to check out your baskets. So they do know, don't they? It's I think they're all just... checking out the baskets because we're making so much noise. <laughs> <laughs> just shut them up. Yeah, move on to the next thing. Uh, you need to check out your baskets. They do, you do know that you get the 12 iron-on transfers, yes. the cotton linen mix to make the backgrounds yep. of them, all of those cotton abro days um, 
threads. Yes. You've got the... Is that like an interfacing? It's interfacing. And you don't no, get the dolly's no, leg. No, you don't get the doll's one. leg. No. And you get the pattern and, and all you the get instructions. The yeah, and the instructions. Yeah, yeah. So that, for twenty nine ninety five, you could make a quilt, you could make cushions, you yeah. could do whatever you want. Yeah. But, yeah, oh, people asking when our, our, our Christmas album's coming oh, out. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Could you imagine? Do you we think like that Florence, famous ones? We'll be that Florence Foster Jenkins, you know, the, the opera singer that Meryl Streep did in the film. Yeah, or, or Subo. <laughs> Super can sing. Oh, she, her album's amazing. Is it? Uh, it's amazing. My husband's hidden it from me. But it's amazing. It really is a beautiful album. Where honestly. Where's he hidden it from? Because he likes to listen to it. Because I'm, I'm dominant and I make him have it on the car. Oh, all the way up. four hours of I Subo. can't imagine that somehow. <laughs> anyway, anyway, got to move on. We haven't got long. We're halfway through the show oh, yeah. and halfway. Oh, oh, no, actually, we're all right. We're all right now. We're okay now. Yeah, we can chill. Because we've, we've got a great only got demo one now. More product, yeah. One more um, project. Yeah, this um, is great. Hang on a sec, let me just put this here, I don't want to lose that. Because what happens is, is Mandy has to leave the minute she finishes, and I don't want to leave every time we go, oh, oh she's, she's left, left that, this, yeah. or she's left that. Yeah, yeah, uh, before we move on to this, I'm just going to show you the book. Oh, yes, yes, this is lovely. Um, now, we had this yesterday. We had it before, and it sold out. We sold out in eight minutes' time, but we ordered gazillions yes, more this time. More. We've got a few left. We've got a few... Now, this is your latest book, isn't this it? This is my very latest book. You can only get it from us yes. and Sewing Quarter. It's a Sewing yes. Quarter special. OK. Uh, ten seasonal sewing projects in there. £12.95. pence. It's just adorable. It's yeah. gorgeous. Um, all the different... Uh, the, the, the little mice there we've had on before. Um, what else? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a very old quilt, that's it. This yeah, there's the mice. Nice, yeah. Uh, the there's hoopies. the um, hoopies that we Small, did yesterday. Yeah. Now, I think you'll find there might be about six... Hoopy yes. Hoopy sets. Yeah. Anything, anything you saw yesterday, either go to the website or go on, to, go to ring the call centre because there's about six of those left, I think, out of the hundreds that we had. Uh, we haven't had those. No, we haven't. I'm saving some things for later. Oh, are oh, you coming back before Christmas then? Oh, coming back before Christmas, and I'm kind of coming back with um, Christmas presents. Oh, so not necessarily you? Christmas. Oh, I don't know if we're supposed to tell that. Yeah. Are we not? No, but oh, should I say some more? Christmas Christmas should right? I tell them some more things? Um, no. No, go on. Well, no, just, just, just just Christmas presents. So you you can either give it the kit as, as a, a kit. present or, or make, make it. Oh, lovely. So it might not be so Christmassy. It's Christmas, but it, it's present so idea. A present for Christmas. Yes, yes, okay. yeah, yeah. So sugar plum fairy. That's what we call Paul when he's not looking. <laughs> um, snowy candle village candle. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really lovely. Candle hearts. Three nice mice. Yeah, the photograph. Who does the photographs? Oh, uh, Sean I Ivan. Beautiful Irving. photographs. Uh, gorgeous, yeah. Uh, we had this yesterday. This Gone shopping wall hanging. In my house. This is my sewing this, station. Now, is this in the house or is this in the... That's in the house. Workroom. Workroom. Is gorgeous. Not this the is she a, shared at the this, end of the garden. This is the house. This is the house. So this is where we'll be visiting when we come to take pictures yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. I'm a collector of rubbish and I love it. Love it to death. There's still a few of those left from yesterday, yeah, if you want those. Then that yes. one is a whole kit. Yes. The kit for that kit. yesterday was a complete and utter yeah. kit. Right, there we go. Um, then, of course, we've got the um, snowball quilt. Yep. Oh, that was hanging on the wall behind us. If you watched on YouTube, that was on the on the YouTube yeah, yep. yesterday behind us. Uh, what else have we got here? I love oh, and then these are the techniques box. and the yes, templates. Yes, yeah. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. Um, I, I love this, that you actually draw. You don't take it for granted that we know what, you know what oh, I mean, no. the stitches We've got left-handed and right-handed stitching. Oh, so wow. Yes, but you do both. I can do both. I can do any. If I, I, I had broke my, hurt my hand, didn't I, the other year? Did you? I yeah, didn't know you. I've only known you a few weeks. Little, little operation. Oh, no, that bad. Oh. And I couldn't even... Were you distraught? Because you thought... So I'm I have learned to sew with two fingers. My thing, the hand was plastered like that, so I learned to sew with two fingers of the needle. No. Oh, I did. I think it was going um, to stop me. Templates? Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Whole book for £12.95. Yeah. It's a good pounds. price, because don't forget, one pattern of a kit of my patterns is £7. Yes, exactly. So you get ten projects in there. So yeah. yeah it's good. OK, right. So right. let's talk about... I love this. this it's gorgeous. Show. It's inspired by this amazing woman, Jo Cole, who lives down in Cornwall, who's got the most amazing quilt shop and tea rooms right. uh, in Launceston. And she's always made... I've got friends that live in Launceston. Oh, it's unbelievable. Do please go. I will. She'll, they'll know her. What's it called? It's called Cowslip Workshops. Cowslip Workshops. And it's down on a windy farm. Well, that's where Charlotte lives. Charlotte and one eye Jeff. They live down... Uh, they, bought, they moved from London to... Yeah. Uh, they bought a farm, a little small holding. Well, they will know her. Yes. They yeah. will know her. One eye. Yeah, you've only got one eye. Oh. One eye Jeff. Oh, of course. <laughs> 
fat Je Cynthia. Jennifer. Yeah. She used to be fat. Yeah, she's not anymore. Not anymore. Um, and so she makes box cushions and things, and she's just the, the, the dr she's my hero. Oh, so she does. It's not just the tea room. It's it's a, a oh, crafting. She, no, no, it's a, a wonderful quilt shop and wonderful workshops. The, the best in the country she has down there. Apart from yours. Apart from me, yeah. Yes. Um, but and she, Joe Carter's yeah. and um, Oh, she would Lucy's have them all down there. Yeah. She would have yeah. them all down there. She's a darling. Uh, so this anyway. is Country Friends. Country friends. Oh. So I thought it would be lovely to give us a, a, friend, a friendship thing. But of course, I've made a different shape this time. We want to ring the changes. Oh, lots yeah, of no, squares, I love this shape. I love the shape. So I'm going to show you how to make it. My mum always used to make a square Christmas cake, you know. Don't know why. Don't know why. Yeah, lots of people do, darling. It's oh, easy do to they? cut. It's easy to cut. It's more economical. Christmas cake. Look. Oh, I love it. I have it. to have a sponge cake. Oh, I love it. I love and it. And Dundee cake. Don't start me on that. <laughs> uh, £29.95. Now, the whole kit, but you don't get the pillow. The, the, no, what's and it interestingly called? enough, look, this cushion is 12 by 12 by 3. Yeah. 12 by 12 by, by three. 3. So I put inches. a 16 inch square cushion in it. To really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the word? What's the Mandy Shaw word for? To, 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 to bulk it out. Bulk. Bulk it out. Was that ah. that no, was, no. I was imagining that. word. Anyway, so the kit. Everything but the cushion pad. Everything but the cushion pad, okay. okay. Right. And I do advocate, if you're allergic, to, to use feather cushion pads. Oh, yes. They're lovely. They're no, lovely. I like feather cushions, but Hannah, our other producer, yeah. she's got a new boyfriend who's allergic to feathers. And it's a shame because she's just bought a budgie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a boyfriend once that's allergic to my cardigans. Because he's allergic to wool. Oh, I thought he meant, oh, I don't like that <laughs> card. Or well, that card did look better on me. Was it that boyfriend? <laughs> oh, it was, it, uh, the, the card, yeah, actually would have looked good on a man. It was um, uh, not Hawaii Five-O, the ones with the big collars and wrappers. Shawl collar, like, oh, um, um, Starsky and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch, right. and it was striped. Not that I remember Starsky and Hutch. No, no, no. I've got to, Paul's, Paul's got a message for you all. The wall hang... Oh, not that one, not that one. Oh, yesterday's wall hanging. Oh, there you go, there it is. There it oh, is. Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah, it's lovely. That's it's a the lovely kit one. and the wall hanging. Looking gorgeous. Hang on, just wait to see what's happening. Not too much. Forty-two pounds yeah. and ninety-five pence. There's not many left. There's not many left. Paul just thought you'd show it very quickly. There's not many left. Right, let's get on with this cushion then. Right, okay. So, so we're going what to. Oh, um, we've got plenty of time. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Uh, this is an iron-on transfer. Do you need the iron? No, we're not. I'm not oh, going to do I'm that because we've done enough of that today. Yeah, 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 we've done enough. Yeah. And so we're going to iron the transfer onto your white linen. This is all beautiful fabrics. Yes. Cotton's linens. This is linen rickrack. You'll never get this anywhere else because I. Linen rickrack. Linen rickrack. Look at. That. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, anyway, right. So you, you iron the transfer on yes. beautifully and you stitch all the way around, all of it. When it's just on its own. When on it's it's just own, on yeah. And you do put a little bit of violin on the back. Interfacing. Just interfacing. Pleasure, yeah. But I accidentally put a bit of wadding on this, so don't look at it. Oh, OK. It's but you a, could put wadding in if you want You could have done it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't suggest you do because okay. you want it flat. So but, in the pattern, you've got the iron on transfer, you've, you've got, got the violin. gorgeous white linen, yeah. and you've got the interfacing yes, yeah, to go yeah. behind. Right, okay. So you're going, to, you're going to stitch that beauty, and that'll take a couple... Do you ever put it in a hoop or anything like that? I, I don't. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Um, no, we had no. Tilly Rose on the other day. And she does. No, well, she does for some of them, and then which is a free motion thing. She takes it no, off. No. Yeah. So, um, so you're allowed to use what you like. It yeah. doesn't matter that you don't use a hoop. Okay. I don't. Right. But if you love to use in your hoop, you can. Because I saw some people at um, no, wasn't that Festival of Quilts? Yeah. It was at the other one, Stitches. Yeah. Uh, Stitches. And they were sitting down, and they had this like a hoop that was attached to their chair. Yeah, yeah. And I presumed it was for people who couldn't, who might have dexterity no, problems. It, it, and they stitched through yeah. the hoop that was attached to their it, chair. It, it depends what you're used to. Yeah. I can't use a hoop at all. That the wooden frame bothers the life out of me. Oh, okay. So I don't use a hoop for anything. No, but, there but are if you had dex, if that hand. Yes, had not been yes. it, and you couldn't hold it and yeah. do the same. They'd be brilliant for... They would be. Anyway, that's but what I want to say to you yeah. is you're not... It does, just because just you don't use a quilt, a hoop for quilting, doesn't mean you don't, you're not doing it properly. No. Because the quilt school will say to you, you need a hoop. Yes. And I say, no, you don't. Yes. The only thing I'd say you do need a frame for is... I tell you this story all yeah. the time. I had a K-Facet ermine tapestry. Yeah, oh, you do, yeah, years, yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't put it on a frame. Yeah. And because it was like cross-stitch and yeah. embroidery and everything, the whole thing twist, yeah. and I couldn't make anything out of it. Yes, yeah, you can. I'll like... tell you what you do. Oh. What you do... Yes, this was the 1980s. That happens all the time, so I don't use a frame for that either. Yeah. But what you do, once you've finished quilting and make, stitching it, yeah. you, you spray the back and you pin it square, leave it to dry like a square oh, again. I gave it to a charity shop. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay. Somebody's... Check out your baskets of these cushions at £29.95. Uh, yes, right, OK, so we've, so, we've, so we've stitched that, we've done the red we've work stitched, on that. We've done the yeah. red work. So we're then, we're, going, we're then going to place another piece, you've got two pieces of violin in here, OK? Right. Another piece of violin, right sides onto... I've actually given you two pieces of violin, one that's got an iron on it, on it, Which the is, shiny side, right. which goes 
to this work. Yes. And another piece that has no shine on it. Oh, okay. okay. So does it say in the instructions? Yes, it will say, yeah, yeah, in the yeah, instructions, yeah. yeah. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put the violin onto the wrong, the right side of the work, so on here. Yeah. And you're going to use your foot as a guide. Your foot, your machine Have foot. I mentioned how lovely your clogs are? Oh, you didn't, but thank, you for, you, thank you for noticing a little bit late, but never mind. <laughs> Um, and so you're going to use your foot as a guide yes. to sew around that circle. Oh, not on the circle. No, so, right. so you put your foot to this red line yeah, here got it. and you stitch With all that. the way around. Right, lovely. All the way. My machine was playing up, you can see that. Yeah. And then what you're going to do... Now, you, you need um, a reasonably small stitch, but keep it at 2.5. Don't go any smaller. Yeah. Because your violin's a bit fragile. And if you, if you play, interfacing. Um, interfacing. Oh, yes, interfacing is a bit fragile. Unless it is... It, it, did you it, actually, could, it is actually violin, is it? Because you can say it if it is actually violin. It might not be. In my day, it oh, was all violin. So yes, it was. Yeah, that's so like, like Hoover's, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Interfacing shape. So you're going to cut around the outside. And this is the most perfect way, as long as it goes well for me today, mm -hmm. um, uh, of, of uh, getting a nice circle, neat and tidy. OK? So what you're going to do now is you're going to gently pick up your viol uh, interfacing. Yeah. <laughs> interfacing. And you're going to slit your interfacing. Yes. Quite a big slit. Quite a big slit, because we don't want it... Oh, and it's more than a slit, it's yes, a cross yes, slit. Yes. And you're going to turn it inside out. Right. And then your violin will take the turn under beautifully. So what you do need to do before you do this project is have a little coffee in a Starbucks or a McDonald's or oh, any yes, other place. Yes, yes. And get a little wooden stick. An orange stick. You could buy, recycle it. Oh, yes, you can. Don't you stirred your coffee with. Absolutely. Yeah. And get your little wooden stick and poke it in there. Now, look at, look at that. What the perfect circle is. Are you not impressed? I am very impressed. Could you not go to bed tonight happy? I, I never go to bed happy. Oh, darling. You do as long as your clothes are already, in case you die in the night. Yes. <laughs> and you... the kitchen's clean. Yeah. So, look. No take, a, take, take a few minutes to look at that, because that's really clever. OK, well, look, take a look a few minutes yeah. at that. That's really... Seconds, right? Seconds, really gorgeous. Okay. So, are those people based on anybody in particular? No, just happy people. We like happy people. OK. OK. And then you're going to get, you're going to get your um, wick, wick whack. Wick whack. Right. And you're going to place which is it linen. around, which is linen, which I don't seem to have in my yeah, hand. Yeah, I've got some in my kit. And you're going to stitch it, you're going to tack it round the out... Oh, perfect. You're going to tack it round the outside edge. Now, I want to show you what to do the edges of your rickrack. Oh, it feels lovely, It's beautiful, it? yeah. So, look, um, you can never join rickrack. It will never Shh. join. It's a horrible thing to join. So what I want you to do is tack it round yeah. the outside edge, but just move that... See that, see that piece the last there? One, move yeah. that last one in. Just tack it... Tuck it in. So there will be a case on here somewhere. I've I think just, it's yeah. here, yeah, it's spied here, which is not perfect. But that's fine. It's handmade. Yes. It's handmade and it's very good. Now, and if also, if you didn't point that out, nobody would even You had notice noticed it already, though. No, I had, because I was looking where she's where she oh, right, ended okay. her rickrack. Because yeah, yeah. I always find that with rickrack, because you always you can't think, join Because it. even if it's just laid on top, it's like yeah. you can't join no, it, you can't can you? You can't put it... No. Anyway. OK, so you're just going to go round the outside. So you're just edges. tacking yeah, this into place. tacking place. And then you're going to... Prep your 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square. Find the middle by folding in half and half again. Can I just ask about this rick rack? I'm going to talk about that in a second. You jump in the gun, John. Jump in the well, gun. Well, it's there. That's why I, I was know, asking. I prepped it so it'll be a fast, speedy show. Uh -huh. Okay. So you're going to put that on there gorgeously, and you're going to tack it again. Don't dribble on it. <laughs> Don't dribble on it, John. I'll just let him go to sleep. And you're going to, and then stitch with the sewing machine right round the edge in white thread. Can we just check what the show the I Look thought, at this. Right, did right, you not right. see it? See what? Top of your head? Oh, they, <laughs> they show the top of my head. Yeah, they did. You're worried about oh, your it's, like it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you're going to stitch right close, right around the outside edge. Okay. What with? Where? With the sewing machine. Right. right yeah, here, yeah. Yes. <laughs> with natural coloured thread, with a matching white, thread. White, white thread, thread yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So that's that's your that's your. your oh, top and so edge. that's holding. Yes, yes. It's you, you, down, you, yeah. and it's holding yeah. your rick rack. So you would tack the linen on first. Tack the linen on first, yes. and then place it in position, and it st stitches really well. So okay. there you are. That would be your top of the cushion. Yeah. And now you're going to put the rick rack round the top of the oh, cushion okay. square. Okay. Why do you do that after you've put the circle on? Um, uh, I, it, it makes no difference. There is no difference. Thank it you. It makes no difference. Thank you. I did it. 
um, prepped it first because I was showing you on the show, but they would make no difference. Yes. Okay, it makes no difference whatsoever. And again, when I put the rick rack on, I've made sure that the humps, when I, when I overlap them, are going off into the seam yes, allowance, yes, okay? Because okay. you cannot join them together. And also, when you go around the corners, look, you cannot get four corners equal. You have to accept that. That's, yes. that's, that's the nature of the beast, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, and this rick rack happens to be quite wide and long and loungy, so you will never get a corner Right, no. so please just accept that's the way it's going to be. Okay. Does it stretch around the corner easily, or do you have to concentrate going around? Uh, the no, it, this is it. So I've, I've put it on again, like we did yesterday with the rick rack. I put it on. This is a narrow rig that humps to the edge. Yes. And I've sewn through the middle, so I have a seam allowance on that side. Yes. And that's what we're going to use as a guide later on. OK. okay. So that's, that's beautiful. So that has... That yeah, that's got on that stitched right. on the front. So you're going to cut your... I'm I going to show you that back. Yes, do have that one. back. So I'm going to cut... Um, I've cut my four um, sides, and I've cut them all the same size, 12 and a half right. by three and a half, yeah. OK? And the, the secret to this is you grab yourself a little pen or pencil. Um, I, I wouldn't need to do this, although they're not quite the same size, but never mind, I'll do it in a second. But what you want to do is mark it a quarter of an inch from the edge, so you, you can see where that quarter of an inch will be. Quarter an inch in and a quarter an yes, inch yeah. down. Because yeah. you're not going to sew over the edge. No. Oh, oh, OK. I, I don't want you sewing over yeah. the edge. So you're going to place that on there. And I would really love you to, and um, you can see it from this side, sew it, uh, you can actually see it quite well on this side, on the same line, OK? Because you know that's where your rick rack's yeah. sewn. Yeah, and that's gonna, your humps are going to be gorgeous. Now, yes. I've vaguely cut these too long, but that's not a problem. I can that's rather them. too long than too short? Absolutely, absolutely. So you don't forget, you're, not, you're starting in, a quarter of an inch in, and this is very important. Shall we reiterate that? Yeah. Um, you really must start a quarter of an inch in and finish a quarter of an inch in as well, because that means you can um, do the boxy cushions. Yeah, so you don't okay. run right to the end. You've yeah. stopped and you've, start, and you've gone backwards and forwards on Absolutely. that quarter of an inch, so it's secure. So it's really gorgeous. So you do that on all four sides, OK? So I'll just do two to demonstrate yeah. it. And you do that on all four sides. This is really easy. You get a really good look, but it's really, really easy. Yes, because normally on a cushion like this, when I made Eleanor Bronze cushion covers for her flat in London, who she is wanted she? a cushion like who this. Who is she? she? But she did... I don't know who she is. She John, you trying to flash at me? The corner. Very, very. Oh, well, okay. So then you'd have to have a continuous strip. Yeah, Eleanor but, Brown. Yeah, but Eleanor I'm not. Brown. But it's no, no. But it's more difficult to have a oh, continuous strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want difficult. I don't want difficult. To, so I'll just trim that off. I'd yeah. obviously made a little error in my cutting. What do they say? Not Helena, uh, Eleanor Bron. What was this John Cruise? A uh, John Cruise, Tom Cruise thing. Why would Tom Cruise give you Christmas decorations? Because I was working with him. But why would he give you? What would you do to Tom Cruise to make him give you one? Because we were working on a film called Interview with a Vampire and it was Christmas time. I wasn't the only person who got a Christmas present. Oh, OK, Everyone you didn't say that. You, you made no, it no, sound no. like it was just you. Um, they're chattering still about Eleanor Bronner. Says, she, uh, no, what happened was yeah. I had to do all his Christmas shopping for everybody else and then he bought me the Christmas present. I Day see, Day. I see. Your so claims of fame. Is he very, very short? I, I'm not under... I'm not... I'm not... Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? At liberty to reveal that. Well, he looks very short to me anyway. So just That's checking. your opinion and not mine. <laughs> so he got church's shoes, did he? Oh, they're beauty, aren't they? He's taller than he's taller little Paul, let's put it that way. Oh, wow, that's most probably what's wrong with the little Paul, then. Yeah. So watch this. One of the things. One of the things. Well, don't, cos his mum Barbara watches. Oh, not gosh. Babs, not Bar, but Barbara. Barbara, Bar Barbara. Barbara. at Festival Court, school. So did I. Oh, I was there. Yeah, she's lovely. So watch this. Anyway. Watch this. So I've stopped a quarter of an inch. Yep. And I've stopped a quarter of an inch. Yes. OK, so we're going to do this, this little bit down here. Yep. Down here. So all you do is you swivel. You yep. swivel it, turn it round. You swivel it. Give it a little pin. And don't forget, I'm the girl that sews over my pins, but... That that That's was a, a bit that would pin. be a bit dangerous. That was the only yeah. one there. There you yeah, go. There's yeah, one. There's one. There's one. This one, this one. That, I wouldn't sew over that pin. Actually, I don't love those pins. They are my own, but I don't yes, love those exactly. pins. Yes. Sometimes you make mistakes when you buy things. We all know they that. They look pretty though on yeah, the wrist. Yes. They? Yeah. And so what I'm going to do again? So you, do you see? I've sort of swiveled it. Yeah. And I'm going to stitch that side. But you're only going to go yeah. from yeah. that yeah. point. Yeah. And are you going to leave a quarter of an inch at the other end as well? No. Yes, I am because we've got to do the same. We've got to do the same at the other. And then I'll talk about the other ends. Please check out your baskets. Yes. So these, this is um, very lovely. This is a lovely little technique. And don't forget, this is the same technique 
that I do to make my little pin cushions, the square, square pin cushions. Oh, look. Oh, John, look at them. Just oh, feel wow, it. Oh, wow, that's like a... Oh, what's inside this? Uh, uh, baked lentils or something like that. Oh, okay. Or crushed walnuts from the pet food shop. They're not crushed walnuts. They're not, no. That's a... Is That's pearl a barley? Oreo rice, I think, yes, or pearl barley. Pearl barley. No, pearl barley. But you, you do know, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you, I went to the workshop once, I've told this story many times, did a workshop, I got all the stuff out of the attic on the Friday night for the workshop on Saturday, all eaten by oh. weevils. So you must bake them in a microwave for several minutes yes. before you... But it's a very lovely feel. No, that's a lovely feel, yeah. so the Use same... it as a pattern weight as well. To keep yes, your of course down. you can. Anyway, so you've so, done so that I've one corner. That, so when you turn it inside out, oh my goodness, this gives me great pleasure, you get the gorgeous look. Lovely. Now, obviously, I've used white thread and Eva, I used it there as well. Yeah. Perhaps you should have used red thread. Red thread, yeah. yeah. This is all the final Oh, things. now, the other corner's not got Rick Rick on it. No, the other because I'm saving... Uh, because this is expensive. Yes. I, I, and I thought you wouldn't see that side. No, 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 no. I don't think you should yeah. have Rick Rick on but, it. I, but you could have done. Yes. You no, could have done. Okay. I don't think you should. So, that's, so let me just show you, that's your gorgeous yes. corner look. Yeah. To repeat the same thing. And then I'm going to talk to you. So that's on the top. This is all coming together beautifully. Beautifully. So I'm going to show you the backing. The elephant. No, elephant. Yes, darling, what was, where's the elephant? The elephant in the room. Envelope, envelope background. Envelope backing. Back yeah. An envelope opening. Opening. Yeah. Um, now, I'm I, hungry, uh, we've had this conversation before. With me? I, yes, we have. I, I'm pretty hot and zippy with zips. And I learned to put zips in, like, the cushions from um, Jenny Raymond. It's an amazing book, her first book, and it's got how to do zips. Yes. So I will do those. But we're not doing a zip. But we're not going to do a zip, because that just might throw you all off the... But I, I, some people like me who don't like zips and yes, cushions. Yes, I know. But I do prefer the tight feel you get with a cushion. Yeah, with a zip. With a zip. Yeah. But that's not a problem. So you're going to do two yeah, envelopes... Yeah, because you've put, cause you've put a bigger cushion pad in there. Yes, yeah. You've got that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, what you're going to do, you're, the, the pattern size is in the pattern, the yeah. size you need is in the pattern, but you're going to hem two edges and you're going to f overlap them till they measure the size of the cushion, OK, which is 12 and a half. OK. Now, I love decorating. You know I love decorating things. Yeah. I didn't do it because I obviously would have to put more, more rick rack in the kit and it's not because I don't want to be generous, but I haven't got gallons of it. I sometimes decorate this little... Oh, thing. yes, the edges. Yes, yes, I don't mind. If you haven't got rick rack, you always bind that with yeah. your... With, your, you know, with, another with white or, or any... I just love the idea that little details, little yes, details, exactly. like, like you've got different colours. It's oh, not yes. because they're cheap and nasty, it's just because it's, it's a design, de de design feat, the detail. Oh, Lordy, <laughs> you two singing, stick to the day job. Oh! This is from June. I attended one of Mandy's workshops. She's fabulous. I'm from Eastbourne, just near. Yeah, they're, they're all my local. They're all down your yeah, way, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. June. What's wrong? What's wrong with our singing? Uh, well, anyway, keep going because yeah. we've got to go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay so that now I would do the, exactly the same. So I, actually, also what I do do on here, I don't, I don't risk anything. The times I've made cushion back, cushion covers, and I've got that slightly caught like that. Oh yeah, no, I'm no, going to no, no. quickly um, go down it. Tack two it. seconds and just a, a little tack. So if you were tacking on your machine professionally, you know, for a lot, I would um, increase my stitch length. Yes, but also um, you, if you make, do that, it makes it into one piece of fabric as yeah, well. Because yeah, it's so often yeah, when you do an envelope yeah. back, one of them slips yeah, or something yeah, like that. Was yeah. if you stitched it together, then it's, you yeah. can use it as one piece of fabric. So then obviously I pin it in the middle, take those yeah. pins out, take the side and then out. you do exactly the same thing again as you did with the previous one, as to the cut the short one, and you just stitch quarter of an inch in yeah so it's exactly the same principle as before and I'll just pin it so you can see so, so, so they're great fun to make and you can make them in miniature but it know. looks it looks complicated but it's not oh it? no it's not it's not complicated it's not it's not it's not well it's actually you've got to think a little bit um but it's not like if you had to insert a continuous strip like you did that would that was that's that a bit was more difficult, difficult. and sure, there were about yeah. 12 cushions yeah yeah, yeah. so I mean just one more pin there so you can see it I won't because we want to recap everything. Yes, of course. Oh, yes, good minutes. Now we'll do that then. Okay, so there you are. So you get that really gorgeous little boxed effect, and it's really lovely. So it's easy. It's easy. I would now I don't easy. think we sell square cushion pads. Is that right, Paul? Well, have a look. I've not. Seen, uh, Oh no, hang on. No, because it's it's a, it's not. Is it just a normal cushion pad, or is it one that's no, got it's, thing it's, no, round? No, it's square. Just is a normal cushion. Square, yeah. Oh, we have got them. I thought it was going to be one with no, sides. No, no. I mean, I'm sure you can buy them from. Yes. shop, but there's no John need, there's no, well, I, that's expensive. Yeah. I would go... Uh, other shops are available. I would go to somewhere else, like an oak tree shop. Okay. 
Uh, but if we've got them, I was thinking about, I thought the cushion no, pads no, had no, the... No, 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 it's ordinary, I hope it's clean. Oh, well, no. in that case, in that yeah. case, it's, yeah, we, yeah, do yeah. we do sell them, we do sell them. Uh, that's, I, I experimented. I, w I wouldn't have made you had to go buy something special. OK, perfect. Yeah. Right, I'm going to recap yes. everything that's left, that's still available, which is very little. Right, the baubles from earlier. Yes. Uh, we'll just show a picture. Oh, We've yes, got lovely. pictures of everything. Uh, uh, shall, can we do show what they are before we show the kit? The picture of the actual things. Oh, oh OK. I've got them here. OK, that's the bauble kit. Three Christmas tree baubles for £15.95. It's the kit. The next one is... Oh, the uh, angel, uh, the robin garland, um, which was uh, uh, in the green felt earlier. Yeah. It's very nice. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-five pence. Mandy's got the actual thing here, so you can see what the actual finished thing is. Twenty-six pounds and ninety-five pence. Real wool felt. That's the difference. The book from yeah. eight o'clock sold out. The wreath book sold yes, out. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. So there's a few of those left, £26.95. This book here, a few of these left. And you do need to check out your basket on all of these, by the way. This is Mandy Shaw's Red and White Christmas. few of these left. Uh, only available here and from Mandy herself, yes, yeah. personally. Yeah. £12.95. And the Hanging Heart has sold out. And... Maybe Sophie. Sophie the Angel. Because I'll tell you what we did... Uh, now, the Sophie the Angel's OK at the moment. We didn't do the wings when we no, did no, the... No, no, we didn't. We can't do it all, John. I know, no, I know, I know. We did have the wings. But what I love about the wings is, look, they've got the little dotty fabric on yeah, there as well. Yeah. She, she's really, she's, she's lovely to make. She's simple to make, lovely to make, and a lovely little doll. I do love her. These, um, there was a flurry of these people. There's still a few left. £24.95. That's Sophie the Angel. The 12 Days of Christmas Starter Pack. Oh. We go. Right, we're just going to check now. We're down to single... We were down to single figures last time, Paul Check. We're just going to check now. Right, check out your baskets. If you check out the baskets, all those have gone. If you check out your baskets, all of those have gone. Yeah, oh, there's more... Right, there are going to be people missing out on this. There are more people got it in their basket, so you do need... This is why I say all the time, and I, I don't do it for my own pleasure. I just don't want you to miss out, because there's nothing... Yesterday, we had so many messages afterwards going, oh, I really wanted those snowmen, I've run, uh, and I missed yeah. it. Oh, I really want that, and I missed it. Cushion, which we've just shown you now, which is very, very, very popular. Don't leave it in your basket. Please check out... What's it called? Family Friends, this one. Yeah, red work, Christmas Friends. Christmas red Work yeah. Cushion, £29.95. Nice. I look lovely. Right, well, how was it after your first full weekend, then? I know, it was good. I had a great time in Birmingham yesterday. Birmingham's a beautiful no, city. No, you had a lovely time here first. Oh, oh of course I had a yes. lovely time here. Then, yeah, yes. what did you do in Birmingham? Yesterday? I went to the music, Art Museum Gallery and saw my, I saw a Lowry in real flesh. Oh, wow. Stunning, really beautiful. And a wonderful Georgian tea rooms there. Yeah, I was going to say, the first thing she mentioned to me this morning was all lovely tea rooms. Lovely oh, yeah, tea lovely rooms. tea rooms. But Birmingham's, a, and the library in Birmingham's amazing. The buildings are lovely. So, I had a lovely, lovely day in Birmingham. OK, so now... You're coming back. We don't know your date yet, do we? We do know, uh, we do know the dates. So it's got to be confirmed. It's next month. Yes. Yes, right. yes. Yes. And we're hoping to do another double. Oh, OK. Yes, if we can do another double, because we've got to get as much Christmas in as we can. Exactly. And then and you'll be doing Christmas presents as well as Christmas yeah, themed so, things. Yes, so, so even Christmas. though we've done lots of Christmas themed things now, there will be lots of Christmas present things. I've got lots of ideas on my sleeve. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. It's been yeah, yeah. a joy as ever. Yes, yes. uh, don't go anywhere. Lucy's up straight after this with a um, Seminole, a really, really beautiful pretty, Seminole yeah. uh, mini quilt made out of fat quarters. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, Mandy. We will see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. So today we're going to be learning the prick stitch. Now, the prick stitch is very similar to a back stitch, and they're basically very tiny stitches which are visible on the front of the fabric, uh, and very long stitches on the back. So first of all, you need to start with the needle at the wrong side of the fabric, coming through to the front. And like I said, it's very similar to the back stitch where you're gonna go backwards rather than forwards. And you wanna make this stitch as tiny as possible. 
So taking a couple of um, th strands from the fabric itself. And then the length of your prick stitch could be entirely up to you. So I'm gonna make it quite a large one so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going through the fabric and then I'm gonna come back again, taking a couple of strands from the fabric to come down. You wanna keep these as even as possible as you're going across the line. So there we have our prick stitch. Join us on Wednesday the 6th of September for a day of stylish bag making with our experts. We're joined by the girl with a sewing machine author, Jennifer Taylor, who will be turning her talents to a useful cutting mat carrier to help you sew on the go. She'll then fashion a chic patchwork city shopper using some gorgeous linen look fabrics. We're also joined by Joe Carter, who will demonstrate how to make a variety of bags and purses suitable for almost any occasion. Amongst her creations will be these stunning frame purses, which come as a handy kit with full instructions so you can make your own at home. So don't miss this bumper bag making special from 8am to 12 noon on Wednesday the 6th of September. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and we'll be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on the sewing bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former sewing bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September. You know when you've got a big burp sitting here? And I was thinking, oh, it'll come out, but they're counting down 10, 9. I was like, it'll come out in a minute. It hasn't come out yet, so I do apologise now. Um, are you going to the sewing bee? No, I'm not. I've not been invited. Little Paul's been invited. You know what he's like. And Natasha's going to be there. Jennifer going to be there. Um, and someone else is going to be there. I can't think who they are. I know Paul, you know, New Paul, who's in tomorrow, I think, isn't he? Um, New Paul's going to be there, but he's not on, I don't think he's on our stand. He's there on, on, of his own right and everything. And there was only, the, anyway, look at this. This, look at the workmanship in here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Seminole patchwork, this is called. It looks so intricate, doesn't it? Now, this is obviously a mini, mini quilt. This is a, uh, I'll show you later what I think this should be used for. Uh, handsome Adam's just gone off to get some props for me for later. Um, anyway, look at that. All comes from this book. Now, you've seen this book before because um, Jane Alcock, she made this, the, the, this mini quilt. And there's another one. That we've made two of them. There. Oh, hang on, not that one. Um, she's made... I'll show you as we go through. It's the most... Oh, sorry, tilt it up, John. It's the most beautiful book. Here we go, mini quilts and the patterns and everything like that. Uh, that one, she's made that one. I think she's made two out of here. We haven't done the dog one yet, which I think is gorgeous. Um, and I'll find it anyway as we're going through later on. Really, really beautiful mini, mini quilts. So these are really for decorations or placemats or wall hangings or what's mine called that I've made? Mug, rug, rug, a mug rug. Um, look, aren't they lovely? Really lovely idea. Look at that one. Folk art in felt, that one. Um, now, oh, we've done that one. You've done that one with the Suffolk puffs on. I think she did it wrong when she when uh, she did it last, didn't she? Oh, she's shaking her head at me now. Um, aren't they lovely? Gorgeous ideas. Very unusual ideas in here as well. So this nineteen. Pa oh, now we've done that one as well. I've done that one. I think I did it with Jane. I did that one with Jane. And then there's another one that I did with Jane, which I'll show you in a second. So we've used it quite a lot. Very, very popular book. People love this book. 
I can't find the one, the one that she did, the one with stripes on. Anyway, it's just beautiful. £19.95. That's what um, uh, Lucy's used to make her Seminole quilt from this morning. £19.95. Now, what we've done is we've done three bundles for you um, to show you, or not show you, that you can use to make these, these mini quilts. I'll start with the one that Lucy's actually used. You haven't mixed them, have you, Lucy? Oh, no, no, no. This is nice, isn't it? Look. I'll have to open these fat quarters. For laurel and stripes bundles. Oh, well, actually, which one are you using to demonstrate? The spots? Oh, OK, right. So I'll open this one. This is the one that um, Lucy's used. Handsome Adam's going to have to learn how to retie a fat quarter now. So you get a fat quarter of each of these. They're, they feel like a linen-y effect, these. They're gorgeous fabrics. Look. Really, really beautiful fabric. So you get the fat quarter with one, two, three, four, five, six fabrics in, six fat quarters. You get uh, half a metre of the pink and you get the thread, £19.95. And pence. You see, that the, the still doesn't show you, does it, the, the gorgeousness of the fat quarter. Let me now show you the uh, one that Lucy... I won't open this one because Lucy's going to use this one now to make with. So you get the fat quarter with the, with the polka dots, the thread and the half a metre of the dark blue fabric, £19.95. pence. called it hearts. Are there hearts on yours, Lucy? Oh, yeah, 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 it's hearts there, look. Ah, hearts, dots and spot bundle, £19.95. pence. And then the last one over here is this one. Now, this one looks gorgeous. You've got the, the pale aqua, the pale turquoise half a metre of fabric there. And then look at these. These are stunning. I've not seen these before. Are these brand new. Look at those. They're lovely. Oh, I'll open that one in a minute. So you get the dots and the florals in this. Look, isn't this lovely? I'll just give it a quick um, waft. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful print, that one. £19 and 95 pence. Pretty flora and aqua bundle. £19.95. Right, OK, I'm going to go over to Lucy now. Handsome Adam, that needs to be tidied. Thank you. Brand new, that fat quarter. Right, this looks very... What's the matter? <laughs> he does funny with the nicknames. That's what his, his name is, Handsome Adam. Oh, right, OK. It's not a nickname. No. You're, you're Lucy, Brendan. He's Handsome Adam. <laughs> I don't get a nickname. Just you do, but Brendan. not for on air. You're <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Uh, this looks very, very complicated. Very, very easy. Oh, is it? Yes. All right, then. Well, let's yeah. make it then, shall it's we? It's clever. The construction is clever. Right. Um, and this is a seminal um, pattern. Yeah, I'm listening. So. Oh, I'm ducking from the props. They were at the bit. And right. um, so there are a, a lot of different varieties of um, patterns, and it's all from strip piecing, so sewing um, strips together. Oh, okay. So that's the foundation that you use to to construct the different patterns. Even that one. Yes. So, because I can see strips on this one. Okay. Yes. That's, so now on this one, obviously, we made we had a zigzag fabric and a striped fabric and another striped fabric, and yours, you've just you've got spots and hearts on yours. Yes, I'm you? just gone with the spots and the hearts. There's okay. some. Oh, I think are these dots and those spots? Oh yeah, dots yeah. and spots and so hearts. So those are the dots. And then there's the smaller spots, spots as well. But I didn't want people's well. eyes going okay. funny on the television. I think it, well, this one works well because you've got the... Because what is Seminole? Yes, the stripes are lovely. So um, Seminole is a um, tribe of Native Americans um, based in Florida. Yeah. Um, I believe there's some... Uh, Oklahoma, I think, maybe there's some as well. Um, and um, there's a beautiful history to um, their patchwork and, and uh, the construction. And mostly um, it was used in clothing. So they would take strips of fabric and create these beautiful um, patterns. Um, the ladies and girls had very long skirts um, with all the, you know, all striped, and they'd do it in shirts and jackets. And oh, things as now well. capes, beautiful yes, capes. Yes, 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 yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so really lovely. Okay, so where do we start? So we start by sewing strips together. Are you making the same as we've got here? I mean, this yes. is a this is a mini quilt yep. by any. Stretch them. It is a mini quilt, it is, isn't it's it? It's a mini mini. Um, but you could make it bigger, couldn't you? You could make it bigger if you cutting from the fat quarters. You just need to cut more strips and just 
OK, you know, keep so you, can, them you don't together. have this doesn't have to be fat quarters. You could do if you've got lengths of fabric at home. Yes, you could get the book for the pattern and the instructions, but then use fab or buy fabrics from us. So you yes. could you could cut the strips longer, longer and you could make them wider as well. And okay. that would give you, you know, it would be bigger. It would be a different look, then. wouldn't it? Yeah, um, but we're going. We're going with this mini mini. OK, what I was saying earlier was the fact that you've got the alternate stripes in this one creates a completely different look. So we'll see what that one looks like. It with the does, spots and yeah. Nuts. You don't know until you start cutting Ma'am? up. I've Ma'am? no idea what this is going to look OK. <laughs> like, well, a vague idea. Oh, good. Right, um, let's, let's put this But, on. yeah, I do like it with the stripes. And the stripes and the florals together are really nice as well. Yes. Um, Angela's just messaging, good morning, lovely to have the John and Lucy show to enjoy <laughs> my coffee with. Well, do you know what, Angela, Hi, Angela? Why don't you make one of these while you're watching? Because... Excuse me. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it when these senders, when they go, or oh, I've made your coffee like this, and they go <laughs> like that, and you think, that's <laughs> boiling hot coffee. <laughs> so, where's that mug come from? Who's is that? Where did you find that answer mug? Did you bring your own? That's in my drawer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're opening them. Is it that time? It is, isn't it? 11 is. Well, no, no, because Angie's having her 11 is. There you go. <laughs> There we go. I've done my display Lovely. now. Look, nice Isn't hot cup pretty? of coffee, cup of tea with Angela. There's no, there's no, there's a stunt mug. It's got no hot drink in it. But pretend it. I'm going to do this. <laughs> Hang on, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> before, because it's awful, isn't it, when you dunk a biscuit? It goes everywhere. <laughs> oh, socky. Oh, we're not allowed biscuits in oh, the studio. Oh, dear me. What are you like? Off you go, then. OK, so I've sewn the strips together. The measurements for all of the strips are in the book. And obviously, I'm just using quite narrow um, Are they strips. all the same size? No, the um, edge ones are bigger. So they're one and a quarter. Uh, sorry, one and a half, and the three in the middle are one and a quarter. You're so distracting. I'm sorry, I'll put one. <laughs> um, but you really, you, you know, this is... I'm following the pattern, but you, you could make them... Uh, different sizes, but that's going to give you... You want the ones um, top and bottom to be wider because you're going to lose some of that when you cut it and it's going to go into your seam allowance. You don't want these strips going into your seam allowance because that's what's creating the patchwork right. squares. OK. So you'll lose those if... So this, this is going to be fascinating to see how it... How, sorry, they didn't see that. <laughs> right. OK. So I'm just going to um, straighten off... The edge there. I'm going to use wrong, the little one because it's sharp. It's all oatmeal biscuits all in my teeth yeah. now. <laughs> oh, that's attractive. Thank you, John. So I spin that round and then I'm going to cut these at one and a quarter. OK, so because I'm doing it... Um, well, I mean, obviously, you always want to be accurate, but with these very um, small pieces, you've got to... Now, you're using the 28mm nice um, uh, rotor cutter from earlier. It was very, very popular earlier. I am, because it's nice and sharp. Oh, OK. Adam, <laughs> that means the 45 <laughs> one needs a new blade. Could you make it a note and leave it does. for tomorrow's floor? Oh, no, Adam's new. I'm not blaming Adam at all. It no, should, be, no, no. should have been sorted by Jay yesterday, not... So you're just cutting strips? Yes. All the same size? Yes. So all um, one and a quarter. And then we can start piecing them together. I'll just keep going. It's very... Yeah, 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 you keep going. It's yeah. therapeutic watching. It is. It's therapeutic doing it. Okay, okay. So I'm when you're... To pull those fat quarters back together. When you've got something, um, you know, because we're cutting small pieces and you've got, you know, small little print there, yeah. you can fuss... You know, I didn't really, but you can fussy cut to get those hearts in the centre. Oh, of yes. Or the... Um, Dots, if yes, because the one to. you're about to cut is, is only going to have one tiny little heart in the middle of it. No, no, don't change it, don't change it. No, well, I mean, they're, go, they're, they're all going to be different. But you see, they? look, so if, if you fussy cut it, you try and fussy cut it when you with one of those big hearts in the section there, because all we've got to do. But I don't think it's going to matter. I oh, think really? It's gonna... No, I mean, in the whole scheme yeah, of things, scheme I don't things. think it's going to matter. And um, the Seminoles use beautiful, um, you know, vibrant colours in yeah. their things, but it's nice to have the different, you know, create a kind of pattern yes. with, with uh, your layout there as well. So then um, what we're going to do now is piece Are we doing this together. bit here, sorry? Yes. Are we, do, are we doing yes. this, this bit here, like the checkerboard 
section. That's the section we're doing at the moment. Yeah. I was so. going on doing it. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we're going to stagger it. Oh, is so that Bargello? Yes, yeah, just exactly like that. So we're just staggering um, the pieces oh. there. Okay, so when I've when I sewed the strips together, I pressed all the seams open. I should have said that. Oh, yeah, I should have said cut that. Cut it off. Um, so that it's going to uh, lay nice and flat. Yeah. And obviously, because we've got to put these at different. Um, yes. Lost for words now. I'm thinking about biscuits. Oh, so you can have drop one. Drop so, one to do the no, same while you're biscuits. <laughs> so you just need to be really careful matching up these seams. Obviously, I'm doing these are tiny, tiny. Uh, little pieces, so it's very important that we're going to pin. So you don't you don't do it like when you do a bargello, you t you sew it into a hoop, don't you, and then unpick at different places. You yes. Don't, you could do it like that, I suppose, could you? Yes, you. Well, what I mean you, is, is not... that would be stitched to that. Yes, and yeah. I know, I know. Yes, you know how to make a bargello. Sorry, yeah. grandmother. Well, you can do like a um, it's like a trip around the world um quilt as yes, well as yeah, a similar. Yeah. Um, sort of a thing. So I'm just going to put a pin in the end as well because I'm not going to be able to um, see that. Somebody asked sewing. earlier, where does the saying teaching my grandmother to suck eggs come from? Well... Because we all say it. Oh, do you know it? Yes. No. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to impress me then. Again. Well, actually, John, the history is... No, I don't well, know. I wouldn't try sucking an egg, would you? Break. So... <laughs> no, somebody can look it up, can't they? Um, so I'm going to just sew this together with a quarter of an inch seam and just being mindful underneath that I'm not catching these um, pieces here. So just moving those out of the way as I go, make sure they're nice and flat. So there's not really quick way of doing this no. it's just one at a time staggering um right each of the pieces so you're not matching up the ends but you're staggering them okay i okay, still so don't that, understand okay if i hold it this way then can you understand no i don't understand how we get this because on this you've got a, a line of diamonds or a line of squares of one fabric. All right, I'll keep going. You keep going, you keep going. You will you be needing the iron out? Oh, I knew Mandy would yes, do, leave do. something. Oh, no. Do you want the iron on? Yes, it's please. It's on. Do you need it soon? No, because you're still sewing those. I know, I'm still sewing all of these. So I'm just keep matching up the seams, Where's pinning. Where's Handsome Adam gone? And chase after Mandy. Go on, chase after her. I don't know, I'm just going to put it on the table here. I'm not leaving okay. the studio. She'll You're need... trying to get rid of me now, so... I... <laughs> no, I'm not. Last time you did that, I had an utter panic. Well, the last time, I think you were laughing so I think, much. I you? believe you were laughing. Oh, Gerardine, hello, dynamic duo. Watching you live at 5.08 in Mexico. Oh, Gerard. I'm on holiday, but can't lovely. miss you. Love Mandy as well. Lots of... Lots of levels. What does that mean? Lots of levels be Geraldine. Oh, Rachel, oh. you deserve a nice cup of tea and biscuits whilst doing your job <laughs> as I get the other staff. Oh, yeah, the other staff get theirs while I'm working hard. Yes, they do, Rachel. Thank you. Little Paul's on. What number are you on, Paul? Oh, Ten? He's on about five. Yeah. yeah. Seven. He's on cup of tea. Seven. seven. And you wonder why he can't get through a show without visiting the little boys' room. Well, he has to go to the little, room. He has to go to the little girls' room, actually. No, not because he's a little girl. No, no, because he's the slowest down the stairs, you see. And first one in gets... Because we've only got one of each, you see. Yeah. And could just remember going. to put the... Um, Toilet seat back. They there. could do that, couldn't they? They could do what? Put the seat down. Paul can't reach the seat. Someone has to do it for him. <laughs> so I have to keep going, because it's, otherwise it's not going to... It's not going to work. Be you have to keep going. No, so Try I have to just keep you. going. Could no, you get you Adam can't. to come in, please? I could chain piece sections, I might. Change. No, no, don't worry. No, I'm, I might watching. end up getting confused, actually, if I do that. you got that. any messages getting through for Lucy? Any questions? Has Mandy gone? Her glue gun's there. It was under the table here. That belongs to her, not us. Oh, now, somebody sent in a picture of a seminole that they've done. Oh, lovely. He's got to just put it up and present it.
Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, look. Now, that looks massive. Oh, yes. From Lynn. Beautiful. Beautiful. She's loving the show today. Oh, sad, because she's back to... How old are you, Lynn? Back to school tomorrow. She must be a teacher, mustn't oh. she? Aww. Uh, sh surely you've worked all summer holidays. That's what they tell... When I trained to be a teacher, they said... Anyway, that's lovely. What did she say? She's back to school tomorrow and she's sad. How big... I wonder how big that is, then. That's beautiful. They look, like, bigger than yours, don't yes. they? Yes. Yeah. I was done in monotone. Uh, somebody messaged in saying monotone was right. I don't... Anyway. Anyway, it's fine. Well... Um, oh, I thought you said there was another message then. Anyway, thank you, Lynn, for that. So I trained to be a school teacher. I'd be going back to work. I'd have had six weeks off as well. Mind you, I don't think teachers do get six weeks off. You've got lesson plans. No, You've yeah, got... they have to do well, lesson plans. The two plans. things you do, you do a lesson plan and you do the thing that all the lesson plans fit into. What's that called? I can't remember. That takes Curriculum, ages. All the curriculum. No, no, as, in, as a teacher, you know you've got to teach certain things, but what you do is you work out what you're going to teach each week and then each week you have to do a lesson plan around that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if it was in sewing, you'd do maybe cutting out in week one, sewing together in week two and things like that. And then in week one, you'd go, right, cutting out, we'll do how to use a pair of scissors. So that's your lesson plan and your objectives and things like that. Uh -huh. It's a long time ago, so that's strange to be a teacher. How are you doing? There's a lot of paperwork now, isn't there? Yeah. For teachers, I'm doing all right. You're doing all right? Yes. I'm all right. I'll do at least one more. You've only got and then one I'll, more I'll left. Move on. Oh, no. No, I'll move on to the next bit and then I can carry, you know, I can yeah. carry on and see how far I can get. Well, yeah, because there's this, this bit here's throwing me, the chevron -y bit in there, but... Yeah, I'll do that next. OK. It's quite fiddly, isn't it, being this little, so... Yes, it is, and you want to take your time and you want to not do what I just did. As you're um, attaching, because you've cut it, you've cut through your seams, yeah. you want to be careful not to pull these pieces, oh, no matter what size they are, because they will open. Yeah. And you've just so done you that. So you do, then. just a tiny bit. Yeah. So you just, you do need to be very careful as you're pinning not to um, pull your seams open. And I did, once I'd done the whole thing, I'll say it now, because I'll probably forget. Once I'd done the whole thing and piece it together, I stay stitched. So round I did like edge. a basing stitch all the way around the edge so that those seams wouldn't wouldn't open up. You do need to be careful of that. I think I think I'd get a bit frustrated with it being that big. Because <laughs> oh shut up upstairs. Because it's too fiddly for me. That's too fiddly for me. You mean being small? Yeah. Yeah. I just think that it's different, you know, you have different moods of, diff you know, some no, people I'd love be... doing tiny pieces yeah, and some no, people no, I do not like it at no. all. There we go. So oh, I that, see now, I see now, I see now, I've got it now. No, no, you haven't seen it yet because we've got to press it. So I think actually I would probably press You could do with open. the mini iron today, really, couldn't you, yes. if you'd done your tools list? Yeah, I did do my tools list. Yeah, I see. So I'm going to press that open just to help right. um, reduce the bulk. Missed one. Uh, Amanda, you know, have you met Amanda Wyatt? Tall Amanda Wyatt. She's got the shop in Tamworth yet. One no. of our experts. She's um, not very well. She's put on her Facebook oh. that she's got... Lots of people, I noticed, in the last couple of days have got some kind of flu bug that's going on. I wonder if it's the change of the weather. Well, I don't know. I had that horrible cold that's yeah, hung around for a long time. Yeah, maybe you brought it into the building. <laughs> I can feel myself. Oh, no, I'm not in the next few days, no. so I can't feel it coming on. No. <laughs> I'm working. It's not days off. I'm working in oh, York. Right. Yeah. Paul's got a wedding to go to. Lovely. Another of his friends getting married. Uh, it's on a Friday, so it's cheap. It's a cheap wedding, isn't it? <laughs> well, you say people get married on the Friday and the Monday because it's not as expensive as the Saturday and Sunday. Isn't that... Is... Probably true. I don't know. Don't get invited to weddings anymore. I just got married in the registry office. Did you? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Did you have a big party afterwards? We did have a big party, yeah. yeah. See, I don't understand that. I, uh, oh, I, I don't know if I should say the names because they've split up now. But my friends, Ken and Barbie, when they got married, they spent... Wow. They said, we're yeah, going to keep it low-key, we're going to do it in Village Hall, we're going to do this, we helped style it. We had a brilliant time doing it and everything. But they could have bought a new bathroom and a new roof, right? Yes. But they didn't. They saved all this money. And yeah. I know it's a special day it and everything is, like it that. Is a but to day. me, 
you're going to keep your kitchen in your roof for a lot longer than you are your memories for a day, aren't you? Anyway, let's get back to this. That's there just me go. being bitter and twisted. So once you piece it, you want to give it a press. Um, press, don't iron, because you don't want to shift the pieces. Yes. So you can see now how it's beginning to yes. form. And then what you're going to do is trim it Trim back. it down, yes. So when you come to trim, I'm not going to do it yet. Oh, OK. I might do a little bit more. Yeah. But when you come to trim, you want to trim um, with at least a quarter inch either side from the From the points. Of, yeah, from yeah. the points of the diamonds or squares. Um, and so you're just trimming off this section here. And, and they're on the bias as well, aren't they? So Yes, I would do it ever so fractionally more. Than a quarter inch. Because I don't think it matters if you um, have a bit extra fabric. No. But if you lose the point, you've lost the pattern. Lost the pattern, yeah, exactly. So I would, I would err on the side of caution, just give yourself a little bit more room. Err on the side of caution, not err. Uh, err on the side Thank of caution. And um, just trim. OK, trim so that. that's so that, that section. That's that section there. And that's that section. And you make two of those, because that's yes. um, top and bottom. So then we can move on to the main section, the, the middle chevroni bit. Yeah. So what I've I've got three um, of the fabric strips. So I've got to sew these together. There's four in this one. Oh no, because they're just a border. Yeah, so there's four, just three in the pattern. So yeah. it is a bit um, deceptive. I think using the stripes as well worked well because it, it. Yes, it sort exactly. Of looks like patchwork. Um, does it tell you how to do are the instructions in the book? Are they all are they thorough? Are they? They're... Yes, they are. They're yeah. very thorough. So you've got um, all. Oh how, yes, how, yes, yes. How I can see it. Oh yes, that's piece. very, very thorough. Yes. Because yes. then, then they go on to the bit that we're doing now. The um, sh excuse me, chevron bit. Yeah. That's the. That's <laughs> me. Out. That's my oaty biscuit coming back to haunt me. No, the big burp's still hovering. So it's up to you where you, um, you know, place the different fabrics. The sizes of the strips, again, are um, in the pattern. Yes. These are two inch and one and a quarter inch. Uh, the pattern comes from this book, the Mini Quilts book by... Now, I don't know if they're... Si are they sisters or just happens they've got the same surname? Jodie Davis and Jane Davis. I think they're sisters or twins, I'm, th I'm guessing. £19.95. It's got so much going on in there. It's fantastic. Oh, there's the one that we made with... Um, the first one we made with Jane. We didn't make ours into a bag, though. There. Do you remember that one when we made that quilt with Jane? It's lovely, isn't it? So many gorgeous ideas in here. Really, really lovely. We've done a few of these um, before for you. Oh, there it is, actually. It's there. And the book covers a lot of different techniques yes, as well. Yes, yes. So, which is nice. There it is. That's the one. That's the one that Jane made. That was her first project. Um, again, just read through before you... Oh, look, I, I've forgotten about this one. I love this one. Like this safari one. And it's got so much in it. Like, like uh, Lucy just said, it's got... So, oh, like, let me show you the back, right? So many different techniques. See, we did that one lo with Lucy. And that was like Suffolk Puffs. That was... Um, Foundation piecing. Foundation piecing and applique and things like that. That one? I'll just show you that one. We haven't done that one. That one's all Suffolk Puffs. We love that one. We love these two. Then that one there, I've done that one with Jane. You see the one with Scallops? We've done that one with Jane as well. It's just fantastic. Really lovely book. So, again, I'm pressing the seams open. Both of them? <clears throat> yes, both of them, because that helps when you're coming to piece your sections together. OK. I'm doing this not very right, well. Right, I'm going to leave you ironing. OK. Because I just want to go through the fabrics again. But don't yes. do anything else, will you? OK, no You won't do anything else, will you? No, promise. Uh, let's just go through the three bundles I've got for you. Right, the one that Lucy's using is this one here. Yeah, 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 Adam's uh, uh, tied them all up again so we can open them. Hearts, dots and spots. Hearts, dots and spots in this one. So you get the fat quarter, you get the reel of thread and, Adam... You get half a metre of the blue fabric there. This is the one that um, Lucy's using. So you get the red polka dot. Now, this one might strobe a little bit on your telly because it's a spot with, like, little honeycomb detailing behind. You get the heart fabric. You get the polka dot in the blue. And then the little spot in the red. And then the hearts in the navy blue. 
Have you used the Hearts in the Navy Blue on that one? Oh, yeah. Premier Fat Quarter, 100% cotton, uh, and the, th the thread, and the half a metre of the, the Navy Blue. It's not Navy Blue, it's like a midnight blue. At £19.95. Next one is the one that Lucy's already made, which is this one. So you get half a metre, turn it round, half a metre of the uh, pale pink fabric, uh, the reel of thread, and then these gorgeous fabrics. Brand new fat quarters these are for you today. They've got, the, the fabrics, these have got like a, like a texture to them, haven't they, these, this, um, this um, fabric, this uh, cotton, muttering. Lovely, aren't they? Really, really beautiful patterns there. Oh, hang on, I'll have to, oh, are we not going upstairs? Let me show you this then, like this. There we go. There's the patterns there. At £19.95. Most popular out of the three so far is that one. And then moving on. Moving on up. The, I love this one. I love this one. So you get the pale turquoise or the pale aqua. Yeah, the thread. And then you get these lovely, lovely premier, premier, premier fat quarters today. Lovely fabrics, beautiful fabrics, aren't they? Nice. Ready? One, two, three. At £19.95. So, um, fat quarter, reel of thread, and half a metre of the. Oh, now. I'm sorry. Adam will have to sort that out afterwards. I'm sorry, Adam. Right, moving on. No, no, I think they were mixed up from the time before. I think I put them in the wrong place before, so it's better that he starts again with them now. Can you ask him to pop back and do this? Right, oh, now, hang on, so your middle strip... Yeah. Your middle strip is narrower than your other two strips. Yes. And we're, but we're doing this one here, aren't we? Yes. OK. I'll let you... Um, are you sure you've done it right? You're looking a bit confused. <laughs> so I've just sewn the three strips together and I've pressed the seams open. open so that that'll lay nice and flat. OK. Um, you, you just carry on with that, then. OK. And then what I'm going to do is fold it in half. So I've got the strip like that, so it's going to be... A right side up and a right side down, just folding it in half. And I'm not worried about the edges being straight because they're going to get chopped off okay. anyway. So I'm just going to line that up. You can give it a press if you want to. Me? I'm not going to bother. Okay. No, just generally. So you're saying that to me then? People, if they would like. People. OK, now. 40, you need a ruler with a 45... Is so it 45 degrees? You need a ruler with a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to get it so I've got as little waste as possible. Yeah. Let's check where it is under there. There we go. So just lining that up with the bottom. Ruler coming in there. And then I'm cutting through both at once. So I've right. got the underneath one and this one. Oh, okay. And I'm cutting them at the same time. Is that necessary to do them both yes, at the same time? Yes. You have right. to. Yes. So you could, if you wanted to, do two lots of strips. Have one face down, one face oh, up. Oh, right, okay, but you have to and still do, do it the that both way at the same if you time. Want. You don't have to fold it in half, but yeah. um, if you were making a lot, you might want to do, do, it, that, do it that way, make right. two sets. And then again, one and a quarter, so tiny measurements. And I'm just lining that up with that edge yeah. there. And how wide is that that you've just cut there? Sorry. One and a quarter. One and a quarter, so you did say. Oh, OK, so we've got one big piece, the corner bit, and then we've got a strip of one and a quarter and another strip of one and a quarter. Yes, so we just keep cutting. That's... We don't need oh, that's not part of the pattern? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so you do want to be careful because your fabric can shift as, yes. you, as you're going along, so... Have you got any tips for stopping your fabric from shifting? Not really. You just, just have to just re readjust it and just yeah. and just watch it. Be mindful of it. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out again. Well, no, I'm going to lose some in there, so I'll stop there. Oh, I've got it there. Got oh, that looks like an arrowhead, doesn't it, that one? Yes. 
Oh, nice. Okay, so we've made like a mirror now, yours image is, um, by folding that fabric. We've made a mirror image there. But yeah, but yours is different. Oh, no, yes, you've done yours differently to that one. Because look, I you've got blue, some, pink, yes, blue, pink, blue, turn, pink. I think in the pattern it does, you turn them um, around. So, you, so what, would it go like, could it go like that? Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I like it your way better. Yeah, I do. All right. You can do it either, you know. If I'm no, no, I like pattern, it. I, I like it like that, around, yeah. But I think with the hearts and the spots, it works well. I also like the way. fact the hearts are all going in different directions. Are they going in different directions on the actual fabric? Oh, yeah, yes, they are. Yeah, they yeah, they are. are. Yeah, yeah. So now we're going to sew those together. Those rows. This, sew yeah. this into a row. Yes. Um, and there isn't really any uh, special trick for well, this. Well, you have to match your chevrons. So. You're just matching, um, matching up the seams so starting from the corner point and then you can just put a pin in yeah there but treat it you know treat it just the same get it matching there and you can fold it back and make sure it's matching yeah um, at the quarter inch oh yeah because you want it matching at the quarter inch not at the end don't yes you? yeah so i'm just doing a lot of pin pinning that. Today. i know it's not like me at all no. but you need you do need to pin to keep this in line and they're stretchy is the other yes thing. of course they are yes so you do need to be very careful and that's too big of a pin yes i don't understand why they mix the pins no, it's I jay i did spend a bit of time putting them all in different pin cushions uh, did you but then how long ago you was know, that it just doesn't stay that way does it no. life's not like that it's so. not no if only it were. Be boring. It would. Uh, right, while we look at you sewing that, I need to okay. tell you to check out your baskets because we don't want anyone to miss out. And also, um, 1 PMP. So if you've already checked out today, don't worry, you'll only be charged 1 PMP. Ooh, oh, caught the pin. Oh! Lucy Brennan. These big pins. Yeah, Paul says if you break it, you buy it. The pin, that is. I'll, I'll buy the pin. Look at that. I'll just go over that. All I'm doing, well, what I'm doing with the scissors is just getting that thread out of the way because it yeah. uh, comes under. Why are you going back? Because it wobbled. Oh, okay. So, you thought they were tiny before. Yes. <laughs> oh, now, my word. Now, they're super-duper tiny. They look amazing, though, don't they? It does they? look amazing. It's an incredible effect. Really, really pretty. Are there lots and lots? Are these just th two of the Seminole patterns? Are there more? Yes, there's, there's lots, lots of... Lots more. There was another one... Um, that we saw in that Lynn. quilt. Oh, yeah, Lynn. Oh, yes, Lynn there was, made. wasn't there? There was the kind yeah. of... There was this, but then there was another one, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's lots of different ones. And it's really, um, you know, very uh, inspiring to see all the, all, the, all the different patterns that they've done. And, um, and it continued to evolve as well, yes. you know, um, make more and more. But I did watch um, a really good documentary on YouTube, if I can say. Yes, you can um, say. Called uh, Vis uh, Vanishing Florida... Seminole patchwork. Oh wow! And it was really, really interesting. Only, only that. I know this. This is a Native American, American um, patterns, everything. But when I yes. did the costumes for Seven Brides, Seven Brothers, and the costumes for Oklahoma, they all had these patterns in them. And I thought it was just the designer just creating different looks, but they'd obviously used inspiration from the kind of. Um, America, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, and it? interestingly, the, um, the original inspiration, you know, part of the inspiration came from Europeans. Oh, did it? Yeah, it did. And so they would see um, the European dress and everything and they would sort of mimic some of the yes, patterns yeah. that they saw in It was their, very Victorian, all these clothing. chevrons and things like that. Yes, so, yeah. absolutely. But I think the, the way that they created it and the methods they come up with... But also, a lot of it off. would have been because they only had little bits of... They didn't buy bolts of fabric, did they? Just had scraps of fabric. No, so, so it was a lot of it was what was left over on, from yes. bolts yeah. um, or 
uh, collected from other things and um, then they would use it, like I said, in bags and different things, dolls, they would mm. make dolls with these but beautiful also if, dresses. if ladies wore long skirts, you're going to have the full length of the skirt to then chop up again, you know, can upcy yeah. they did upcycling really yes. before it became trendy really. Yeah, absolutely. Watch the pins. I am. Oh, the aqua's the, mo the most popular, the floral that we're not even using. The two, out of all the three that we're not using, it's more of the most popular. Yeah, well, this, I think this one's not, you know, quite um, childlike. Yeah, I was going to say this one is very childlike, isn't it? I think the flowers from the, the pink and lilac one are very grown up. And then this one, I just love yes. this one. Well, that one, I think that, that floral's a bit more country cottage, isn't it? But I love this one with the yes. stripes. Well, this one works so well because so you've nice. got the floral and the stripes. But then that one would be floral in spots, that one over there, wouldn't it? So. And I didn't use... There's a very small floral in this one as well. Which yeah, are, which ditzy is floral. Yeah. So which graphics are you putting in, Paul? Sorry. Oh, this one. This one, this one, this one. So the graphics for this one... Nine, they're all 1995. If you want, if you get, oh no, now, I was going to say go to the website underneath us, but it won't help you because you'll just see the top one of the, of the fat quarter. Oh, I've lost you, Paul. Yep. Oh, this is, take, oh, this is overtaken now, it's the most popular. You do need to check out your baskets, though. Don't forget the book that it came from, it's a lovely, lovely book. 1995. It is not long till Christmas. It's, oh no. Well, look, September, October, November. So that's three months. That's 90 days. Plus, 20, it's only about 115 days. 120 days till Christmas. Oh, I've got it on my phone, but I don't. Obviously, I'm, on this program, I don't have my phone with me. Very quiet. Just repeat it. I know I'm concentrating because I want to. Oh, I thought you. I thought match when you, you stuck off. your tongue out when you were concentrating. 112 days till Christmas. No. When do your kiddies do their letters to Santa? Um, uh -huh. I don't know when they oh. think. I did ask them. I remember I asked them what they, what they wanted, and my son thought, you know, really long and hard what he what he wanted for Christmas. This is a couple of years ago. Yeah. And he said, um, he said, you know, I've been having a think about what I'd like for Christmas, mummy. And you're like, I, oh no. I know. And he went, I don't really need anything. <gasps> Oh, how long did you cry no, for after that? Uh, quite a long time. But what a lovely boy. Oh, damn, we were given the free... It's not like that anymore. He's nine no. now. He'll yeah. have a list as long We were as given Freeman's catalogue and told to choose. <laughs> and I used to love the Lulu pages, you know. Lulu was the star in Freeman's catalogue in those days. It's always... It's books with my kids. They love reading. They love, love books. That's it's absolutely funny, their favourite thing. And after my... The, um, my middle child, uh, eldest daughter, is just the same as me. I used to go to bed, you know, with a torch and hide under the covers and stay up really late reading. Reading your books? Yeah. Why can't you just put the light on? Loved it. Because I had to pretend to be asleep and I'd hear my mum was coming and I'd turn the, turn the torch off and pretend to be asleep. But if you know your daughter's doing it, just say, put the light on, love. No, well, she sleeps... She's in the same room. So oh, OK, so. OK. She would have to hide. Yeah. But I did. I went in once and she'd gone to. She, she was fast asleep, hugging her lamp like a bedside oh. lamp. My mum used to be like that. I used to come in on a late night and she'd have fallen asleep and she'd be like this in the bed. She'd still be sitting up, her glasses would be like this, and she'd be holding on to something like this, waiting for me to come in. <laughs> she wouldn't. <laughs> My mum used to come in the night and check I was breathing. <gasps> oh, no. She did it when I was a teenager. That's a bit off-putting. Yeah, doesn't do it when she comes to stay, does she or anything like that? Now you're married. <laughs> Just check in. She only lives up the road, my mum. Bless her. So she doesn't get invited to stay, then? So she doesn't. Do stay. they all come to yours for Christmas? How does Christmas work? I've, I've avoided it thus far. I've done quite well. Avoided Christmas? <laughs> avoided having the whole family round? Avoiding having everybody round. <laughs> There we go. That's fabulous. So that's this section here. So you do the same again. You then trim so it that's off. That section, oh, and yeah. then you've so put you've... on this one here. You've put the other stripe fabric as the border going across. Oh, it's not even a border, is it? Because it's just at each end. No. So yeah, you can just put borders in. Well, I do one. There's a fabric you haven't maybe. used yet, isn't it? Oh, there you well, go. I was avoiding oh, yes. using the little ones because it'll make your tally go funny, won't it? You can't really. I'll trim them off. Okay. So now. So I'll trim. I need to press yeah. You need to start press it and trim it I'll down. Trim it. Shall I go through the fabrics for the last time, just quickly over there? 
I'll end up over there with Lucy when we finish her. The one that Lucy made earlier. Right, so this is the most popular one so far. So again, you get half a metre of the pink fabric, you get the thread, and then you get this brand new fat quarter. Lovely, since you've got the stripes. And the, the, the ditzy uh, print there. £19.95. and pence. That's in first place. Second place... Oh. Just checking. Oh, now this has now gone into the lead again. This has now gone into the lead. That's how... You do need to check out your baskets. You do need to check out your baskets. I love this one. So you get the three florals and the three um, sort of spots... And the aqua fabric as well. I think they tone beautifully. And you get the aqua thread, £19.95. So you get the whole of that fat quarter, plus you get the uh, half a metre of the fabric, plus the thread for £19.95. And last but not least, the one that Lucy's using at the moment in this moment in time. One moment in time. Uh, you get the spots, you get the hearts, and you get the dots. Hot stops and spots, and the half metre of the dark blue. And you, thread. you do need to check out that. If you've got this in your basket, you do need to check out. £19.95. and pence. The book. Oh, hang on. You finished the iron or not? No. For now. Yeah. For now. I'll put it down there then. Okay. It's getting a bit warm up on the top table. Uh, the book is beautiful. I'll go through the book again in a second. Okay, so, oh, hang on. So, what are you doing? I'm just going to trim this. Yes, so, I'll yes. press those seams open again, like I did before. So, to trim... Is there any wadding in this? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do wadding yeah. in a minute. Oh, it's over there. I've got to go back over there in a minute. So, I'm just going to trim off those triangle bits. And the same on the bottom. And oh, so, I'm going back over there, then. Yeah. Okay. This is where you might want to stay stitch. Yes. You know, so you might want to just... Just, just to stop just the ends unraveling. Just do a little stitch yeah, exactly. around there. And then for... How clever is it, though? Just think from strips of fabric, you've got two so completely different looks, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, really clever. And then the same again. Yeah, so leaving, leaving more than quarter I've left of an inch. more than yeah, quarter of an you. inch, yes. And just trim those off. But you've got to remember that that section is on the bias now, isn't it? Yes. That's a thing about that, didn't I you? I did. There we go. And then you you have to square it. Yeah, of you course. Know, yes, you yes, would yes, square yes. it off, so measure it and make sure it's the same um, length as that. The so then what do. did you do? Oh, yeah, measure it and do yeah. it. I've got ages yet. Um, this one's going to be smaller, I think. Oh, what? I know. Well, it takes, ta you know, it takes time, doesn't it? I thought you'd so. say it takes talent. So, say, yeah, I know. <laughs> that too. So, I'd have to trim that one, which would be a shame. You'd have to find someone with talent. The, <laughs> that, that's, that would be the idea. Yes. So, then what, all you've done here is cut strips of other fabric to then... And add sash. So, these are like yes. sashes, aren't they, to go in yes. between? So, again, I would stay stitch around this section. Of course, yeah. And then, yes, piece them to... Um, uh, strips. So I didn't in the um, book. I think she used slightly more. Oh yes. Let, um, oh, let me show that from the book rather yes, than your photocopy. Yes, yes, yes. What page was it? Thirty-nine, was it? Thirty-nine. Yeah. So she she used more strips, but because mine was a miniature version, I thought, well, then it's going to end up very very long. Yes, exactly. If the more strips that I put in, so. Where have you got that photocopy from? Around. Then? Adele. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Look, so this is the one they show you in the book. So this is the one that they're working towards in the book. Obviously, Lucy's is a mini quilt version. So now what you'd have to do to create the size that they've got is cut more strips, isn't it? Because you've got a fat quarter and they're using um, metres of fabric yes. in there, aren't they? Yes. But if you just have a look, you see you've got the different... De now, hang on. So we've got... There's the... Um, There's the one that's on the bias, the one with the um, crisscross. Then there's the chevron ones. Now, they've done the chevrons alternately, like you did on the first pinky one there. Yes. Then they've got the sashes in between. In that one, they've got the blue and, or they've got the blue and the yellow sashes between all of them. Then they've created another strip of that. 
and then they've just kind of put another sash on and then they've bound it. So what you've done is you've used them. So on this bundle, you'd use the blue, the navy blue as your stripes going across, wouldn't you? Yes. And your navy blue too. Oh, but then you've used a different fabric to, to back yeah, it. Yeah, so I used a fabric from the bundle. Just right. Because, you know, then reversible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for the quilting, all I did was, um, I think, uh, she recommends to go either side of that strip, but I just went down the middle with a thicker thread. Because okay. I thought, Which you means know, it just thread. adds a bit more detail. Like I an orofil, use thicker, an orofil. Yeah, I used the orofil 28 weight yeah. um, to go across there. So oh, it okay, just adds then. a little bit more detail in as well. But I think if you, if you quilt in this section when it's this small, you lose. Yes, you know, no, no. You the, only, the only thing I'd be tempted to do is actually quilting down the seams almost of there, just to give it that yes. bumpity, bumpity, bumpity effect. Yeah, so you could do in the ditch or do in the ditch. In the ditch, that's it, yeah. Yeah, to go in the ditch um, either side here. Yes. For the zigzag, and then that will make the zigzag... Pop out, pop yes. Pop out exactly. So you, you sewed all those together. Yes. Then you cut a wadding, layer of wadding. Yes. Uh, or batting. Yes. Wadding. What's the matter? <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, I You're do the backing. I always cut the backing first. I don't know. Oh, OK. So you cut your backing. The backing slightly bigger than yes. the top. Same as you would with a quilt. Yeah. Um, wadding and um, just layer it up. So I you make your sandwich. I didn't even baste because it's so small. No, I was good. That, well, my next question was, did you use a walking foot? Yes. Yes, I did. But could you, if you hadn't got a walking foot, would you be able to think, do you think if it's only mini, or does it not yes. make any difference it being so mini? It, well, it doesn't make a difference, the same thickness. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Just so, so for, for yeah, it doesn't make a difference, but it's, the, the difficulty with not using a walking foot is you have a tendency to push, and sometimes you need to push to get the layers through, particularly with something like that. If you were going in the ditch there, you've got a lot of seams. Yes, I suppose so. So it's much easier if you have a walking foot because you've got that even feed, you've got the layers top and bottom going through at the same um, speed. Yeah, okay. Then you trimmed it down to the final size. Yes. And then you just made a straight binding. Like yes, I did a straight quilt. binding and I did it at two and a quarter inches. So it is slightly wider on the back, but if you do it you know, two and a half on something this small is just too yeah. big. And you've hand whipped it down, have you, at the back there? I did hand sew it down. Well, because it I don't always get, you know, when I'm doing quilts now, I have to machine the binding on, really, just because yes. of time. Yeah. Um, but hand sewing binding is my personal preference. OK. I think it gives neater. I like finishing the... I go into the corner as yes. well. So I do um, a ladder stitch to hold it down. I know, I but the the some, don't you think sometimes, because obviously when I used to make dresses for films or TV or, or theatre or whatever, you'd have to hand sew hems, but you'd always worry that being worn every night and everything like that would be caught, cool, mm -hmm. but we had to do it. But something like that, you can, if it's a bed quilt or a lap quilt, you want to throw it into the washing machine over and over mm -hmm. again, whereas this isn't going to go in the washing machine as often, is it? Depends what you use it for, I suppose. But... No, that's true. But then I have to say, a hand... I do hand binding on all the quilts I make at home. Oh, here we go. And I've washed all my children's quilts, and not once has the binding come off because I hand... What are you trying to say? ...sewn it, that my hand sewing is excellent. Better than my hand sewing, that's what you're saying. <laughs> no, but that it's strong, you yes. know, that it's strong. And I think a lot depends on the thread that you, you use. You, and... So what, what thread, if you make a hand... If you made a hand quilt for your daughter, like your guitar quilt or whatever... Yes. How would, what thread would you use? Would you use Aurifil? I use Aurifil 58. There you go. Yeah, which and is a very fine thread, but it is strong. Yeah, well, I grew up only, I trained only using cotton thread, mm -hmm. anyway. And uh, do you use double or do you use single? I use single. Oh, do you? Yes. And do you say you don't need to beeswax it then? No. No, you don't. With, with Aurifil, you don't need to beeswax no. it. I know some people prefer to, but personally, I haven't found that I needed to. You just don't want to cut too long a length of thread. That's Oh, no, because it's going to knot, you know, Yeah, because it? it will not. But then if you're doing a, a double-bedded quilt, surely you have to cut lots and lots of threads. Yes, but I enjoy it. I just take my time. You know, in the evening, so binding on, that's my binding time. Oh. And I enjoy it. But I, I, I mean, people do double up um, with the thread, but I haven't found it necessary. And you, you're usually using more thread. So you ever you speak to your husband, to. then? Yes, he sits next to me while I'm sewing and we have a conversation. That's the nice thing about hand sewing, there's no noise. And uh, well, he's got the telly so, on. So, well, yeah, there might be a bit of football <gasps> going on. Right. I've got to catch up with Bake Off and watch it. Yeah. You haven't got to what? Watch Bake Off, I haven't watched it. Oh, have you not? Yeah, there's only up. been one, so what day of the week is that on? Yeah, I'm not sure. There's only been one, I think. Yeah, there's only been one. I've only missed one. Yeah, I've got Game of Thrones. I've still got three episodes of Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones to watch. Okay. And I've got about 10 hours of Coronation Street and EastEnders of each. <laughs> I've deleted, all, I've deleted all the Jeremy Carls because 
No, only because in the summer holidays they're all repeats and they start and they go, oh, I know this because she's done this and I think that's really sad. But it's like yeah. Escape to the Country. If it starts, as soon as I see one of that, I'm like, oh, I know this. Mine's it's the house ones with me. I have to see what it's going to look like in the end. Oh, you well, know, they, all when they make, yes. things. Yeah, look, I like watching this one. So you've got six minutes left. What are you going to do now? OK, I don't know. I, well, I'm not going to answer that because I've cut it already. We could look at the other quilts. I made that one. Yeah. Uh, you've actually got two minutes, not six minutes. Okay. What am I going to do for four minutes, then? Oh. Um. <laughs> I've gone too fast. You've gone far too fast. You're too... too oh, this know. one here. So, this... Now, let's just talk about the book very quickly, then. Yes. You've used this book a couple of times, then, and I know yes. Jane's used it a couple of times. On, on one of the quilts that she used, she said, that it, like we were saying, you must sit down with a cup of tea and read the instructions... Oh, a cup of coffee, whatever. Read yes. the instructions, first of all. Don't just launch yes. into it. No, and they're very... They... The techniques are so different that it is, you know, you need to read through to get, get an understanding of, of... Do they get more difficult as they go through, up. or they, do they... Can you... I suppose you've only remember. done one or two out of it. I, I possibly... No, I don't think they do. Maybe but they're going to challenge you on different skills, they aren't do. they? Yes, so it's a absolutely. really, really good one to have. If you think, oh, I know how to... Because this one's completely... That... Yes. Completely different, isn't it, to the one we've just done? In the jungle crayon painting, it's called. But what's lovely as well, I think there's so many techniques in quilting and patchwork that, especially for a beginner or even somebody that's been doing it for a while, there's so many things to try. Yes. And it's nice to be able to do it on a smaller scale and give it a go to see what you like. I, I never thought I would enjoy hand sewing, and it turns out that's one of my favourite things yeah. to do. But also, Same with the plique. Also, 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 you might think, oh, I'd love to do one of those seminal quilts, and then you make one, you go... Wouldn't want not that on my me. bed. Yes. Lovely for my mug rug, yes. but not for my bed. Whereas something yeah. like that, you know what I mean? It's just kind of testing it, really, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. OK, when are you in next? Do you know? A couple of weeks. Oh, you've got a couple of weeks off? I have. Going to get my children settled back in school. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, you are a good mum, really. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing <laughs> you again. Thanks ever so much. Uh, nothing else you need to say, is there? Because I'm going... Thank you, Oh, have a biscuit no. if you want. Oh, one. I might well do. Thank you. All uh, right. Uh, I've uh, got what in to show you from the... Now, which one... Oh, hang on, before you go, Lucy, which one did you use? The warm and white or the um, bamboo? Warm and white. Warm and white. It's warm and it's white. So we called it... We didn't call it. They called it warm and white. Now, obviously, you wouldn't need a whole bag like this to do the mug rug, but it's always good to have in your stash. It's 72 by 90 inches. What was the finished size of your um, mini quilt there, Lucy? Uh, this is 72 by 90 inches, 19 pounds and 95 pence. 14 and a half by 6 inches. So you get a lot of those out of that. Um, then the other one is the um, bamboo one. So, yep, yeah, here we go. 27 pounds, that's a biggie. 27 pounds, that's about 50% uh, bamboo. Uh, Twin size, this one, 228... I was thinking some of them in inches, some in centimetres. 228 centimetres by 182 centimetres, £27.95. OK? Ty, do you want to do the bundles or do you want to do menu? Let's do tomorrow's menu. Now, I'm not in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm back on Thursday. So it's Amy tomorrow and Tuesday, and then it's Derek on Wednesday, because Natasha's moving house this week. So tomorrow's menu for Amy looks like this. Oh, lovely Paul's in tomorrow, of course. Uh, Paul Cox, sewing school at 8 o'clock. Uh, now, at 9 o'clock, Susan Briscoe's in. Now, you can ask her tomorrow, do you say Sashiko or Sashko? You will find out tomorrow. You'll find out tomorrow. 10 o'clock tomorrow with... Uh, is Paul making a dinosaur toy? Oh, that'd be interesting. And then at 11 o'clock... Yeah, last time we had a dinosaur. Not with Paul. With Janice, anything could happen, Hobbs. Uh, we did a dinosaur with her, didn't we? Uh, Sashiko, or what's it? Sashko, with Susan Briscoe again at 11 o'clock. It's always very popular. No matter how you say it, it's always very, very popular. Um, how long have I got? OK, let's do the bundles very quickly, then. Oh, these two. These two are the most popular. So I'll start at this end here. This is the aqua. You get half a metre of the aqua fabric. You get the thread, and then you get this love... Now, this fat quarter's new. This fat quarter is brand new today. I think it's lovely. It's a very grown-up uh, floral print, and then there's lovely, lovely, lovely dots there. Nin so you get 19 95 for all of that, the thread, the half a metre, and the fat quarter. £19.95. That's equal first place with this one. 
OK, now there's more people got this in their basket. So as soon as everyone checks out their baskets, this will go back into number one place. So you get half a metre of the kind of coral, very, very pale coral. You get the thread. You get, then you get three, um, I like these because you get three ditzy fabrics and then you get three stripy, stripy fabrics with the ditzy print within it as well. All of that for £19.95. Remember, no matter how many things you've checked out, how many times you've checked out, so you'll only pay one P&P of £2.95. Last but not least, this is the fat quarter, brand new fat quarter. This is the one that Lucy was just using. Hearts, dots and spots, this one. So you get that, you get the thread, and it's like a, it's not navy, it's like a dark, or oh, midnight blue, this one, £19.95. Right. Oops. Thanks ever so much for joining me for the last four days. Um, I'm not back, as I say, till Thursday. So have a lovely uh, couple of days with Amy and uh, Derek on Wednesday. And uh, I will see you 8 o'clock on Thursday. Go back to sewing school this Monday with guidance from two experts. Designer Paul Clark impressed the nation with his dressmaking skills on the Great British Sewing Bee. Now he's here to share his sewing secrets with us as he makes one of his signature bowling shirts, followed by a delightful dinosaur soft toy. We're also joined by sash co expert Susan Briscoe, who will give us a masterclass in this traditional Japanese technique. As the author of The Ultimate Sashko Sourcebook and Simply Sashko, Susan is a real authority in her field and will help you master the art in no time. So join us at 8am and 10am for Paul Clark's Sewing School and at 9am and 11am for Susan's Sashko Masterclass, Monday the 4th of September, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.